To the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light shine through.
into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through? For you.
What is up, everybody? Welcome to Harlan and Friends, the Jake and Veronica edition. We're back, bitches. We're back, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> it's Brittany, bitch, but it's not. It's Veronica and Jake. But also, yes. <laughs> we have a 510 tonight with a mat. I sat, I brought Frank to the game because Frank was being bad, and I had to bring him to the table. And Harlan quickly yelled at him, it's a mandatory straddle. I'm like, <laughs> do you know who this is? He just straddled 750 last or last month in my game. Yeah, no. It, How do you tell? You can't tell that to Frank. Frank knows the straddle. You can't tell Frank not to straddle. That's the, the only thing. Oh, yeah, God. Yeah, tell yeah. him not to straddle. Or, See or, what to, be, happens. or to be quiet. <laughs> or, or not to be sober. Yeah. But yeah. Um, or not to open his mouth. I don't know. Like, all, Any and you all can't of it. tell him anything. I don't know if I've seen a lineup this good. Maybe this ever. This action pack. This is like... Holy so shit. So not only are you, can we just like talk about the elephant in the room? You and I are back tonight. Oh, I had to check my fly or something I thought. Like, oh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, no, uh, you and I are back. We're we back. Haven't, when was the last time we were in the booth together? It's got to be over well over two years. We started this damn show. We, we For the first two it, years, the we were basement, the only two assholes in this like dungeon that used to be a booth here. Yeah, the dungeon, the basement that was Stone's Live Poker that was run by, you know, someone else. And then now... Now it's something else. And now we else. enjoy being here. And now we, yeah, and now we're back for a show. This is just like a one-time thing. Frank's got the 9-5 on, by the way, which has somehow now become a thing on it's Stone's a, it's Live. It's in the small blind. It's not his fault. He's got the flush. You can't beat a 9-high flush. 
you've got to take the nine high flush all the way to the wedding chapel. Mm. Right? Make it make it feel good. <laughs> so No, so just because you're married doesn't mean that you're going to feel good. Oh, there's, okay, well, here's some. So anyway, here. this is Brittany. She's bringing us wine. We're starting out the night correctly. I stuck my finger in this glass. Uh, that's issues. the booth. That's us before. Look at the before picture. That's me and you when we were dinosaurs. And this is the after. This is what we've become. We're so advanced now. We're a couple classy broads we now. We are. Uh, pocket tables. I'm going to say it the old school way. Pocket tables. What's up? Uh, loan for cards. What is up? Nice to see you in the chat. Uh, JFK Stone says rebroadcast from 2015. Enjoy, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is 2019. I am quite warm. This booth is still warm. You're you, a you, hot I mean, you're, mammal. I mean, you're pretty hot. So. Oh, thanks, you have that yeah. effect on some booths. So look at this hot. lineup. We got AC, Mike Postle, The Wolf, Frank. Aaron I haven't seen The Wolf in forever. How happy are you to see him? I'm always happy when I see The Wolf. Always happy when I see The Wolf. I've um, been playing a little bit with The Wolf lately. He's uh, He's been wolfing it up. Uh, uh, can you bring the wine closer to the camera so we can see like what's going on here? The shenanigans that will begin. Wait, wait. Um, <laughs> no, we do this. The shenanigans that are going to start. You oh, see God. that? Ah, oh, that's for Jake. All right. 100% Jake. The entire bottle. Okay, so now we have to click buttons. There okay, go. there we go. Jake and I have control somewhat of this game. Yeah, who, so, put, who let us drive? Uh, I have no idea. Um, of course, look who's there. Dave O is in the game. It says Lone Stranger. <laughs> the Lone he, Stranger. He uh, limps under the gun. The wolf calls. It's a mandatory straddle of 20. Paul, Harlan, Dave O, Aaron. With a, all premiums. All premiums, ladies and gentlemen. These are the These cards. These players are premium. Yeah. So <laughs> any hand that they play. All right. We have a king high flop. Two hearts. Uh, Harlan is blocking the nut flush how how much are you dealing with blockers when you're playing hold them it's not that big of a deal as it is in like I use block, omaha i use blockers and checkers like kick rocks <laughs> <laughs> blockers matter at all times do you like a fresh glass no i'm good thank you thanks Brittany. i Would stick my like, finger in this one i like feel like i should keep it uh, no i'm good okay. i i want to make it through the show uh <laughs> six of hearts on the turn right, and look the two hearts that were had have folded and now now Aaron's got the best hand with a king that wasn't fun we, we'll have more fun I feel like there's they're gonna be bomb up. pots they're warming up there's gonna be bomb pots up. of course I went down there before the stream started and Harlan's like we just had a bunch of crazy stuff happen Brittany's like oh sorry I just wanted to go through your gallery oh man nice yeah. Uh, so we see the chip stacks there, although I think that might be a little deceiving. I think some people have added on, because when I went to the table... It definitely looks deeper than that. I mean, you're right there, it's, it says that Paul's only got 2,400, and I can see he's got well over that in his stack. Yeah. Um, this game's going to get really deep really quick. That's uh, what she said. I'm here all night, folks. Is that Zardog in the background? Uh, it is! It is! Zardog! What's up? Zardog on Twitch. Wee wee. Uh, loan for cards. In the chat, Lady Nomuk. Uh, Lady Nomuk's in the bay on a regular basis. Her and I are going to get together and play some poker one of these days. We just haven't had any time. So I just want to point out to everyone that Mike Postle and Frank are cheating on me. Are cheating on Alicia. Because they're Veronica and Friends regulars. That's and, like the only game they play anymore. And then Harlan harpoons them into his game. I'm like, you can't take my besties. It's only business. It's only No, they're business. my besties. It's like they're, he's stealing like a husband from me. I play other games when you're not looking. How could you? And then it got, thought... and then it got bloody in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> not because I... Oh, anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're All back. right, so Wolf's going to open up here to 70 with a 10-8 suited, and we love it. Harlan, he's got position. Takes a queen nine offer. Oh, he's in the, I'm sorry, no, he's in the third blind. Five, five, ten. Three blind games just play so much better. A Aaron's in there. Omaha, ha, ha. What's up? Nice to see you in the chat. Nine high flop. Bunch of rainbow. Six, four is looking moderately good here. <laughs> Harlan flops the best of it. A top pair and a queen kicker. Paul is going to lead out here. He's got, he flopped top pair. Leaning out into five, four other people. Five people total. Do you like that? 
I like anyone and every any action that puts money in the pot. Yeah. <laughs> if it puts money in the pot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Put money in pot. So Har we have so Harlan's stack there. If you look to his left, looks like a couple purples and yellows. The yellows are thousand dollar chips. The purples are five hundred chips. So don't be deceived. He is sitting, you know, relatively deep here. It looks like he's reaching for raising chips. And he was a little irritated when I went down and talked to him. He already got, I think he got stacked like, early on. Like all on. poker players, our disposition is directly reflective on like how the game's gone. Yes, correct. Yeah. House could be on fire at home, but Doesn't if we matter. just scooped a pot, you know, it's going to be okay. Yes. It's going to be okay. So Harlan raises to four... 400? Yes. Um, everybody's going to get out of the way. Aaron's going to... Aaron's got a gut shot and a backdoor flush draw. But a, for that price... But not any heart, obviously. <laughs> it's tough because Aaron let out into a bunch of... Or not Aaron. I'm sorry. Paul. Paul let out into a bunch of people. here. We've got to be worried about what he's going to do behind him. Uh, it, I think this is an easy fold for Paul. In uh, this or game? Not. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> what do I know? Uh, call out of Paul. Call uh, Paul has more heart than I do. Oh shit! We were thinking of a turn, <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like it just happened. There will be blood. Yes. Uh, each player now has. Now this card tricks. really. I mean, it, it's a big card. We're sure we're gonna put some money in the pot, but it really doesn't change anything. If Paul's thinking that you know Harlan's probably gonna be three betting tens plus pre, if. His nine was good before. It's still good now. And if it wasn't, it's still not because we still lose to pocket fives and pocket fours. You're, check, I mean, check. you're losing to any any two pair. I like that check by uh, Harlan. I feel like he was kind of raising for value. I feel like he kind of knows. Well, I like he, that he, check on the turn, too. He kind of knows where he's at. And so a nice... what The pot right now is 1,100... And he's betting what four hundred? So I wonder. So Harlan is gonna Insta just gonna call. So I wonder if Harlan the turn. Harlan's afraid that if he bets there, that Paul's gonna fold out his six seven and seven eight. You know that might have you know been getting kind of tricky on the flop. So Harlan's like he doesn't want to lose him, not realizing because it's improbable that he has a nine. Yeah, it's. Um, I think when Harlan raises there and then he just gets the call, it's. It, like he, you have to take pocket fives and pocket fours out of his range. Out of well, Paul's and you, we wouldn't expect someone to like 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 lead out into people. That right? those right. are probably more the hands that uh, are gonna like feel gonna check know, raise. I play a lot of low stakes games, so you know my brain is uh, functioning differently on that aspect. <laughs> but yeah, you're pro you're right. They're probably that's probably the way it would play out. So I think like Harlan knew he had the board crushed on the turn, and so that check back, lose that him. check back I think gave him a little bit more value. Yeah. No? Well, I mean... Feel free to if, disagree with well, me. if Harlan knew that he had a nine, obviously... I mean, Harlan doesn't think that Paul's got a nine. Probably, Harlan's yeah. probably thinking he's more like got a hand like six, seven, seven, eight. Yeah. I mean, maybe Paul flat some over pairs. So, so, like, my flat tens? Har we know Harlan's not flatting tens plus. Yeah, but, but does he, like, does he bet into four people with, like, tens right there? He's betting into four people with a, with a, with a with top pair with a nine. Yeah, okay, then. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying typically. <laughs> there is going to be nothing typical about this game. That's true. This game, you can like throw Adjust like all brain. like logic and reason. Anything that like would typically happen, you throw that out the window. Ah, okay. Yeah. This so, is this is Harlan victims. That's true. This is the second best game in Sacramento. What's the best game? It's it's Veronica, Veronica and friends. friends. Can't. He's gonna he's giving you a run there here though. I mean Harlan's giving you a run. Put together a uh, hell of a lineup. How is a five ten game giving me a run, Harlan? <laughs> uh, King high flop two clubs and uh as per standard seven way to a flop seven way all the every offsuit combo <laughs> <laughs> to the flop i've got two flush Queen draws eight, jack nine ten seven i love this world got two quad uh, draws two flush draws <laughs> we can fold <laughs> bazinga and they were the only pair <laughs> if you fold you can never win exactly so uh sacramento has uh, poker alive and well here six comes off Giving the lone stranger a gut shot. He needed nine for a straight. Cody Moose, what's up? Says hello, Veronica and Jake. How you doing? Rick and Barstow. Nice to see you. Long time no chat. With the bet in a call in front of me, I was going to say, it's in, I'll, I'll be curious to see if Frank overcalls with the best hand here with the, with the eight, with the, with the better kicker, and he does. Paul now. Hello, Paul. It's nice to meet you. What's your number? I'll be coming <laughs> by to get it. <laughs> 
puts in the check raise. Woo! I'm loving this guy. This guy's all action. Turns no the gutter. This is how you play a gutter, though. This you don't is, yeah, no, yeah. Your you gutter. don't, you don't just like, you're like, oh, I call, I hope I like get there. Like, kick, fuck that. Kick rocks. 9 10 offsuit. This is how you play it. Write a book, Paul. Someone wrote a book about Ace King. You can write a book about 9 10 offsuit. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and Frank's just thinking, like, screw this guy. <laughs> nice play, Paul. Paul, my new champion of the table. Hop grenade in the chat. What's up, buddy? Rick and Barstow. Naomi bot twenty three. Bases spade. Nice to see you in the chat. Welcome everybody. Uh, it's been a Cody long. Moose. Although you've been in the booth this week. Yeah, yeah. I got a little warm up yeah, show. You. I got. I wanted to make sure I was like had my A game, you know. And so, so I had to get a warm up. So you went and slept with someone else. So I went and slept with with Master C <laughs> in the booth. <laughs> I'm sure that would, yeah. <laughs> and uh, how to get how to get warmed up? As you yeah, and now I, and we, I went and played some five five, and now I'm here for the five ten game. And I feel like I'm at my best. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Uh, you guys can see why he's my best friend. We're both like, if you say I'm in the gutter, I'm just like, <laughs> just like taking up the room that you're taking up in the gutter. And I don't know. That right. was that started out well in my head. Yeah, as most things do. Uh, pretty excited to be in here with you, Bestie. Likewise. It's been too long. I know. Uh, so are we going to wake up in a ditch in Mexico later on tomorrow morning? There's a very good chance. Oh, look at that. Sarah, we got what's fans. up? I know, what's it's 2015 up? all over again. Our favorite dealer, Sarah. Uh, if you're not following me on uh, Twitter, <laughs> <laughs> do so. Angry underscore Polak. Um, I will needle you if you try to interact with me. So it looks like uh, Harlan raises to 105. We might have a, was this a fourth blind? So someone made and it. Then, someone made it. Put in a twenty dollars straddle. The wolf limped along. I don't know if you guys recognize David O in seat nine or seat eight. Are they playing eight handed? Nine handed. Nine handed. So seat nine is David O. David O another another like whore poker whore going yeah. into my game, going to Harlan's game. What is this? People, you know Can what? Anyone be if, 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 these hoes ain't loyal. These hoes ain't loyal. Jesus said that. He did. He did. <laughs> <laughs> In Mary Magdalene, six point three. Mm-hmm. I don't. I. I'm so bad at quoting the Bible now. It's been so long since I've read it thoroughly. Never. Uh, Jack High Flop, two hearts. Two hearts. Uh, look at David Gonna have O. Action. David O with his bomb, bomb potosaurus. I told them, I'm like, we're not doing Bomb Potter Source tonight. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's not our thing. So, somehow, we're better than that. Yeah. Like, I don't know how that <laughs> happened. Like, we continue, like, 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 shenanigans. Somehow, we're too good for, like, Bomb Potter yeah, Source and Marvel. Yeah, sex so, like, jokes. Sex jokes. Chronic, really lowbrow sex jokes. Yeah. That's right in our wheelhouse. Yeah. Bludgeoning people. Like, that's fine. Yeah. But, like, zig zapper zipper, like, No, but that's, a, that's a train thing. It is a train thing. It's a train thing. We can't pull that off. He can pull that off. Yeah, it's his thing. Like, he wears onesies. But not onesies like I wear. But onesies with, like, cartoons on them. Harlan checks it. Get a bet with a nut flesh draw from Lone Stranger. Bazinga comes along with calls the best hand. King on the turn. Doesn't really change much. We'll see if uh, we can get another barrel here out of uh, Dave, our Lone Stranger. I think it's funny that um, he's called himself Bazinga. Does he not want us to call him by his real initials? It's, there's a great backstory to Bazinga. <laughs> I'd love to hear it. Off air. Uh, David O continues to fire. The pot right now is 655. It looks like he's going to make it almost 400. What is that? Three something? This might work. It's gonna be tough for Bazinga to call. I mean, he, I mean, I Dave could he easily have this. he can easily have king high hearts. Two eighty five. Uh, I don't think he folds this, and it's not a big enough bet. Um, let's see what happens on the turn. He calls snap. He's like not called. He snap calls. There it is. Two pair for Bazinga. Hearts complete for the lone stranger. And I think we're gonna see a jam. Should be a jam. Uh, with the size back. of the pot, I yeah. think it should be a jam. If, if it's not, doesn't it look too value-ish? No? Yes, I agree. 
the other option, you, if we're afraid that we're going to blow our opponent off here, you could bet like on the small side and make it look, almost look like a blocker bet. To I mean, try to get, guarantee you get paid off. I, it just seems silly to. Well. We we think if Bazinga had like a can, hand like King Jack, we would have heard about it on the turn. So we're really I mean, you're tr trying to target like getting called by your you know, your worst jacks here or your best jacks. So if he missed hearts. Like if like let's say he just had like a two pair type hand and he wanted to look like it was hearts, what would he bet? Would he bet like this? I think he'd go all in, no? Like kind of turn uh, his hand to a bluff. He'd probably he'd probably check because then if you don't have hearts here, it sure as hell would look like Bazinga's hand is hearts. I kind of feel like against a player like Bazinga, it almost like a check. What I mean, it's very. I hate like losing value on the river, but I feel like Bazinga would like take action on the river there no what's two pair he's gonna well you don't know that we don't know that he's got two pairs so the only the most likely two pair combinations are, i mean are you know king jack and, and jack nine um but because front door hearts get there we're not expecting our opponent to after we check to bet jack nine and we in king jack we would have thought would bet the turn remember, so remember how we said like all logic logic reason goes throws out, out the yeah. window yeah, you're I'm, right. just say, I'm just saying like we know him to be a little bit more of a wild player, more action. And, more aggressive. And yeah, ve very much Ship, aggressive. Chips are active. Yeah, so, like, he, I think, like, Oh, Dave's, Dave's got a purple chip on the other side there. Sheesh. 90% of the time, I think, oh, I like, you're those. losing value by not betting your hand on the river. But then someone like Bazinga, you could, like, check. Well, he, he doesn't have enough chips to check raise, but you could check to induce a bigger bet. I don't know. Uh, I think you just. I think you just bet. If someone, if you're counting on someone to be aggressive enough to to bet when check two, they were also counting on them to you know be one to call there too. Yeah. And it's just such a disaster yeah, when he goes that's check true. check. When he goes check check, it's just like suicide. You're like, fuck. Why didn't I bet? Yeah, that's true. I think that betting and not getting called is always better than put, checking and, and not getting a bet. Make them deeper though. Make them like let's say they each have 10k behind. Checking might be like a check raise not the way, now. Not the way. If 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 they had gone check call check call the whole way, then once you get there, then I'd like to check. Because Dave was the one betting the whole way, I definitely prefer. Yeah. Bet. Plus, I mean, and and the off chance they they both do have hearts, and that's just like the like the dirty miracle card. You're gonna get a raise out of them. That's true. So, cheers. Nazdravia. What did you always say? Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. I'm like, why didn't you say that? Because I was swallowing. I'm talented, That's but... That's what she said? No. Um, again, we have A lot have of every, goddamn nines. Everybody at the table is in the hand. So enjoy looking at all those cards. They're all premiums. <laughs> <laughs> Miles of the best of it is Lone Strange right now. Dave with Pocket Jacks. I don't... I'm really frustrated with all of their names tonight. Get the Postle. I'll take the Get the Postle, but... Get their possible. Oh, yes, yes, the tweet. I put out the tweet today. I just wish it would have been somehow, like, strangely appropriate if they would have used the wrong there, like, T-H, you know, E-I-R, get their possible, and, like, like I don't know. It just would have been, like, You're strangely dirty. You're just saying dirt, something I'm dirty. Hop being... Grenade, what's up? The Mushy Cookie, what is up? Um, I think the Mushy Cookie, I've never heard of him before or her. So I'm Veronica Brill. This is... The Jake. Wait, can we do this? I don't know how to do this. This is The Jake. I'm You're Veronica welcome. Brill. And um, we started this show, bitches. Fuck yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. We're the originals. God, We're the we, OGs. How did we get through that? those first couple shows? I almost killed you. Yeah, you did. Oh I my was God. like ready to call our friendship, like, th like be done with you. Yeah. I, I like it was had tough, to talk to was... a few people about you. I, I was so irritated with you. We fought in the booth. We did. We had drunken fights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But it was yeah. good. I mean, it's like the best way to build a friendship. Go through your turmoil. Yeah, we got that all out of the way. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of it out of the way. And uh, and now we can come, it's come full circle and we're back. We started at the bottom and now we're back. I love, yeah. <laughs> just like Drake. I love that mushy cookie made himself a little mushy cookie. It's not working though because we don't have that program. Maybe someone could do something about that. Give you a mushy cookie little, little thing, little bot thing. No, Lady No Muck, um, I saw your Instagram uh, question that you posed everyone earlier on how to tilt me. Oh, oh, I love it. 
It ain't working. I'm I'm like off. I'm like permanently off tilt. It's wonderful. I I think that's great. I'm yeah. try. I'm gonna try still though. So Harlan with an ace three in the cutoff raises ace three off, and look at all the premium hands that call. We are five way to a flop, ladies and gentlemen. I love Any poker. flops, the best of it. Flops two pair. I love it. Why is Frank not having as much fun in this game as he does in mine? You know what's missing? Veronica and Alicia. It's a big part of the equation. Alicia, Alicia's my bae. Get get a few more drinks out there, and him and Mike will get into a, get some big hand. I feel like Mike is, like, once you get him going, he's so much fun, but it takes so much work. It it's takes like Frank. so much it takes foreplay. Frank. He'll it's get there. so much foreplay. You know, you got to put in the work. You know, you don't just can't just, like, you know, cut the foreplay and, and you know, just and go all in. Yeah. Yeah, because he's not going to You got to work up to it. You got to right. work up to it. Yeah. I don't some, know. And sometimes some, some backdoor, like, you know, draws have to get there. I love that. When the backdoor draws get there. Mmm. <laughs> like butter. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Paul comes along with his pair of aces. Uh, Ace of Spades says, impossible to have more fun than, fun than Veronica and friends. Yes. It's true. Um, the game's not normal. It's not right. It's There's something weird about it. It's like in the Bermuda Triangle or something once a month. Paul's not giving up with this hand. He's out of position, but it doesn't matter to him because he is... I feel like balls to the wall, if you look it up in the dictionary, you'll see Paul's face. Look at him. Shit, he's reaching for chips. He doesn't care. F the 5-4 gets there. Probably less inclined to think that Harlan's opening up the 5-4 in late position after everyone, like, limps along. Counterfeit. Oh. And Paul's ace-9 gets there, but not in the way he was expecting it to, I'm sure. Um... Probably was check check. Yeah, I, it, I think both of them. It does. That was a good check. Oh man, Harlan. <laughs> Brutal. Harlan's a little moody at times. You know He's what I mean? He's a poker player. But We're you gotta, all moody. If you're hosting the game, you gotta be fun. You have a, you gotta have a good time. No one hosts it better than me, baby. Sorry, Harlan. I'm here to just needle wow. you a little bit. Poker players can be a little moody. We 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 can all we can all be a little moody. I just tried to drink my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> just. We're still, like, <laughs> really early in. <laughs> I'm going to turn that into a clip. When are you um, When are you coming over to my place or Skyping me for a show? I asked you to do a show with me. You said no. I'm putting you on the spot now in front of people. Yeah, no pressure, right? Thanks, guys. Um, uh, <laughs> next week? Uh, next weekend is the, the WSOP circuit main. So. Uh, I'm going to be I'm gonna be here next weekend. Also. Okay, let's see there. Uh, uh, do you want our me to friend bring my uh, Barbarella will be here as well. Really? He's going to be in sack to play the, uh, the 08 and the horrors. He wants a ring. The horrors and the 08. The horse and the 08, yeah. The horse. Yeah, he wants, he, he wants some more hardware. So our friend, Andrew Barber, the, th the three of us are besties. The unholy trinity. Uh, Barber and I hang out more now that I live in the Bay. We're like... It's reasonable. We're like 30 minutes away from each other. We went for dinner the other night, actually. Our 10K horse champion friend. And you're doing pretty well yourself. I'm just saying. Bazinga. <laughs> Speaking of Bazinga, he's going to check his option here. So I believe we're bomb pot here. I love bomb pot. We are bomb pot. Of course, we wouldn't know it because we're not using the bomb pot And also because these guys are playing these hands anyway. Don't you fucking do it. I swear <laughs> to God. Say what again. Say what. My... Wolf now. God, Jack then is going to see where his pair of tens is at. That's two and a quarter. Top, top for Frank. I like this raise out of Frank. Frank's very fearless. So suck it, Trebek. Gutter and a backdoor flush draw for the lone stranger. He might be able to come along here. And Mike's got an ace as well. Oh, no, I'm sorry. King I flop. I was looking. But then again, it's Mike. Who knows? Um, I just want to let you know, you know, I'm friends with a lot of like the, the high limit guys and they were all texting uh, me about this game. Can you get me in this game? Can you get me in this game? I'm like, I had, I have no control over Harlan's game. 
Can you talk to Harlan? Like, I have really had five players text this me is, to get in this game. This is like grade school where, like, you got a crush on somebody. Like, hey, can you just ask so-and-so if he likes yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Can you I'm talk like, to him Harlan for me? Ha- Harlan's so got pretty. his game. Yeah. It's Harlan's, like, text. Har- I tried texting Harlan. I'm third up. Can you talk to him? I'm like, what do you want me to do? Like, give him favors in the bathroom? Yeah, they like, figure you're going to be a little bit more persuasive than, uh... Than they are. Oh, there's the bomb potosaurus hoodie. Oh, dear God. And we got a jack on the turn. Wolf called the raise on the flop. Wow. Turns two pair. It is a little bit of a wet board, though. It's. And and Frank doesn't stop. Oh, wow. So he verbalizes bet. It is eight and change. And the wolf. Is that. Is that an all in? Yeah. All in until I missed the action. Yeah. Oh, wow. Frank's just not happy. Yeah, he went all in. I mean, when you don't play on Veronica and Friends, when you cheat on Veronica and Friends, this is what happens. This is obviously karma. Uh, DJ Abby K, what's up? Nice to see you. Still enjoy dipping into your show. Uh, Tashi408 says rigged, obviously. Live poker is rigged. No, back in the full tilt taste back in the day. That was that, that was, was that really was rigged. Pure, that was That's poker the only reason purest. I didn't win a million dollars. Exactly. And we're um, becoming famous. Justin's taking pictures of us. Fuck. I can't hold this pose forever. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia just photobombed <laughs> us. <laughs> Enhance. I'm a classy rod. So twenty dollars straddles a five, ten, twenty, ladies and gentlemen. Did you uh get some table mics on? I like it with table mics. I like it. I wish we could hear the table talk as well. Uh, we can if I turn on the volume here. Yeah, but I don't want to like get like an echo. No, we have to turn this up. I don't want to explain to Chips on eleven! I heard the jury's still out on signs. That's what I Hey. Hey. Listen. God, or whatever that voice is coming from. Yeah, you're not my real stepdad. You can't tell me what to do. Look at Wolf's stack. That's just like sloppy. Chips. They muted Jake. <laughs> Jake, stop being bad. Just apologize to God. You had nothing to do with this. Apologize to God so you can be unmuted again. Uh, God, he apologizes. I can't. See? I did it for you. I repented for you, sinner. Yeah, I'll forgive you for the Holocaust when you forgive me for talking shit. <laughs> ace high flop, two hearts. Uh, the wolf is the only one with an ace. He's got the most equity in this hand, but he doesn't care. He just shipped a huge pot. He's laughing. Talking to a lady. I hope that's a lady, because if that's a man, I feel bad. That's a, that's Alicia. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I knew that's a lady. It's a lady. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. She's a lady. lady. And the wolf also has a backdoor flush draw. They're passing around wine. That's how this game should uh, go. Right. A little more Veronica E, less Harlan E. Uh, you're super jealous, like by the way, and it I shows. Might so you're be. Like, you're I like, might you're be. You're not hiding I'm it whatsoever. I'm not gonna lie about it. I am jealous. You're you know what, Harlan? I'm jealous. Because you took my besties into your game, and you have bigger blinds. I mean, before the straddle, my straddles are bigger. And that's all that really matters. It's early. It's early. If Frank breaks his own like straddle record while playing in Harlan's game, I'm gonna have to like ho- like refrain you, like hold you back. Don't don't even say that kind of stuff. It's too, it's, that really gets me yeah. where it hurts. It, yeah, I'm sorry. No, you're not. You're right. I'm not at all. But I won't do it again. I'll refrain myself. Nova Scotia. Why do you lie to me all the time? <laughs> the mushy cookie says 780 straddle. You, you guys, you're gonna get her going. Like, just don't. 
I don't. like I'll post don't it again. Tap the glass. We still want our Veronica and Friends game. You can't don't piss no, her it's off. Not gonna, no one's gonna stop the Veronica and Friends game. This is a force that can't be reckoned with. It's not even my game anymore. It's a thing. It's t- it has taken on like its own. It's like, like entity. a like yeah. it is an entity. I can't stop it. You I'm like control of it. I it don't just, know. It just happens yeah, around you. It's yeah. it's just like and I and I feel like I have to put on the game every month. It's like me and, and like getting in bed with brunettes. It just happens. Yeah. I can't even control I'm it. I'm scared it just, every time it happens. Yes. Yes. You get it. it. I get it now. I get it. Twenty dollars straddle premiums coming in. Um, it looks like there was a raise. No, the wolf didn't go all in for 6,000. That looks like a raise to 100 and something, 115. Don't yeah. let the graphics fool you. 110. Uh, Ace high flop, two diamonds. Um, Harlan flops a flush draw. Nothing but overs for everyone else to deal with. Uh, Mike Possel, less than 1%, which is where he likes to start to throw chips in. I mean, if you're going to pick hands to bluff with, you want, we want to bluff with our bad hands, right? So our one percenters. You do remember him three betting and then flatting the four bet with seven deuce off, right? In my game. I love Mike Possel. Mike Possel plays post flop better than anyone else. I'm telling you. And here he's going for it. Bets 260. Gets called from Harlan. He has position. Everybody else did check in his defense. 260 into 500-ish, 495. Harlan picks up a gutter now on the turn as well. Check calls. And eight high versus eight high, ladies and gentlemen. It's a split pot. <laughs> Mike is 1% on the this flop. This is a $1,000. Somehow finds a way to chop. This is a $1,000 pot with two eight highs versus each other. Ladies and gentlemen, lock the doors. Harlan, Harlan pitches it in the muck. Oh, he probably didn't see it. Lock the doors. The, get get in your car and get down to stones. If you're a poker player, get in your car and get it down to stones. To Harlan. <laughs> Thousand dollar, five hundred dollar gift. You just you were in this one, Mikey. You bet two streets. It's yours, buddy. I don't think he saw it. I don't think he realized. Obviously not. Um, how how good is Mike there? He he rivers the chop what, and gets and, and somehow finds a way to this scoop. This is what Mike does. So Mike's the guy under the gun calls. Everybody folds. Big blind thinks that he raised and folds, and Mike Postle scoops. Yeah. I've seen it. It's Mike. It's this Postle. is Mike. This is how Mike Postle runs. This is Mike Postle's world. Rivers We're just living chop. in it. And just finds a way to scoop. He scoops when he chops. Yeah. <laughs> He's just the best. How do you beat a guy like that? You can't. <laughs> what the fuck? He's dating every hot girl you know. All of them? And your mom. Fuck. God, your, mom. Mo- your, your mom's so hot. I was waiting for like, I'm like oh long, my God. How long until she gets into like, like, oh like my how God. hot my mom is? Have you, have you guys seen Jake's mom? She's so hot. Oh. She's so hot. I can't. I just can't believe your mom. I'm. I'm. She doesn't watch the show, and I'm. I'm happy that she doesn't watch the show. I, I'm like. If, in love if her with ego your mom. wasn't already like good enough or big enough already, can we get a club on the turn one time? Look at all these clubs out here. Just club on the turn one time. Everyone picks up a flush draw. I'm gonna tweet a picture of your mom. Please don't. I, I deal with a lot already. She's so hot. I, I just can't. I can't get over her. And she drinks vodka for breakfast on holidays. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> oh, my God. The king and the jack. Dave folds the best hand and Bazinga with his inferior jack, but back to her clubs, takes it down on the flop. Dave is not feeling it right now. Did not th- Want to come along with the King Jack. So Dave has days where, like, he played in one of my shows where I banned him for three months after because he was just not himself. He was just, like, irritated and didn't want to play and what, like, you know, wasn't the good old Dave. Wasn't the Dave we know and love. And then after he he learned his lesson, came back into my game like normal Dave. Like normal. But today he seems a little grumpy. Maybe it's the Bompotosaurus shirt. Maybe it's making him grumpy. Maybe just being out of position against Bazinga. Yeah, I mean, you that, know, that would make anyone grumpy. That doesn't bring out the best in me. I know that. Because that Bompotosaurus shirt is dope. I actually, I want one. 
I, I'll wear that stuff to work. You will too. No, I can't. I know. But I would. Yeah. Tacky I'm, hoodie and heels. I could I could see you pulling it off. It's it's called uh what is it called like garage, garage glamour or something. Garage chic chic. Yeah, whatever, whatever it is. It's like a classy broke bitch. <laughs> it that is you. Oh my god! I know that your style like had like a word. Six seven deuce, couple diamonds. Can't see uh Mr. Postle's hand. Gutter for Bazinga. Postle is gonna bet. Two overs and a gutter. Hopes to have all of his ten outs. Turns a pair. Still can't see Mike's hand. Because Mike doesn't like to follow rules. I don't know. Something tells me Mike's got a real hand, a real hand here. He doesn't seem to be hating life. <laughs> and he's a was, fucking ninja. That was just about to say. He's a ninja. There's a ninja shortage in uh, Japan, apparently. Yeah, evidently. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you looked at the tweet from uh, what Johnny Vibes. What the From Johnny Vibes? I didn't see it. Yeah, there's a ninja shortage. And we'll send Mike Postle in March. Wee wee. Check, check. All right, bat. I read Mike wrong. He don't got a hand. He had a turns draw. a nine and takes it down. He had a flush draw and a deuce. Plus draw a deuce. Yeah. <laughs> deuce four ace. diamonds. Yeah, deuce four diamonds. I was going to say ace deuce diamonds, but that would be a little... Uh, little the Mushy much. Cookie says that I'm sitting here watching Twitch while eating a personal carrot cake from Whole Foods. Vegan? Keto? No, it's not keto, but it is... I don't even think it's vegan because they use egg and flour, but it's vegetarian. Yeah, it's good. That's your answer... That's your answer every time, like, you're not yeah, registering. Yeah. What do we say? Like, yeah, it's yeah, good. I don't care. You want me to just say that yeah, outright? Yeah, like, could I don't you? care. Yeah, <laughs> please. <laughs> I don't fucking care. Can you? Carrot cake. Carrot cake. The th and, like, the no one gives a fuck about carrot no cake. No one gives a fuck about You know what? Fuck you, mushy cookie. No one cares about carrot I'm cake. I'm eating carrot cake. Watch it. Yeah, I'm so, like, eating carrot cake. No one cares. What? Um, All right, we'll turn it on. I'm going to turn it off. We'll leave it on. So Bazinga has put in a three bet pre to 340 with Ace King suited. The lone stranger. Look at this. Oh shit. Look at three kings. We're over here. We're over here sitting, sitting on our wide, and you guys are fucking going off the rails. And it looks like Harlan has four bet the Jack Nine suited here to 1K. Lone Stranger calls. Bazinga's all in for, for Lex. But there's still a side pot to play between our Lone Stranger and Harlan. Oh my god! Robbie? 
I'm gonna buy more bottles of yours. Robbie. 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 What are you doing? I, I know. Uh, what the, I thought stop. I guys will have to finish. Stop. We have two bottles, dude. Um, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm more after that. Fucking oh, amateurs, man. Oh, I think it's someone. Yeah, we're talking about me and Mike. Oh, my. Two guys oh. that light me on fire like. I didn't see you had a bottle. I need you more than ever. Right now. Wow. Are you guys all in now? Uh, so we have three-way all-in. Oh, okay. Harlan open-ended sure with a flush wrong. draw. Top right. set for Lone Stranger. Wow. Trouble for Harlan. Now, Harlan can actually win a bigger size. Well, Harlan is, I mean, let a spade come. He loses the main to Bazinga. Right but with Scoop a huge side pot, three-way, they can only run it once. You're not drawing. AC's drawing. Oh! Bazinga scoops! Bazinga gets the triple up. Harlan oh, wins a massive side pot and, and top set is flushed down the toilet. That, that's, that's crazy. It's a setup hand. That's. Oh, man. Harlan gets a side pot. Oh, my wow. goodness. Wow. And Dave, oh, like. What can you do? That's a setup. You flop a set. You just hope. I mean, they're blocking each other's outs, and they still hit on the river. It's just crazy. That is sick. Poker's a cruel bitch. Yeah, she'll cheat on you. Fuck yeah, she her. will. Sorry, are we allowed to swear? We're not really employed here. We're not employed on. anymore. No, we're... Uh, do what we want. Yeah, make our own rules. I said I would break stuff. I'm not sure what it's going to be. And, and these, they let us lock the door from it's the inside. locked. <laughs> they can't come in here. Yeah, good luck, security. Yeah. Climbing that wall. This place is like a fortress. We could survive the apocalypse in here. If we had Postle in here with us, we would. We would get there. We would get through to the <laughs> end. <laughs> we, we need to last a month. Mike, you're coming with yeah. us. I don't know what it is about you, Mike, but you're going to help us get through this. <laughs> if you can win a split pot outright you can get through the apocalypse scoops chops <laughs> <laughs> so um seat one is wearing a hundred percent v-pip shirt yes we should we should get mike a shirt that says scoops chops how <laughs> <laughs> it's just what a sick sick hand pdx <laughs> says that lock is not very strong you know what we'll make it strong we will Zombies don't know how to pick locks. Ace high flop. No, Two they're, spades. They're like limit players. They're just like... They just, have one move. Yeah, one move. Just, uh, uh, bet. Uh, call. I love the way you talk about limit players. I, You know what? I'm going to have a... I'm going to figure out a bet with you where okay. you have to play limit no. for like a no. month no. and get better at it. And not 3-6. But like, what if you wouldn't you play like a twenty forty limit? Yeah, we actually uh, played some ten twenty study the other day. No, like a twenty forty hold limit, them hold women. Them? Yeah, I would, I would, women I would, I would, hold them women. Hold them women. <laughs> I play that all the time. Hold them limit. Yeah, yeah limit hold them. Yeah, no, I would win. No, I'm just saying, like it's a it's a little bit of a different game. Absolutely, I would then I would come back completely broken, and and then you rise up from the ashes. To, to be able to have to resolve like one three. <laughs> like, all right, I don't know what they're doing here. You could I, write flop, an I flopped a top pair, so I can't fold. You could write an entire book on like one street. You know, I just think now, like it's so micro, the whole book on Ace King, we could get into like really micro strategies now. Just an entire book on the turn. Because <laughs> everyone plays the turn badly. Yes. The river the most. We're the, we're, we're, we're the real wizards. Sitting here, armchair quarterback. We can see the cards, talking shit. Everyone obviously. sucks. We're obviously the best. Obviously. <laughs> Drinks did, in hand. Did they not know that? This is what pompous people do. Yes, yes. Leather bound books. Yeah. These guys are out here like in the trenches, like flopping sets. It smells draws. like rich mahogany in here. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like chill talking shit. Yeah. It's good. What, a, is, what a life. Now we're voting liberal. You know, this is the way it is. I'm glad that you, like, uh, joined us there, finally. Eat. I was going to tell you something very... I wouldn't be allowed back in the booth if I said what I was going to say. To eat a dick? <laughs> <laughs> Ch 
Cheers. <laughs> this is why I love you. This is why we're best friends. You're the yin to my yang. Yeah. Sometimes you're the fucking shit in my porridge. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's, you're really irritating a lot of the time. It's good for us. Um, we have some crappy hands. Uh, I believe the wolf called the straddle. He's under the gun plus one. I'm a libertarian. I don't know. Like now, now the chat's like. I I, I don't I don't think I like fall into it. Yeah. Uh, we're not gonna talk politics. No. We're we're more joking. Yeah, we like to talk about. Hey everybody, we're joking. I mean, we're not, but we are. Like everyone's <laughs> shit, but you know. Uh, Lone Stranger comes along with a six-five suited Bazinga with a suited ace. Now what? Now we're playing suited combos. The hell! Figure yeah, this out, like, guys. Make a decision and stick with it. Yeah. Stop like leaning away from the norm, freaking David O. Uh, Jack Queen Queen Queens on every flop. It's science. Queens are running hot. These. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a science show. Queens are running hot. Confirmed. Claw nineteen eighty. Uh, What's lady, up? We got we got the Claw 1980 in the in the chat. I don't think I've seen Claw 90, 1980 since 1980. It's been a while. Uh, lady No Muck booth is lit. Love it. Yeah. Wee wee. I mean, we're just getting warmed up. We're like a slow, slow old oven you have to put wood into. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty damn good flop for Aaron. King on the turn. How did we go multi way to the turn? Aaron, um, check back. Sorry. What? Are you asking questions that make sense? Yeah, boo. This is Harlan and friends. So the wolf takes eight high. And he's going to bet it. Well, in his defense, queens are blocking queens. <laughs> this is also that. <laughs> uh, again, we have eight high versus eight high. And, and Mike makes it 450. This is... This is what I'm saying. Like, I Mike will take any hand and play it better than anyone else post flop. And if Mike had 8 9, he would just, like, <laughs> check call. Check call. Like, what? I have the best hand. I can just. Yeah. Like, I'll let him bluff. Okay. I, he's got my 8 high dick. I better, like, like step on the gas here. I, I guarantee. I wouldn't to you. <laughs> I wouldn't to you that Mike Postle went to some, like, freaking third world country doctor and got x ray vision, like, LASIK in his eyes. They I have swear that to God. There. They have it there. He can see the cards. This accounts for so much now. Yeah, it makes sense. That's the only sense I can make out of all of this. How does Mike Postle do it? I can't explain it. How does it he is, check it is, it raise is the, with eight high? Like He is the anomaly. This is why, I mean, I think he's the second coming. I know I am like right if, now. If, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this massage lady. Stop it. We're not doing that show tonight. Okay, this massage lady, you guys, this massage lady killed me in my game. Like, two or three Veronica friends oh, ago. Oh, she's getting a reputation. She, no, she's the best. She's good. She, like, kneed me in my back, pulled my arm, like, totally abused me, but it felt mm. so good. Alicia's. Damn, that thing's good. Oh, God, I love Alicia. She does squats. You can tell. She's, like, I'm so in love with her. Will you marry me, Alicia? If you guys see my Instagram, I'm always, always putting stuff up about Alicia because I'm, like, madly in love with my best friend. My other best friend. So everyone tries to limp along here, and Bazinga's going to take the pocket jacks out of the bag and make it 105 to go. I just... Why... Why are we talking about poker? We just want to, like... No, no, no. Why so small? It was it was a $20 with four other people. Shouldn't we go a little bigger? I mean, I like to go bigger there, but... You like big things. But it also, like, I mean, relative to, like, your stack size, maybe wants to play a little deeper, to be able to do, make, have a couple moves on some later streets, have some it more playability. Kind of a, it's I don't kind know. of a loose game, so maybe he thinks he's dominating mm. all of their random stuff, and he's okay see, seeing every flop, like, five ways. Or Ace, king, six, and he bets 385. And and Frank's um, got the open-ended flush draw. <laughs> Frank's got no. a flush draw with a backdoor straight a draw. draw. <laughs> Mike says yes with his ace Dewey. <laughs> oh, and Mike throws it away, or Frank throws it away. Very That's surprised so crazy. there. Yeah, that I can't believe he Frank's did that. Frank's off tonight. He's not. Uh, he's not feeling it. Three of diamonds on the turn doesn't really help anybody. 
Yep, still just Jax. So, isn't this a good spot to check now that you got called on the flop? What yes. Are you, what are you beating? You're beating nothing. So here's, I mean. Yeah, good check. Mike's going to check back. I'm telling you, Mike's the best post-flop player I know. Mike's not going to check back. Oh, he's, okay. Is he that good where he knows where he's at? I mean, it's it seems to me that if you get... I think like a with an ace-deuce, I would check back this turn. Yeah. But then again, he's Mike. And he's he's, he's vision. working on another level. Nine on the river. Uh, Mike gets the check mark. I believe it goes check, check. Check, I feel, check. I feel like anytime I've seen anyone bluff Mike, you have to three barrel. He's not. He's not gonna believe it. Yeah. With one, with Mike's one not a oh you bet once and you must have it kind of yeah. guy. No. Or he want he's optimistic about his hands. You know yeah. the gut shot might get there on the river. He's Mike. He, he gets he gets there. Equity I just chops. Just add like twenty percent to any of his equity. Yeah. Because that's really where he's at. I mean, tell me, one day they're going to like look back and they'll be like, did you ever hear about Michael Jordan? And they'll be like, who was that? And like, he was the, the Mike Postle of basketball. <laughs> he was really good. He was before them, but he was the Mike Postle of basketball. That's how we look. In 20 years, is how we're going to look back on it. How can we not? Look what this guy's doing. He scoops chops. No one stands a chance. I'm telling you, if Jesus returned, what would he be doing? He would be Mike Postle. He we would be living his life. We don't life. know that he's not. Yeah. I ought to be nicer to the guy. Get me, get me in, uh, in with the with the uh, big guy. I don't know. With the big guy. With yeah. with himself. Himself. He's he is himself. He is himself. And his best friend. Yeah, he's yes. all three of the and, things. And his that and, he... and his and his living run good. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's all good karma in one thing. Yeah, I like it. All yeah. Okay, we're gonna yeah. end it there. Yeah. Uh, King high flop. It looks like Frank's got got the best of it right now. Every single flop were six ways. Six, seven ways. It's a good game. This is a great game. I, I walked in the room, and I saw you, and I was impressed. And then I saw the table, and I was even like... So he pulls me aside, and he's like, look at this lineup! Look at this lineup! <laughs> like, obviously, it's great. It's what I drove down for. Um, Frank bets 300. Everybody's folding. Frank wearing his best button-up shirt. Although it's not as good as the <laughs> white collared one. He must have gone to Sears. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as good as the white collared one that he normally wears to my game. Frank's a classy broad. Like that that guy. Did you see his Christmas outfit? I want to grow up to be Frank. I mean, right. goals. Like the faster he swung his feet, the more it would jingle. He had this little singing, jingling feet in his Christmas outfit. I'm not kidding. <laughs> you think it's funny? I'm fu I Do I look like I'm laughing? Oh, God. What's funny is I know you're telling the truth, and I think that's wonderful. Uh, Claw1980 says the commentators would sound like this even if they weren't drunk, to be fair. This is my first glass of wine. Yeah. We, uh, we went hard in the paint last night, and uh, we were only just ready. We were almost ready to have a glass of wine when I had my first glass of wine. That's how hard I went last night. But I'm here with you, and I have wine. And there's an amazing 5 5 10 game. And what else could be better in the world? Right? Um, I'm not, em I, I'm uh, not emotional. Yeah. I'm just happy for a the wine. A gnat flew in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> Same one that flew into our wine earlier. No, we love each other. We, we, do. Have, we, we do. We honestly are best friends. Like, for like one moment of seriousness. Don't, don't start your shit with me. Aww. Bazinga, but, King Three. Ah, uh, Lone Stranger, Mr. Mike O. Pocket Queens. Raises hey. to 105. Bazinga, three bets to 400. Every time he's got Pocket Queens, he gets four bet. It's a good place to be in uh, normally. Didn't he just call the three bet last time with Pocket Queens? Yeah, uh, he called a four bet. Oh, flatted he flatted the, the he four flatted bet. Flatted the four bet. 
Well, it's kind of one of those things them. where you, I mean, a lot of players having to take that line these days where they just like will flat a four bet with queens and he, just kind of a hand of that, that they're they're willing perfectly willing to get it in with. He just, they just went all in. Don't want to see an uh, ace or a king. I think if had the hand. Oh, Bazinga's again. This is the same, almost the same hand. Bazinga does not have the king three. He's got the ace king. Once or twice. Uh, you're gonna have to let him in. It's locked. Ace king. Yeah, yeah, we fixed. Yeah, fix we it. saw ace king. Oh, they fixed it. All right, buddy. I love the way that players want to keep the integrity of the game so much. You know, we don't want to know that I like. No one wants to know that I called off with king three. It's right. ace king. Every other hand I've played tonight doesn't matter. They I had run ace king it there once, and. Man, David Owens just running bad with queens tonight. It is a like, poker's mean. Uh, B. Dix Vinny says the table should be thirty minutes drunker than the booth. You would think. We would think. Brutal. Big WPT tournament in town this weekend, right? WSOP. WSOP. WSOP circuit oh, event. I can't even keep up. Circuit event. Yeah, that's where our friend Barbarella is going to be in town. Going to be trying to get some more hardware. I might take a crack at some hardware. Last time he and I put an event together, we both final tabled, and he got coolered, and I decided immediately, well, he, he's not going to be by my side. I must punt, evidently. Well, you are auditioning for the Raiders still every year, still, right? Still, yeah. Yeah. I mean, with, and with the decision that that front office is making, I might have a shot. You do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you're a good punter, so. I'm a good punter. Robert Y, living that massage life. Mm-hmm. I like. I feel like she's not really giving us the true show, like the true massage that she normally gives. She's a, She's got like a, a whole like a range. You know, a range she's there. A, she has a balanced range. She's, she doesn't have to beat the shit out of everybody every time. <laughs> she if you does ask to, to me. But she, you ask for it though. You're into that. You like it. You even stop talking about it. You like it. I do a lot. One ten with the Jack Nine offer from Mr. Michael Postle. And the wolf says. The wolf, you know, if you be consistent, that's all I ask for. He's got his offsuit combinations working for him. Right. Don't stray from what we know works sometimes. Defend the small blind at all costs. It's a castle. You're getting a discount. Right. You don't know about the discount. Well, there's a discount. Yes. To a flop, ladies and gentlemen. Spades are covered. Let's hope it's all spades. Uh, seven six three one spade, and the wolf flops top pair. This is what happens. You play 7-4 off, you flop top pair. I like Robert saying here to work as a check raise, if he can get it in. Now, here's the word that, hey, I say that, but, I mean, these are the, oftentimes the boards that misses our opponent's range, and we flop, you know, a gutter with a backdoor flush draw. It's a good candidate to take the check raise with. The problem is, in this game, that board doesn't miss our opponents that often. That, yeah, uh, it's... That, like, smacks the hell out of these guys who are just they're playing all these... And it's five, kind six, of, five, seven, seven, eight, eight, five. I mean, this is the type of game I think you have to be really skilled post flop because people are not going to let go of their cards very easily. It doesn't matter how much you're putting in. We uh, saw three way all in. Same same type of hand draw for Paul inside straight draw, backdoor flush draw. Same flush draw. He just calls as well. Eight on the turn. The and Postle's still, open ended. And the what wolf is, is still new? holding on to his equity in this hand. And he checks now. Checked around. Paul also improves to open ended. Postle's like, you know what? You all want to check to me again? I'll make it harder for you. And to multiple opponents that all peeled us. On seven six three. If a ten comes, he has the nuts. Good read. Thanks. I'm just saying he might think that someone else has like a, a five here. I don't know. Or, like, this a, or a nine. Me, like, a nine without a for jack. For me, and maybe like I said, I'm just playing passive. This spot multi-way on this board. When that card comes off, I really like to check back and just realize my equity. But I feel like that hand just hits so many people that that are so many of the hands that are gonna check call us on seven six three. These guys really aren't just like check calling like two overs. No one's like check calling like king queen there, right? So that right. board's gonna that, that card's gonna help them as well, even though it did help us. So that's the part I think I like to just like check back and and realize all my all our equity. So Wolf's got the best of it. 
Is, is, hashtag is Mike, strategy. Hashtag science. Is Mike going to find a way to win this hand? <laughs> <laughs> if Mike wins this hand, what do you... Like, the world's going to change for you. Everything's Mike shift. bets a million. A million. Oh, my God. 2K. What is it? $2,100 bet from Mike? And he's putting Wolf to the test here. 2K and a quarter. It's like 2025. It's hard to with a seven here. He can't. It's so easy for Mike to have a straight here or two pair even beats him. It's so hard to call with second pair here. But it is Mike, right? We all know how Mike plays. And look, he's reaching for chips. Mike, can have, Mike, Mike has seven, eight here. Mike has and six, seven. Knows, Mike has all the sets. He knows if he makes this call, he's going to be a hero part of the time or idiot the rest of the time. You Mike know what has I mean? five, four. I mean... Mike's capable of having ace high here or capable of having the nuts. I mean, it's it's. I feel like Mike's pre-flop range is so wide, it's so hard to put him on anything. And, like, the wolf is actually considering this. This is going to be so sick if he calls. He's going to be my new hero, the wolf. And if he doesn't call, Mike's Jesus. Mike found a way. Just call him. Let's just, can we change his name to Jesus. Mike wins everything. Mike wins at life. Uh, Mike's doing um, 8 by 10 glossy photo signing after the show, if anyone's interested. You look at him shaking it off there like, Jesus. This guy's got stones. Lady Unomuk, G-O-D. Can we change his name to God, please? Lance, are you listening? Can you change his name to God? Because that's what he is. Capital G. <laughs> Capital G. Capital G. My goodness. Uh, what about wallet size photos? He'll Brent sign those. Brent Harrington, what's up, buddy? Back home you go. What's up? Balls of titanium, yes. Yes. Why do we always say balls? Why can't we say breasts of titanium? For someone who has, like, strength or something. <laughs> I said something else much worse. <laughs> <laughs> Bone pot. And Dave's got queens. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Dear God, put on your seatbelts. Oh, no. Dave's just like, and then I got queens three <laughs> times in a row and I lost 10K. Oh, goodness. Lock the doors. What happens next? Oh, no. Pair of fours for Robert. Pair of jacks for Aaron. An eight for Harlan. The thing about bomb pots is that thing, with all the random, every two random two card combination, every two pair combos out there, like a deuce comes off and you're like, someone could have jack deuce, someone has eight right. deuce. It's, right. It's so tough to navigate the waters here. Sometimes these these entire games are just like our bomb pots, you know, it's like. They're, it, they are the personification of a bomb pot, like the singular this hand. This game? Your game, this game. Yes, yes, this game for sure. Like it's seven just, ways we just, we just to throw every... all the reason out the window and every two pair combos and play. I feel like if you're playing with too much logic, it's just not making sense in these games. You know, you've got to just gamble times heart equals fun. Yeah. Right? Gamble times heart divided by run bad. And that's equals your profit margin, multiplied by your stakes. Minus Mike, my, po minus Mike Possel. Minus Mike Possel. And that's how much money you queens. Uh, plus queens. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, and that's how much money you make in a, in a game. It's science. I'm gonna get water. Why we have dead grapes? Right. And Dave is finally gonna make the queens work. And even he's shake, shaking his head like, I don't know how. I don't know why. Like, someone was supposed to have, like, 9, 10 or 7, 8 or jack 7 there and, like, punish me for having, like, a premium hand in a, in a bomb pot. With our powers combined. All right. It's good to see Dave get one, get a little bit back, get the stack moving in the right direction. No, he actually won. He won. I just, I don't know if I believe it because I didn't see it. I didn't witness it. So I don't think I believe it. It didn't happen. I wasn't there. Um, I feel like you're not really being a bestie to me. 
Oh. Yeah, because look. Oh, I'm sorry. Why would you treat me like this? Well, I saw how you I were, thought, I saw I how you you were dressed. Begging to get graped. <laughs> You're going to... I won't be going back to San Jose till tomorrow night, I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Very heavy pour. Um, Harlan, with Queens. Uh-oh. Raises to 75. Get him, Dave. Gets I'm a bunch of callers. Not rooting against anybody. So, it looked... Oh, okay. I thought there were white chips in front of Postle. I thought he raised, but it's just a call because he likes post-flop play. And um, we're going six ways to a flop. Ace, ten, six. Two diamonds. Uh, so Mike, you, you get and, there. Possible. You and Frank are like the same human. Like, it's like your timing, like your wine is like synced. Frank and I are besties. Um... Mike Postle get there has an ace with a uh, backdoor nut flush draw. And the one person betting with a 6 5. <laughs> we we want a pie. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we just, we're back. <laughs> I. I <laughs> yeah. Uh, so David O bets 125. Mike Postle quickly raises to 480 with ace. With an ace. Not fearing another ace. Not fearing anything. I just think this fearless stuff I love. I wish I could do it. Okay, the dealer's putting Frank's cards on there better. 480 with the ace deuce. Mike's just like playing prison rules. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> like. <laughs> he makes his own wine in the toilet. Yeah. And, and he plays raises pris ace deuce. <laughs> plays prison rules. <laughs> the man will not be stopped. We can't see what Frank's holding here. We, I mean, we tried to get his cards on the reader. I think something's wrong with the reader. Uh, Sarah's in the booth, or in the booth at, at the table, so she normally does it right. Frank calls. Queen on the river. Uh, they're friends. They checked it down on the river. Uh, Frank's showing. Let's see. What did he show? Uh, we can't see the camera. Mike would be a spiritual leader in prison like George Bluth. Amen. <laughs> Hop grenade. Well played. Check, check. River Mike got took it down. Uh, so, like, oops, sorry. Getting in the booth with you reminds me of, like, Back in the day when 678 was in our chat. Oh, yeah. When, like, I mean, Rick and Barso has been here the entire time. Yeah, he hasn't left his house. No. <laughs> <laughs> since, since 20, like, 15 or. I saw him at the series. Uh, yeah. For a minute. But that might have been, like, his clone or something. He just, like, crawled into the cardboard box, shipped himself there, <laughs> popped out. <laughs> Didn't want to see the light. Um, what other things do you think about? When stones like remember when we had the plastic booth that like you could like knock over with just a slight touch. The show's come a long way. It was like a basement in here yeah. for a while. We had that old table that was like this long. Where remember you had to like reach down to look at your cards. You don't remember that old table, that first table. Oh yeah, yeah, it had the raised rail. Yeah, I actually like I the raised like rail. The I like. I mean, I like. Rail. It kind of has like a like a like a final table feel to it. I kind of like it. I liked it. It's like back in the day when they used to put the camera holes in the raised table. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only reason they had it. Otherwise, it sucks. Jack, eight, six. Couple of diamonds. Bazinga's got a uh, pair of sixes for the best of it. No one else. No, Wolf's going to bet 50 anyway. Uh, Pigs Benny says, Mike runs so good, he'd never go to prison. That's true. He would. And, like, the judge would be so, like, mesmerized by Mike that he would, like, be like, oh, not guilty. Like, yeah, you can't. Yeah, this is a mistrial. Guilty. Like, forget it. Let's get this out of here. And he ended up sending, like, the other person's attorney to jail. Right. For, like, that's... accusing. Like, he's in the prosecutor to, to jail for, like, like wrongfully accusing Mike. Yes. This is, I mean, that's how good Mike runs. Mike's Bill Bradsky. He is. Mike is, is, is the personification of Bill Bradsky. Yeah. Bradsky. Bradsky. 
Brassy. Which is which is a mixture of Brad Pitt and Michael Jordan. The first Mike Possel. Yes. The first. Fucking cheers me, bitch. <laughs> see how aggressive she gets when she drinks, guys? What's, so, so tomorrow, all of you are going to see me like in games and I'll like have a black eye and I'm like telling people, like, <laughs> I fell down some stairs. Like, <laughs> please don't. Please don't tell the police. It's she made me like it's my fault. I made her do it. Like <laughs> you don't see what it's like when we're alone together. It's so much worse. <laughs> so much worse. <laughs> uh Mr. Mike Postle, never to disappoint. King Dime King of Five King of Five <laughs> King Diamonds. Of five. Stop King giving five me of lines. Diamonds. King Five of Diamonds raises to sixty. Robert is Mega card dead and in combination of mega disciplined, and it is, I didn't get to see him put money into a pot yet outside of a bomb pot. Have you? I have not. Um, I kind of feel like this is not a typical game that he's playing in. Like, what kind of adjustments do you make in this kind of a game? Don't fold. Exactly. Just don't. And fold. And he's folding. King high flop. Uh, Possible getting the best of it. Hashtag standard. Hashtag it's Possible's world. It's so strange, like, the socially acceptable ways to dress in a poker room that, like, in any other world, you look like a bank robber or, like... Yeah, or yeah. you you couldn't go to or work. Or some creep. Yeah, like, oh, no, what are you doing? I'm just putting on my hat, my hoodie, my sunglasses, and rolling up my sleeves and getting, like, grimy. Yeah, or or you're a poker player or a programmer. Yeah, programmers yeah. also. That, I'm telling you, they're the I, same I, species. I'm going to have to take your word for it because I don't have many programmers. They're the same no. species. Are they, they like all dress the same. They're all like uber smart, but socially awkward. It's the same kind of people. So you're saying I got a shot with maybe some programmers? Like, yeah, I I work with a woman who has a master's in computer science from Brown. She works with me. What can Brown do for you? Right. I like it. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, we'll talk after the show. A uh, spade on the turn helps a Aaron. Picks up a little bit of flush draw. Gotta love that five high flush draw. Mm. He does have a pair. You know, that's ambitious too. And it's always, it's gonna be like the red five on the river that no one sees coming. It's the black swan, the outlier. Red five would be a disaster. Actually, that would, he would uh, have a. Mike would have him yeah. out two paired. It'll happen. Don't worry. And Dave turns a pair. And he didn't give up on flop. And now he's uh, keeping the story up. Sometimes I look at this game and I think I'm confused. And then, the, and then I'm like, no, I'm actually not. <laughs> 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 this is like one of those games where you're like, Surely the graphics must be yeah. just strange and it must be off. I, something's wrong. Like, I'm not getting it. No, it's just, this is the game. <laughs> this is the game. This is, this is what's happening now. This is how we play. We're ace 16 the turn. Yes. And Mike makes it five and a quarter. <laughs> he just knows. And Dave. He just knows. And Dave just flats. Just. <laughs> Solve for why. <laughs> Um, and Mike, get there, Possel. And you gotta figure it out. Oh, and what is he? He bet 75 into 2K. I don't, I just, did Mike Possel just call? He's like, what are you, what are you betting? Made it 300. I don't understand. Was that like a blocker bet? Yes. That way Deuces doesn't turn their hand into a bluff and <laughs> jam on us. <laughs> In his defense, he made it. He bet an amount that a deuce would, that worse would call with, a deuce would ace deuce that was bluffing. That's true, ace right? Deuce, ace deuce of spades probably just. It's says, not folding there. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Also, ace deuce of spades probably makes it like a thousand back at you. But. That's true. Yeah. I mean, if they played right, in this game, if it was Mike Possel. Yes. Because. Emmerich, yeah. 
says, hello, please lock the doors. I am on my way. <laughs> uh, welcome to the game, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harlan and Friends. Not to be mistaken for Veronica and Friends. It's Harlan and Victims. Harlan right? and Victims. Uh, by the way, my show is next week, Veronica and Friends. Uh, Frank and Mike are both locked up for my game next week. And I do have a special guest coming in that hasn't been on the stream in a while that is a fan favorite. Jake, you're on the end of the show and you didn't even tell me. No. Guys. You're such a nit now. I can't play with you. <laughs> Everyone knows you're a nit. I get like text messages from everybody. Why is Jake such a nit? I'm like, yeah, he's not in my show anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. I just last time I played like the only like there's hundred dollar straddles and the only two professional poker players in the game were sitting to my immediate left. If you can't play King three or an eight six off suit, just like don't call me anymore. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Gonna have to gonna have to wail it up. We all wanna wait for your aces. We all wanna watch it. Let me drink my microphone. So speaking of the King three the wolf makes well, it 200. Possible raised to 50, and the wolf three bets to 200. Mike feel, and Robert call. I kind of feel like. <laughs> oh my god! I, I feel like this isn't even a bomb pot. I, I what feel the fuck's like happening? it would typically work, but not in this game. There's what is the point of the three bet? To a, a little bit isolate, right? Um, Maybe to and and this game is solely no. to build a pot. <laughs> what i'm saying and to keep that we're and to just keep, building pots here we're building pots we're keeping hands every in our single range person that's that at no this one, table we're keeping, hand, we're keeping the hands in a range that no one's thinking about <laughs> all that stuff that no one gives a shit about in this game we're making sure we're still doing that for the viewers at home every single person that's sitting at the table is in this hand in a three bet pot here we go so harlan checked his 10 paul picks up a flush draw now leads out robert y at zero percent by the way nut not clubs, but depending on after the flop checks through, Harlan might put in a little raise here. He's got to worry about so many players being behind him. But on when 10 deuce deuce checks through with all that crazy action, the five of clubs seems like a relatively safe card. Harlan's top, just going to throw it away. It's so hard. Top pair is so hard in this situation. No. He has no other draws and he's on the turn. It's not like he, he's. This guy, no, no. No. I'm just saying this. I'm if, just if, playing if, devil's advocate. If Harlan wasn't busy eating right now, that's all it is. They're like, fuck it. Like it's Queen Ten. Like I'm just gonna like eat my food. I'll find a I'll find a better spot when I'm less hungry. There are like a hundred people in this pot. Top pair with a queen kicker, with no other equity in the hand, with no other draws. Yeah. No, we don't fold. <laughs> we just talked about not folding, and you yelled at me for being a net. And now we're like, like, oh, oh no, yeah, no, it's okay. It's, I'm trying to. It's acceptable I'm to throw trying, away a top pair. I'm trying to be devil's advocate for Harlan. Just be, just be your true self. Just be the devil, and you don't have to, you know, advocate for anything. Okay, that was a terrible fold, Harlan. I thought you were going to hit me. Like, I thought you reached for <laughs> your wine glass. How much abuse have you had in your life? I'm not hitting I've you. I've been friends with you for like five years. <laughs> Seven. Has it, has it been that long? Seven. I might have. I, I might have like blocked out the first couple years. The first couple years, such. <laughs> My therapist says I should move on. I should forgive and forget. I was talking to somebody about when I met you and Andrew and the three of us, like, you and Had I became close. Not that time. You took a break and it was just him and I for a while. That was awkward. <laughs> Shut up. There was a hand going on. So what's here? So Paul makes it 575 to go. Robert stuffs it? Mm-mm. Robert's got a just calls. Robert's got a flush draw. Oh, and I would have ripped it, the shit out of that. Oh wow! And Robert, so Robert's now got the best hand. But if Paul does anything on the river, uh, Robert, Robert folds. Paul said all, all in. in. Paul jams. I like Paul. I like we Paul. We love some Paul. Paul has balls to the wall, tits to the wall. We're feminists here. Tits to the wall. That's mm. what Paul's. Paul has. Yeah. Labia for... La <laughs> I, I, got, I got nothing here. I got Look, nothing. Paul, Paul has heart there. I think he saw... If Robert had anything better, Robert, I think, like, just jams. The way that hand plays with, with 10 deuce, deuce checking through, Robert's usually going to have a pair, but, like, somewhere with, like, sixes to nines. Somewhere in that window. 
and Paul just like this guy can never like because Paul can still have a deuce where they and he was early position ten deuce deuce and a multi way pot like that. he's probably gonna check a deuce try to try to get a check raise in he can still have a ten like we saw Harlan throw away I mean and so Robert can never call off there was sixes to nines can never just like call off does Robert typically not never but it's really hard for the, it puts a lot of pressure on those hands in a non Harlan and, and victims table does Robert then um raise on the on the turn or on that's why i thought when we pick up the gutter and the flush draw there the only the downside is if we don't think we, we get a 10 to fold if we don't think obviously we're not we're never trying to get a deuce to fold that's not just not happening but if if i mean for the same reason paul can also have like sixes through nines there yeah and it's hard you can put the pressure back on on those range of hands as well so i don't know i thought robert would have jammed but then i mean maybe i'm just being a little bit biased because i can see the cards um, but I think that's the move I would like to think that I'd make there. Ra uh, Ryan Smith says, we don't forgive, but we do drink and forget. We do. Uh, Aww. That should be like on a, like a, like on a poster, a t-shirt, or, or a meme or something. Oh, pocket fives. Flopping it like it's hot. Every single hand is six-way, <laughs> at Mike, least. Mike's got a pretty decent hand here. Pair... Inside. You stop at pair. pair All he needs is draw. a pair, and not even that half the All time. All I need is the pair that I breathe. <laughs> just <laughs> All you need is eight high for Mike Possel. Bows. Let's get a, let's get a eight of diamonds on the turn or something. I'm drinking some gambling stones water. Mm. It's got a lot of gamble in it. That was the that was a thing when you and I were doing commentary. It was. I don't want to spend this whole time reminiscing. We, it's, we've we've gone down that path. I don't know if there's turning back. Remember that time when I uh, just nothing. Wolf bets two fifty. I like Mike's check call. Uh, three bet is the new limp in this game. Yeah, hands start there. <laughs> That's hands the baseline. start at three betting. Yeah. That is like, uh. Pidix, Bidney, I don't know how to say your name, but that is the best thing I've heard all night. Three bet is the new limp. I'm going to tweet it. Okay. Okay. It's the best thing you heard all night, huh? What about when I confessed my love and told you like, that you're my best friend and all that stuff? But no. Three bet's the new limp, and that gets like best like quote or thing of the night. Yes. 365 from the wolf with pocket fives. We know Mike's not folding. Mike makes two pair. Eight nine gets there, so if Mike leads, we probably won't see a raise out of the wolf, but we know he's not folding. Mike definitely thinks he's got the best of it. There's sixteen hundred in the pot, and it looks like he's gonna bet. And he goes, yeah, he goes bet call. Mike bets three eighty five, same size as that wolf bet on the turn, if I'm not mistaken. Like I said, the eight nine gets there, and Wolf's just gonna gonna just call. Paradox. He says it's paradox, but he spells it with a silent D and a N and a Y. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, you you were always good at figuring that shit out, like. Yeah, you know, but, but I'm not right now. We all have our right strengths. But I'm not right now. I always... We have our strengths. Mine is generally things that require, like, Neanderthal, Neanderthal strength to do. Oh, I thought you were going to say, like, the smart stuff, and then No, I no, just, no. Like... I was going to beat you to the Neanderthal punch because I know it was coming. I mean, we're all a little bit Neanderthal. Don't be mad. Don't hate it. Just absorb it and accept it. Accept it. Embrace it. Embrace it. Create a fire in your backyard and, like, pound your chest in front of it. I don't know what Neanderthals did. I've dated a few, but I don't recall but you, you didn't get i far wasn't as that going sober back, you didn't go, go as far as uh, getting back to their natural habitat huh <laughs> yeah no why don't we go back to your natural habitat and i mean fire? hair pulling's fine but you know <laughs> uh we got a 20 dollar straddle if you don't know this is harlan and victims a 510 with a mandatory 20 and harlan raises it up to 100 with a queen nine he's kind of like you know, I don't know. Harlan, I'm just going to give you a hard time. You're not the host with the mostest. I am, obviously. I'm a little jelly right now. You're, you're a lot jelly right now. You... I just think that, like, I'm a little more playful with my guests. 
<laughs> when, when the guests are playing just fine by themselves. Yeah, you don't, you don't, don't need to do anything. Yeah, you don't the, have to, like, poke them with the sticks. The three bet is the new limp. The, I mean, I have $750 straddle. So I guess my game is more of the straddle game, and his is more the three bet game. I'll give him that. Three bet to five and a quarter from the wolf. He's pissed this now. I'm insane. surprised there's not, like, four callers. Apostle's giving him some love with a 6-3. <laughs> the uh, I just want to see some post-flop revenge. Oh, God. I feel like Apostle, like, can you imagine the makeup sex with Apostle? Like, no? It's, well, you know you're going to get there. Yeah. <laughs> or at least he is. <laughs> Ace-5-8. Apostle's going to turn his hand into some sort of bluff here. Look, he's talking to... He Wolf has the psychology set. down packed. He's going to ruin his life. He's going to find a way to win this. Oh, wow. The, the wolf's irritated. Bets piles with middle set. Okay, if it, if it wasn't for that set. <laughs> How do you beat Mike? You flop a set and make sure he only has six high. Yeah. And then you bomb like two X pot. Even then, I'm surprised that 1. Mike didn't win. 1.5 X pot. Yeah. He would have found a way if he got to the river. The spade was coming on the turn. Right. It was there. Wolf takes down a decent sized pot. Uh, Rick and Barso says Veronica and Neanderthals might not go to see a pole dancer in a trailer. God, are we going to tell that story again? I'm not. I'm not either. Okay. We'll save that for our next reunion show. Promise? Yeah. Oklahoma, Oklahoma pregnant o Oklahoma stripper Oklahoma pregnant trailer stripper buffet. Trailer story. buffet. A runny egg buffet. Runny egg buffet story. Yeah. Well, Next show, we, 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 can, we can... Revisit. Revisit, bring all our new viewers that have come to the show over the last couple of years when we haven't been there. And uh, we'll uh, take a walk down memory lane. Uh, Rick and Barstow, I know that you remember the story, so feel free to type it into the chat. Yeah. Give some of our newbies. Although he's, he's not going to say it properly, I'm sure. No, he'll remember. I trust Rick and Barstow. So um, Harlan raises to Jack 8. Harlan raises to Jack 8 to 105 with Jack 8 suited. Stop giving me wine. This is all your fault. This is, yeah, you, Queen high you, flop. you've had too much fun. Two hearts. Both uh, Apostle and uh, David O. Flop backdoor flush draws. Apostle's open ended. And Dave O. Not today, nerds wants to hear the story of the Oklahoma runny eggs hole in the floor with a pregnant stripper yeah, dancing on the pole that was stuck in the ground in the hole with the runny eggs buffet. Pretty much the summary. <laughs> are those eggs or ovaries? I can't tell. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I thought you said, are those eggs over easy? I oh, can't no, tell. I no, those are or ovaries. Or ovaries. Um... David O bets 200. Apostle calls. Two on the turn. I feel like David O doesn't have a lot of fear, which is why. You need it in this game. No, yeah. I mean, you need to not have fear. It's kind of like why he can survive at this table. Did he check? Yeah, I think he checked. No, Mike's leading here. Mike's... No, no, no. David O... Oh, David O's on the button. David's me. button. Mike. He's just Mike. He just knows. Like, the deuce comes off. Like, Dave's going to bet all his queens on the flop, and he's not folding a queen to the deuce on the, on the turn, but Mike just somehow, like, no, this guy, this, he never has a top pair here. In a game where people aren't folding pairs, Mike knows just when people do and do not have, have them. Like, so, oh, I, I thought they were going to the table, but they're looking at the game. So, if you ever think of anybody who's solved the game, like people, I mean, chess isn't solved. They chess just is know. solved. It's solved, but it's not. There's too many combinations. But Mike chess Postles, is solved. there's so many combinations. It's not really solved. It's still a thing. It's like, go... Go is kind of solved by AI, but it's not, like, really solved. Go is more but, complicated. But Mike Postle has solved poker. It, it would certainly seem so. Confirmed tonight. I mean, in, in, in a game with, literally with... Put Mike Postle against any AI. Mike Postle will break the fucking machine. 
the thing will set on fire. <laughs> Silicon Valley has nothing on Mike Possel. They can't. They need to take Mike Possel and put him in a lab and like try to figure out his code, and they can't. Well, he, he's, it'd be like ones and zeros, and then a two, and you're like, yeah. what the hell? Yeah, like what is that? We're all in 2019. Mike Possel's in 3019. He's so evolved past us. Prison rules. You know what? He's a time traveler. He came from the future. There's nothing else that explains it. Prove me wrong. Well, that's all the motivation I needed. Uh, King96. <laughs> top, top for Devo. The lone strangler. Stranger. Uh, up poker. Upper Poker wants to know about Table Talk. Well, let's put it on. Let's put it on. I didn't hit any part of the fight. I can hit one of three out there. I like one option. Do we have to choose one or the other? No, we can have both. Each team is way better than I mean, that just seems like so obvious. Queens is just too much power. I don't think we should have both all the time because it can get really loud. I mean, come on. Think about it. How many of you guys can handle two ladies at one time? Give me a break. Uh, uh, the Mushy Cookie says, Runny yeah. Eggs Buffet was my ex's stripper <laughs> name. <laughs> Runny Eggs Buffet, stand by. <laughs> she only dances to ACDC. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Three minutes. Not the rat music. We need some yeah, which one <laughs> Pulls off of the jacket. It's that. sopping wet. Earlier in our life, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, we're slimy wet. <laughs> Twenty dollars straddle, ladies and gentlemen. Apostles go upstairs. upstairs. And lone stranger's gonna limp along. Maybe try to get in a back raise. The chips are louder than the talking. Oh, gotcha. Stone Slide Poker says, "Welcome to the stage, the runny eggs." Uh, he says. Not today, nerds. The audio for the table talk is terrible. You need to let the producers know. Okay, so they're they're right. watching and listening. We let them know. We'll get we'll get our nerds right on it. We have <laughs> wonderful nerds. We have the best nerds. We're <laughs> <sighs> gonna get a back raise in here. Uh, so Mike Possel made it one thirty with a nine seven off on the button. Come on, and Dave. And Dave Don't just, is just God, calling. God damn it, Dave. You know what? Just Dave's, when you'd gotten like super sexy. Dave's had a bad run tonight. Yes, I think he he's has. a little bit, you know, he's been spanked too much. He doesn't want to burn himself again. Ace high flop. Dave flops the best of it. I kind of feel like he could have got, well, I don't know how much value he could have got out of them pre, like. No, but I just, I mean, when he, when, he, when he limped ace king early position, I mean, it's kind of the move that we expect. I mean, again, I think of. I beat that horse to death enough times where I'm not a fan of that move. But if once you do it, I'm I'm less of a fan of just limp calling Ace King than I am limp, limp free raising. Go you're ahead. a bigger fan of limp free raising no, no, than limp calling. If you're gonna take Ace King and you're gonna limp it, and limp then actually call. N no, then limp raise. If but I versus, feel like that's so 2006. It's like your most hated move besides just limping. And and limp callings like like 1976. Like better, it's it's a it's a drawing we didn't say hand. Gavin Smith. It's a I draw. just limp call. I just limp call every hand. That way, if I have aces or king three, they don't know. The I just flat limp call. call. The yeah, the flat, flat call. call. <laughs> <laughs> that was legit. Fucking Gavin Smith. No, of the two options, like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't limp for shit. You know. That. I just thought you hated the limp raise so I do. much in I early do. position that it's like AIDS to you. It you don't is. want it. It's HIV. Limp calling is AIDS. <laughs> limp raising is a is HIV. Limp calling it's is AIDS. Full it's blown full blown AIDS. AIDS. Can't come back from that. Deck's rigged. What a game. What a game. People think poker is dead. This is why I can't play in San Jose. They don't have this type of action. They don't have this atmosphere. Everybody's amazing here. Yeah, it's, it's really, really this is great cheers. place to play. This is real life this cheers. Is, this is cheers. If everyone in cheers had like a loan shark breathing down their neck and like degenerate gambling problems, <laughs> <laughs> this is cheers. Yeah. Everyone knows your name. Yeah. It's like a nice atmosphere. People aren't a-holes. They're super no. nice. Yeah. They want to call with 8-3 off. They 3-bet king 3. Right. It's good for you. 3-betting's the new limp at Stone's Live Poker, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. <laughs> 
Nasrabia. Cheers to Nova the Scotia. free bet limp. I have this feeling that we're going to be bowling at 4 a.m. Yeah. No, I'm just serious because there's someone coming to join us after the show. I have my polywogs. I have to go home. Ah. Uh, because you're supposed to, this is all supposed to happen earlier. I know. But someone didn't get out of, you know, obviously, some great San Jose Bay Area game in time. Let, someone couldn't leave the limp along poker. Sorry that I um, right, right, right. have to drive all the way every time I come here. When was the last time you visited me? Once? And I made a big dinner for you? You did, and it was very nice. It was yeah. wonderful. So I am a good friend. She's a hell of a cook, guys, by the way. Uh, Mike Postle raises to 100. The wolf calls. I feel like there's three really good customers in this game. To a flop. Seven high. Two diamonds. Postle's got the backdoor flush draw. No one's really got much of anything. Um... Dave O's got the inside straight draw. You see, you see, Postler like casting a spell over his chips right before he bets. That's what it is. <gasps> He's a witch. He's a wizard. He's a witch. A wizard. A, a man witch. A man witch. <laughs> a warlock. I like man witch. A better. man witch is a sandwich, right? A, a sandwich with beef and like really good sauces. I don't know. <laughs> man witch. I don't know. Don't isn't there a commercial about man witches? It sounds sounds right. Uh, Dave's gonna check call with his inside straight draw. Turn the ace brings a double flush draw that no one has. Good card for Mike Rep. And here he goes. <laughs> I feel like. Dave and Mike are like, I don't know if they've laid their foundation in previous games. I'm sure they have, but it seems like tonight they're back and forth besties. You know what I mean? Like they're always in each other's pots and Mike Postle being G.O.D. is mm -hmm. always getting the best of it. Both of them have King High, but Postle's you know, still got the best of it. It's an easy game. When you're Mike Postle. When you're Mike Postle. I was telling a friend once that, you know, I said, I, I'm pretty sure Mike's the biggest winner on stream ever. Like, and, they're, and they happen to be, he happened to be in the game. It's and they not even close. They happen to look up and Mike had some trash hand, right? I mean, which is not new. And, and they're like, no, this is not possible. Look at what this guy's doing. I'm like, no, Mike's, I'm pretty sure, the biggest winner on, you know, on yeah, stream. Yeah, it's not even show. close. He is. And it, yeah. And you just, street after street after street, he's making, I mean, I don't want to say, like, you know, results-oriented, you know, good decisions, but it works. And he's making good decisions. I'm telling you, people underestimate his post-flop play. He can play post-flop better than anyone. He's told me before, I don't care what I have pre. I won't even look. Told I'll you, he, he demonstrates it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Pocket Abe says Joe Ingram was on Twitter uh, claiming Jerry Yang won the World Series of Poker Main through the power of prayer. So voodoo could work in this cash game. Yeah, but he was a moron. I mean. What? The power of prayer works, Jake. Doesn't it work for you? Do you not pray every morning for that luscious beard? Yes. Yes. And that big brain of yours that's just barely past Neanderthal, but mm, still good but enough to... Po talk poker strategy to trounce like one two and one three players and two five players <laughs> just fucking okay there's a five ten foot yeah no i'm with you yeah in what way are you with me <laughs> uh six four four that's a lot of fours for frank and a six for wolf so i feel like both of them will be all in <laughs> <laughs> look at frank just looking at those chips sigh you, shrug yeah, i guess you, i'll call yeah if you take too long it, it doesn't look good I told Frank, you're cheating on me in this game, so you have to buy me my wine tonight. So he's like, yeah, no problem. Just in case Frank wasn't already good enough, boat's up on the turn. And he's getting bet into. What a life. He's like, what does this guy have that he's betting into me? Don't overplay this one. Don't try to win this Oscar, Frank. Quicker call, Frank. Quicker yeah, call. Yeah, just call. Just call. Like, look like you have a flush draw. Oh, sell, God. Sell the 7-8. Yeah, um... 
Don't raise this. Oh, why are you doing this? It's such an act. He's just calling. Wolf's shutting down, though. In the absence of a king or a six, Wolf is shutting down. Oh, I thought that was a king. I would have, like, freaked a little bit. Wolf's not shutting Wolf's down. Wolf's not sorry. shutting down. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't think you understand poker. <laughs> Wolf's representing this flesh. Wolf can actually be trying to get value out of a out of a six here. Wolf can get value out of maybe six, seven, seven, you know, five, six. There's a lot of worse sixes that Frank's going to play the same way. Just tell me the truth. Are you doing mental gymnastics right now? <laughs> I, I can't bluff you and the viewers at the same time. I mean... <laughs> If Wolf's Wolf, just if turning Frank, his hand into Frank a bluff. Had like six, seven. Wolf's turning his hand into a bluff. If Frank had six and seven, we'd all be like, this guy, he like, he's on another level. He's on the level. He's like, he's sitting so close to Possible, it's like rubbing off on him. I, I'm just saying. Like we all. Uh, if if Frank had like sevens, eights, Wolf could easily represent a four here. I think that's what he's doing, or a flush. What? See? No, he, he moved just, all in. He moved oh, all in. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, I was like, he just calls. No, he moved all in. Thank goodness. Wolf's, I mean, this is like a pretend fold. He's pretending to take Ponder. time to fold, but he's folding. Always convincing myself that he has the 5 7. Oh! He called? No way! Oh! He was value betting, and he did make that call. He wasn't turning it into a bluff. Lock the doors! Yes! Poker is alive and well in Sacramento! Oh, my God. <laughs> Later, this story will be told. No, but seriously, we'll lock the fucking back, doors. Later, like he'll tell the story like, he, like I got cooler. <laughs> <laughs> I run so bad. I run so bad. Oh yeah, he was value betting. That's sick. What a what a. He was. He, I think he was really game, trying to trying to get value from like six seven a hand game, like that. This game's so next level. Like I, I'm beyond. I sent you the hand where Mustafa Kanit raised her value with a pair of sixes versus Stephen Chidwick. Yes. Yes. You get on these levels and you get in the, like you just like. I'm not there. I, I haven't I mean, taken you, the he, red pill. He zigged when he should have zagged here, but in this spot, but I mean, if he just had like, if Frank has like five, seven, or Frank had, if Frank turns six, seven into a bluff and reps back to our clubs, and then you're like, oh my God, this guy's the wizard. He okay, just knows. That, he's, I would. He, po, he's now becoming Possel. He's the second coming of Mike Possel. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But I just, you know what? It just, I guess he picked a bad spot because Yeah, Frank, timing, timing's everything. Yeah. Frank gets some back. We like that. We like chips being splashed around here and there. We like. Just we don't like lock action. down. Yeah, don't yeah, lock don't down. Don't lock don't down. Don't lock it down. Can we trade Robert Y for Nat? I was supposed to say, don't lock down Robert. Can we? Can we like? You should be like, you know, bring so, us lefty. Like, so and like. So yeah. when we're speaking of of Nat. Yes. So Nat got in contact with Stones. Oh. And asked to be in my game next week, and they contacted me, and I was like, well. Nat says sometimes he will show up and then he doesn't. Are we having another bomb pot? I feel like every five minutes we have a bomb pot bomb because pot. they're in every single hand. <laughs> it's hard to distinguish between the. But so Nat is going to be in Veronica and Friends next and he's committing. Saturday. He's committing. Apparently, he's getting married to my the, game. The committed are committing. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, Nat will be in my. I think he's been in my game once. Nat was born for this game. This game right here. This is the game that no, Nat was Nat born. No, Nat was born for Veronica and Friends. Okay, Jealous. I don't want to talk about Harlan. Oh my Harlan. God, you were. <laughs> God. Uh, there's Casey wearing the bomb pot hoodie. You're the jealous girlfriend, and like, like me and Harlan both can't be dating poker. Poker's right. my thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> I am. I am. I feel horrible. Ace Queen Four, Two Spades, Wolf, Spade Draw. Mike's king four, technically in the lead, but the wolf had the most equity with the eight deuce. Queen Robert Wise got a queen. There it is. Sorry, it takes a little while to scroll through the piles of hands. <laughs> and Paul, oh no, Paul's got an ace. Jesus Christ, it's taking me a long while. 
It's not your fault. It's okay. Paul bets 200. He's going to get looked up by the wolf. The king's not the worst card for Paul. If he had kicker issues, they're solved now. That's another 200. Just call from the wolf. Paul, who started the stream playing pretty fast, pretty aggressive, lost that big pot, came back and bluffed off in another one. Hasn't kind of been mixing up in it lately, so the wolf might have noticed this and be uh, slowing down. Check, check. Ace good. I just got like 50 pictures of you and me. So, time to grime that stuff. <laughs> so, I don't know why I'm showing you that. Whee! Zach? My Zach? Zach from SAC? Uh, probably not. These days he's not leaving the PLO games downtown much. Yeah, I can imagine. Ah, uh, I'm so pretty. You are. Game on. Ah. All right. King Jack makes it 105. Wolf comes along with worse diamonds. And our lone stranger with a Jack 8 suited. King 7 5 rainbow. Back to our diamonds are both Wolf and Aaron. A -A -Ron. Top pair for Aaron. It's 5 10 in the pot. 175. Wool or Dave wasn't looking like he wanted to fold there. Should be the end of the hand. Wolf did just lose a pot. And that might be on his mind. Yep. 175. We are going to peel two unders in a backdoor diamond draw. Will Wolf rep the five? We did not turn any back to our equity. Aaron's been playing pretty in line this entire game. Might pick another player. Oh, Jesus, shit. Never mind. We will rep the five. Check jam on King755 with 40s. Aaron bet 325. And the wolf stuffs it. It's about, it says all in for 4K, but I think A.A. Ron's got about 2K, 20, maybe 2,500 back. We bet 325 and something jams on us. This looks a lot like hearts, though, like maybe King X of hearts. And the Satan. fold. Would what someone, a game. Would someone take that sizing with a five? And they actually turn trip fives. And they're just going to really like try to blow us off the, off the hand. It almost feels more like hearts. Right? Yes, no. Yes, no, yes. King, seven, five, rainbow. In a normal game, yes. In a normal game. Okay, mind you, this is not a normal game. So, like, we should always, when we're discussing this game, we should say, like, in a normal game or in this cluster yeah, and the absolute... This, like... And the Oklahoma Strip Club dumpster fire that this game is. Exactly. Runny Eggs Buffet Oklahoma Strip Club trailer dumpster park, fire. Yeah. Trailer park. It wasn't a, a single-wide trailer. Single-wide, nonetheless. God, that's good. 
It was so good. Like, it's so much grit. Pregnant you, stripper. You can't mm. replace that grit. Her feet were dirty from the dirt because there was a, a square hole. Well, they should have made it round. The pole is round. Make the hole round. The hole was square. How is she supposed to work in that, in that square? I'm impressed. The wolf races to 90 with kings. Under the gun, plus two. No Embrace one's folding it. in this game. <laughs> Love the tilt. <laughs> Embrace it. Got to think. I think you know, like Star Wars and like the Emperor's like like let your hate control you or like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, and no game more like there's no game that more than this one where you could potentially just play without looking at your cards and maybe be successful. <laughs> <laughs> Robert now picks up his first hand all stream, and is put in a three bet to five hundred. Bad news for Robert. The wolf, who might still seem to be on monkey tilt, is not. We call it Neanderthal tilt in the booth now. Oh, my goodness. He's going to go upstairs. Did he say all in? Robert's got a call. Yeah. I mean, Robert's I'll like, man, I haven't played in three hours. Look at Frank. Frank just is praying for a hand because I know Frank just probably didn't even look. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Frank. Do, do he doesn't want to fold this. Do not doubt for a minute that Frank okay. is legitimately pondering a Let's call here. Let's just talk science right now. Frank knows that 10-9 can crack aces <laughs> and kings. <laughs> it's like Frank, Frank's saying, like, you guys have big car. You guys got some big pairs. Yeah, you guys I have each this. other blocked. He's got ace king. You got a big pair. I've got this, like, and I just can't not. I mean, if you've got a really big wad you're sitting on, it's maybe a good call. <laughs> Oh, Robert. If Robert was at all aware of that last hand. Robert really should call because of this, the way this table is The thing about dynamic Robert, though, is, is like, Robert's playing so snug, and that's got to be going through his mind that Wolf knows that. Wolf knows that Robert has not been playing a pile of hands. He's been relatively card dead, very patient, trying to find a good spot, and has put in his first three button, nonetheless, from an early position opener, and he gets jammed on. Robert's... God, I mean, like, Jesus, like, this guy, no, does he just, like, have it here? Is Robert getting away? He yeah, showed him. Did he show him, or did he show him a king? He's folding. I wouldn't fucking show Robert. Oh, like, and they're paying for the rabbit. It's a $5 uh, tip to the dealer to, to see rabbit. the cards. Yeah. We are going to, Robert gets away. Someone, someone, spun spun the, the wheel. someone spun the wheel. The table cam is mounted to the spin the wheel bracket. It's a gambling thing. Don't yeah. ask. Don't at me. Please, like, get us. He would have hit an ace? Yeah. We were told from our nerds that he would have hit an ace. <laughs> we're so results oriented um, here, the too. The nerds are saying. <laughs> <laughs> nerds are compliment these days. My, yeah. ki my kids are nerds. I love it. Yeah, they're yeah. smarter than you. They're, they're on gonna, that tra trajectory, yes. They're probably programming already. I wouldn't even know it. Like, my daughter's in fifth, sixth grade, fifth grade? Fifth grade. Fifth grade. You don't even know what grade your daughter's in. That's good. She's in sixth grade. Okay. So that's but good. But she was doing algebra last year in fifth. I don't think I started algebra until like seventh. I don't remember algebra besides in my master's program. <laughs> in nursing, we don't do algebra. We just try to keep people alive. <laughs> And then we move to IT. And then you move to IT. So Robert would have hit the ace. We're calling it a great fold right now, but this is, again, I'd like to, like, hey, let's not, if, if Wolf has queens, are we saying great fold? I, I think, like, just with this table. I'm not I, folding I don't ace know. king for shit. I'm not fucking folding ace king. Uh, I just want to backtrack and say that a uh, that um, aces that nurses do a lot of math. I don't want to like belittle. Wow. Yeah, I don't want to belittle the profession. I'm a feminist. No, nurses no. are stupid. No, I didn't say that. I know you didn't say that. I'm just saying, we do more than just keep people alive. We do math. It's good. To a flop. <laughs> <laughs> King high flop. King eight five. Couple Ro of clubs. Robert White gets the best of it. He's in two hands in a row here, ladies and gentlemen. What's up? King when like folding ace king to like playing king six suited is Robert got he's, a little. He's a little tilted. Little, little, little yeah. tilted. 
Little I would have watched one like a 4K pot tilted. Right. Uh, if you want to be results oriented. I mean, I think it was a decent fold in general. Oh, here comes. Yes. Yes. But you have to open the door. Oh. Oh. Oh, why, hello Thank there. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. Hey, you betcha. You betcha. I won't be walking anywhere tonight, let alone driving. My car, luckily, Stones does not tow cars. Do you know you're not allowed to make a right-hand turn out of Stones on a red light? On a red light, yeah. I do know In that. an elf outfit? <laughs> In an elf outfit. <laughs> That's our Christmas special. <laughs> the officer was so kind to point that out to me as I'm in my elf outfit. Uh, that elf just made an illegal turn. He also passed, passed three sobriety tests. Test in my elf outfit. <laughs> <laughs> After Veronica and friends, boom. Putting that elf through the ringer. <laughs> That's a true story. I know it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> that Good is enough, a true story. Hey, you guys are doing a great job in here. Have you seen the latest possible Frank can? Not yet. No, don't, don't tell no us. No spoilers. Nope. Hi, buddy. There's one coming. Oh, it. good. We're excited. I love that. That you just see this guy in a, in a full-on elf outfit. Can you just catch up and just start on that one? Oh my God, you're trying to kill me. I have been for years. Yes. Oh, Jesus, shit. I feel like he just learned this. Well, the booze kicks in, and you forget. Right. You forgive. You forgive. Because you've forgotten. Twenty dollars straddle. We're playing four. We're playing four blinds. Yeah, but they're not live. In Veronica and Friends, they are. No, this would be live because the five, five, ten are the blinds, so the twenty would be live. No, but like a if it was a double straddle, I mean. It's a great pick. I love that. Send that to me. Or is it posted? You posted it. I'm in. I can send them all to you. Send them all to me. I have like five hundred pictures of us now that. Uh, Justin took of us. Excellent. Crispy sizzle. Keep profanity to a minimum. Here's the F one. <laughs> people people we, are getting like blocked in the chat or like like <laughs> shortly down in the chat for like, using profanity. We're in here like fuck that. Wait, wait. Huh? Stop the press, Mike. Po you know it's like 1930s comment. Do -do 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 -do. Mike Postle has a real hand, ladies and gentlemen. It's what time? How many hours are we in? It's eight thirty. We started at six or two hours in. Mike Postle has a real freaking hand. I don't believe it. So Mike Postle raises to one forty in the third blind. <laughs> oh god, I don't see third blind anywhere. Any show? Have you seen third blind in any show? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. You watch a lot of TV. I don't. I don't. I thought we used to have a uh, straddle. No, because it's because that's the scene because it's not really a straddle. Oh, it's a mandatory third yeah. blind. A mandatory third blind, which is why you can put in a live twenty or whatever live. Ace four deuce. Oh my god! Here we go. Fades. Frank and Postle. Top top for Postle. Top pair flush draw for Frank. Oh God! And don't Mike even... starts doing this with his hands in front of his face when he gets wild. This is gonna get wild. Don't think for a minute that Frank is not willing to go all the way with a nine high flush draw. Especially against Postle, there's a like a love hate thing between them. More love. Yeah. But they love to go back and forth like, with no each other. No one's money tastes better <laughs> than, than Mike Postle, yeah. and Mike Postle says no one's money tastes better than right. Frank. You guys just want to beat each other up in pots. They're no, they're best friends the best on and friends. off the field. Yeah, they really are. You know what it's down to. Snap call you already had three clubs. Um, yeah, three clubs. Is that the only reason you joined my game? <laughs> That's the reason I'm trying to get in your game right now. I'm going to put my chips in your pot. Oh! Damn! Oh, wow. I went over there and I told them twice exactly what was going on. Not a good card, Mike. that smug little chew from Possel? He's so smug. I love it. Like, I love it. I hate it, but I love it. And Mike, what is he doing? Uh, it looks like 350. Frank's just gonna. 280 into 940. 
280. Frank just called quickly calls. Quickly calls. I'll check the best day. I'll check. Check, check. How you doing over there, Wilson? Fuck! I'm going to check that Frank has some kind of club in his hand. I thought I was it. Action. Oh, we got a Raj in the house. Ronnie. Who? Someone that should take um, Robert YC. Ronnie. Raj. Action player. He's a fun player. Yes. Pl yep. <laughs> Um, you might be flying solo in the booth here for a little bit. <laughs> the seat opens up. There's no seats. But oh. I'll tell you that, like, the dynamic of stones is unique. I feel like we're in the Bermuda Triangle. There's, like, nothing like Games, stones. Games, they really are. They, they're really, I mean, they're so bigger, better here, here than they should be. They're bigger. They're better. They're funner. Everything er happens at stones. They're er. They're er. -er. <laughs> they're er. -er. They're er. -er. Than everywhere, else, than everywhere else. I'm just saying, everywhere. there's really, I, I mean, people think I say that. No one's paying me to say this. I'm not, there's, like, I don't work for stones anymore. It's probably all the drugs you put in the, in the stones water. Oh, shit, that's what it is. Yeah. Makes us all happy. Put that liquid gamble in you. Mm. Oh, man, that's my problem. And you're just sitting here like, oh, I want you to gamble right now. On my nipple? Yeah. No, that's what you do at the table to make everyone uncomfortable. It works. It's true. The uncomfortableness. Yeah. Not yeah. the gamble. <laughs> uh, is everybody just limping this hand? I cannot believe this. This is our first limp of the night. Is this it? <laughs> Veronica and Friends is the AA meeting where they play poker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's too good. King high flop. Uh, Paul, Paul, that's it. Riz, what's up? What's up, Riz? Wish we uh, could hear more table talk. I'm with you. I, I love the table talk. Ka, the problem is that you also pick up noise from the rest of the card room, and it ends up being kind of drowned out. This is this is this is the lineup that we would love to hear. Wolf, Frank, Mike—they're all talkers. I'd love to hear Harlan, them mic'd up. Yeah. I could shut up for a while to hear them yeah, talk. Gave him motivation. He's like, can't win if I don't play, right? Yeah, that's true. Let's see another one. Yeah. Let's see another one. They hit him hard. Price him up. I get some oxygen there. This or a friggin' jack. That's right. Oh my god, they're gonna kill you. They yeah. can drop a two if they should. No, yeah, they have to kick you an extra point. No, you have to kick you an extra point. Oh yeah, because you have to kick it for yourself. Yeah, because if you miss it, you're two point conversion, and you made two point game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking they scored right after the fucking two minute warning, dude. They got all three fucking timeouts. Four kids. Four kids. The Rams aren't gonna fucking like take it easy. They're gonna fucking try to. Onside kicks coming. I call. Call? Call. Straight. Oh. Oh. Wow. What so a gross. Sick fucking river. It's bottom first yeah, time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this river? That's fucking gross. I just, I just meant that. Uh, and in the meantime, we are straight over straight with Frank and Mike. They both go for the fucking Insane. 
So you get up, and Mike and Frank both make straight from the river. Frank feels a gutter for the worst of it. And Mike for the eight pot, and Postle just falls the shit out of people. I feel like if Mike Postle had a favorite hand, it would be Reasonable. You had to think for a second. Frank went apart. Thank you, Mikey. Yeah, thank you. He gives it back to Mike. I went on a ride. Never went down there. I'm a never went down there. We have some like. Oh, he's this, a, he sent me this photos This does too. not work. Here, this does not work. This knit alert does not work. What? Why? But why are you doing that? I just, I put on value, value town. town. That, why no. would you put on value? Quit making this an, a fucking FM like morning like like morning radio, talk radio show. show. No, I get it. No, I told like they're like, hey, this is how it works. I'm like, we're not doing any I'm of that. We're not doing that quorky crap. No, we're we getting. Don't. Jake we, and Veronica don't do that. No, we, we're we, fucking atheists. We drink and get grindy. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Not that that has anything to do with it. But we're not. Also, not kidding. But oh. we're not. Like, we're not doing any of that crap. We're not, but we are. Yeah, we're not doing crap. Yeah. We're, we're just grit. We're like a movie with... No, I do filters. We're, we're just like a 1980s movie that relied on no special effects. We're the Godfather. We're the Godfather! Ace, eight, three. Couple of spades. Bet folds. Takes it down. Not, not, not one, two, three. What's up? Why isn't the video playing? Um... I don't know. I don't think I have control so over that. So shift the flips is that's why you don't play trash hands, people. Mind you, a trash hand, the 8-5-er, scooped that big pot. So <laughs> The morning zoo with V in the beard on Hot 101. <laughs> we need we need Train to do the voice. The morning zoo with V in the beard on Hot 101. Yeah, no, he does do it better than you. You're right. Yeah, and like the little echo, 101, 101, You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not doing any of the gimmicky stuff we don't do that we don't do gimmicks we just want like spewing pots we want yeah. three bet pots with like seven callers that's all we want it was and it's what we've been getting you know we asked and you know we haven't really like mentioned it, but hats off to harlan harlan put together this lineup put together this game he promised uh, promised us and you told harlan like, hey i'm coming back in the booth it's me and jake give us a show I did. And I text him like while he was in Hawaii. Yes. Over Christmas, I'm like, by the way, Jake and I are going in the booth. You better make it good. He's like, I don't know. I don't care. Text me in a week. I'm in Hawaii. I text him back a week later. <laughs> we're in the booth. He's like, okay, I promise. He prom like ha Harlan. Round of applause for Harlan. Harlan, ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome. I'm jelly. I'm the jealous girlfriend. Seven way three bet pots made possible. Only by Harlan. I can date poker, Harlan. Poker doesn't love you more than it loves me. Uh, a little three bet from a Aaron to three sixty. Harlan's gonna take his worst ace. I'm but wondering what is the threshold in this table with like a typical raise going to like a hundred, hundred and five. What's the three bet threshold where you won't get seven callers? Like, what's the smallest amount of the, the like? Yeah, what's the smallest amount where you where you can isolate? Five hundred. Five twenty five. That seems like... Oh, the last what, time Robert made it 525, someone jammed on him, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, either. it doesn't seem like there's... Like, I don't Again, know they, if they're the assigning a value <laughs> to their hands. You know like, what I mean? this hand's worth 430 bucks. No, like, there's, that, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, no. It's just two cards. If I fold, I can't win. Yes. Take, take the napkins to war. Yes. So, three bets to 360 with ace-queen... Ace is Ron. Uh, comes out, I'm just going to yell Uno. And, just... and Mike Possel gets the best of it. Hashtag standard. I'm telling you, Mike Possel, 8586. I think that's the same like the same suits and everything from that last hand almost. If I see 86 and I'm against Mike Possel, I'm just going to fold. If I see 86 on the flop. Who is Heather Brooke and does she play poker? I have no idea who that is. <laughs> I don't know. Mike bets 420. And see, these are these spots I just don't know. I just, because I never solved, because I never find myself in these spots. Oh! oh my God! What is going on all 
in for 2.5k with a backdoor flush draw on ace high. He would three bet pre. He's got all the jacks plus, tens plus. He's got all the overpairs in his range. He's got ace X of spades in his range. And this is the only way to potentially get Mike off of a hand. Although Mike's thinking about it. Mike Mike's can't. called with worse. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's never calling. If it was Frank... 100% Mike calls this spot. I mean, this guy's range of hands is over pairs. And plus, the two, the two sixes out there are terrible for our hand because a five's no good. If this guy's the got, you is, know, jacks plus, a if, five doesn't help us. We're like If Mike has the outs. five of spades, he calls. <laughs> He's got a little bit of equity. The other, I mean, the issue here is, I this mean, is even, if, for him. even if he has the like ace king of spades, we're a dog here. We're a dog to the only hand that we're that we're technically ahead of. We're I mean, we're behind everything. He asked for a count. Five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Like twenty-seven, Aaron, just like, please hold. Please hold. Minus four. Which ones are ours? Good night or what? Fuck it, I call. Call. Wow. Hold on. Once or twice. You can run more than once if you want, though. You have to run it three times. I'll do whatever you want. You're calling once, twice, three times. Let's run it twice. Twice? God, I already know the hand you have. I should have played this. I might have been ahead of you. You got a plus draw? You're fucking eight, nine, and we Back door? Turn your right. leg there. Ace game? No. Yeah, wow, he has 8-9. Right. He, he has 8-9. He got 8-9. I had 8 I, I, I figured queen. you could fold it. I had 8 fucking queen of clubs! God hey. damn it! I had 3-4. Okay. Well, that's me. I had 8. 8 fucking queen of clubs. I had king of four. four. And I almost called. Nice. God damn it. Show it, show it, show it. Oh. I said I just won with the same. Show it, fucking yeah. again. Confirmed. Confirmed, Mike Possel is G-O-D and GOAT and all of things holy. Put and a, everything unholy. What the f- <laughs> put, a, put an altar to Mike Possel in stones, please. Somebody. Take, you know how we have those bookshelves in the back? If he shows me the ace king of spades, I fold. <laughs> he can show me ace king of spades and he's like- you really want to party? And I'm like, no, you're right. I don't want to party. I don't want to party that hard. What? Look, he just ruined that poor guy's life. Look, he's getting up. Is Tell me Raj is going to take the seat. Yes. <laughs> Raj is taking the seat. <laughs> oh, my God. Raj, we lose a Aaron. How does Mike call? Uh, seat Aaron's open. Aaron's got all the all Seat the open, table oven, Mike and Possel only, victim. like, reasonable... I, I know, okay, this game we throw reason and logic out the window, but his only reasonable bluffs are he still has more equity, equity than us. Ace, ace, king, and ace, queen of spades. What do you want me to say? I don't know! <laughs> I don't know what... I don't know what's going on right now. I don't understand life. I feel like Mike... Apostle has life solved. He told me before the game, don't worry, I'm, I'm coming into your game no matter what. I'm just trying to make money to get into your game because your game's so much bigger than this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike, Mike Apostle, I told you, life solved. His poker is solved, and now he's got life solved. I'm, I'm convinced. And you're like, fuck it, I call. <laughs> like, I don't. Amazing. Is it? I can't make that call. It's it's only. I could see how far out in front Mike was, and I I and I'm just like I'm never calling. Like I can't call. Do you know who makes that call? Possible. Mike. <laughs> Michael Jordan. Jesus. Jesus. Three bet Jesus Michael, makes that call. Michael Jordan was the Mike Possible of, of basketball. Yes, he was. That's what they'll tell stories and like. And like. If somehow we lose all technology, there'll be cave drawings of Mike Possel. <laughs> <laughs> How many glasses of wine do we have? What is going on here? 
just take. I feel like if you drink a little bit more wine, you'll understand what's going on. <laughs> I feel like you can't grasp what's going on right now. Is that correct? Yeah. Who can? Solve for Mike. You can't do it. Solve for M. <laughs> oh my God. Solve for M. I'm starting a website. Some like mathematician out there will figure it out. No, they won't. They just, won't. We'll Mike's put, 100 put, years put together, ahead like, of us. Put together like a montage of all these hands that Mike's just like um, like blown everyone away with. And it's like solve for M. I'm doing that. I swear to God. You're coming to my house. I We're swear doing... to Mike, I'm doing it. Jesus. Oh, Mickey, hello. I swear to Mike, you're coming to my place. We have better people like, like, that come here too, yeah. by the way. There's like, really... We, it, the, it bay, the bay is crowd. not like, that good looking. But... You're coming to my house. We're bringing, I'll bring three bottles of wine and okay. we're going to go through every single Mike Postle. We're going to put together like a, a 20 a, minute a, a Mike God, montage. God montage. I thought, have, I, I thought I wanted to grow up to be Frank. I think I want to grow up to be Mike. Have you, did you see like, there was a, um, like a pool outside. I don't know if you saw like at Alicia's party, Mike it's walked. Raining, v. No, but Mike walked on water. Oh yeah, I know. At Alicia's party. Yeah. And we're just like like pitching cards, like one for you, one for you. One for yeah, you. like it's 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 a miracle. That's my true form. <laughs> oh my god. That's a bad bad man right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is a bad bad man. No, that is a good man. How does he run you run it twice? Get your hold on twice. <laughs> it's gross. Is it like would it be awkward if I proposed marriage to Mike right now? It's only gonna get awkward if you beat me to it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I will, I will cut you. <laughs> Getting away between me and my mic. Uh, seven three deuce right in Postle's range, but uh, unfortunately Harlan's flopped two pair, top and bottom. This isn't even a bomb pot. We just, <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a bomb pot. We just, we I just don't brought even, seven deuce in the range. I don't even know how to do commentary right now. I don't know what to say about all of this. Yeah. So like you're bringing, like like all right so what you want to do is you want to like your seven deuce suited so we can play your seven deuce off suits we have to three back from like because they need more help. Um, I I just <laughs> want to know what's not in range for this game. Like I'd say the deuce three off, but even that smacked the shit out of this board. So, yeah, I, mean, I, like, I would say even like a deuce six, which isn't within Postle's range. I don't, I can't think of a hand that wouldn't be playable in this game and winnable by yeah. Mike Postle at least. This is the greatest game in the history of like poker. Since la last Veronica and Friends. Since the last Sorry. Veronica and Friends. I'm not going to give up. You're so jealous. I'm so jealous. You are so jealous. I'm dating poker, Harlan. Not you. You can't have him. You know what? Harlan, Harlan might have put a ring on it. Like, I mean, Harlan, Harlan might have, like, married up poker these days. Do you know? And it had a baby, and, it's, and his name is Mike. Poker had a baby. Actually, let's the other way around. Like, like. Like, Mike is poker's daddy. Yes, he is. Jesus. Yes, he is. He's all of our daddies. Look at the V-pip. Look at the V-pip. <laughs> <laughs> They're not right in the head. They're not right in the head. They're all right. It's they're so, perfect. It's so, it's so wrong. They're it's not right. right because they're perfect. They're immaculate. I never thought I'd be in a game or I'd see a game where Asian Paul would be the second tightest player at the table. <laughs> like, <laughs> in my life. I actually like Paul's style. So Harlan Paul's picks great. up kings. Paul's one of the good Paul's poker. really, like, when he's in a hand, super aggressive. I love it. Yeah. I don't like passive. Yeah, no, he doesn't. Yeah, exactly. If he's going to get it on, he's going to, like, get it on now. Yeah, like, doggy style, 100% every time. So, anyway. Um, Back to the gutter. <laughs> in the small blind, Harlan picks up kings. Did and he, he just flat. Call? Paul makes it 110. I thought he raised to 105. That was a Paul call. makes it 110, and he calls 105 deceiving. more. I think he's, like... Harlan did this last year. So when I on the commentary or when I was commentating on Wednesday, he flatted a late position open with aces, and got the limper came it's along. It's super trappy. It's deceiving, you know, because so you're kind of capping are... your range, and so you're deceiving. And then of course an ace comes. Paul's got and it. And Paul's got now. it. Yeah. Kind of dead to a king at this point. Um, yeah, pretty much needs a king. And now uh, Harlan's having is having trapper's remorse. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Usually it's in the wilderness, in the freezing cold. Get it? I think, I think if you're hauling, you call one time, hope that Paul shuts it down, and we can and we can just see her, we can see river. Now he's blocking. The other way to play this hand, I've seen some people do it, is to raise because we're blocking the best kings, or, or I'm sorry, we're blocking the best aces. To turn our kings into a bluff, and say, okay, we're blocking ace king. But the way the hands played is hard for our opponent to like give us credit for ace king, but we're blocking the best aces. I, I kind of feel that that and that's, and the that's line what he's he taking. does. Harlan's I, turning kings into a bluff. I thought, <laughs> I, I, I love this game. I want to propose to this game. I haven't seen anything better. I feel like that would be optimal, like kind of heads up, not with this many people in the hand, but and possible in the hand, but it's fine. So, piece of Mike dies it, inside as he has to fold a gutter and a backdoor flush draw. Right. Um, and also, Paul is a little bit tighter. It's an interesting spot for Harlan to raise here. But then Paul might say, well, he wouldn't raise me unless he has a better ace or a set here. Or two, uh, ace seven, ace four. Yeah, because he knows that I'm playing a little more snug than most of the people at this game in this game. So, he's just like, it's like a level, re-level. Yes. Level, level square, level cubed. Yes. That's what's happening right now. Level to the, levels to the end. It, and can he get an ace to fold here? Because he doesn't like his kick. He shows oh, it. Oh, my God. Oh, this game. Well played, Harlan. God, this game's so good. King Carno, ladies and gentlemen. We need to go into overtime. I'm not getting out of this booth. I don't care. Lance, we're going into overtime. I don't Lance, care. Lance, I have to get home to my children. Don't listen to the, to the blonde. This is it. This is incredible. What a game. This is incredible. This this is what happens at Stones. This doesn't happen in San Jose. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot? <laughs> uh, what, Brian? What's up? Sucks for guys desperately, desperately trying to play normal. <laughs> it is so true. What's up, Wabri? Say hi to Wabri. Oh, hello. And Rick and Barstow. I felt like I made a strange face when I did that. Yeah, you are like, oh, oh wow. Yeah. Just make it that It felt like I looked like I had like three glasses of wine. That one face. Oh, my God. No? No. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a game. We are holding for Raj. Racing guy, 8933. What's up? I like that we have control. Even though I don't like the bomb potosaurus, I like that I know I can use it if I want. It's good. I feel like we should have So if we would have like trolled, I think <laughs> he won't let me touch Get it. Off the buttons. I think like we could have used a photo of you in the troll. Like trolling no. you. No. But instead we have this. Oh. <laughs> okay, let me put it back. Is this a bomb pot or is this a normal hand? I can't tell. This Robert's got a well. It's blown to long. It's a bomb pot. Bomb pot. Okay, so we're we're bomb potting here. Jack eight nine two hearts. Very wet board. Always checked by Robert's hand. And Harlan flops a stone cold nut. Bets three fifty. Paul can call here. Paul might be on a little. Uh, I mean, he could be on tilt from the last hand. He's got middle pair open ended and a backdoor flush draw. We can't fold yet, can we? That's pretty much what they say the entire game. The entire game. Well, I couldn't fold. Well, I can't fold. Yeah. Hearts get there. Now Harlan picks up a flush draw. Will Paul turn his hand into a bluff? Tune in next time on Stone's Life <laughs> Poker. <laughs> That would have been a gross like little teaser like in that eight six six hand with Mike and Aaron's ace queen if like like we cut <laughs> Tune away. In next time. Tune in next time on Stones yeah. Live Poker. That was Will Mike make the call? That was Will Aaron leave the game? Insane. That was insane. I feel like Mike, like you have to lose respect for money at this point. Harlan's got this so locked. It's just sad how locked he has this because Paul has no chance. Um, Mike Possel has like. 
no fear. He uses he uses chips as tools. There's no like he ha doesn't assign a value. They're not to money. Them. No, they're just tools. They're just. There's just so it's so plentiful for him. He's constantly in a feast, never a famine. Buffet. He's at a buffet, you could say. Now Harlan doesn't know, but this card does not work for him. It's going to shut down Paul. I feel. Yeah. Paul is now a lot. So many of Paul's outs are dirty. Non heart comes, and I'm, Harlan still gets one more, at least one more street. I really like Paul in this game. You know, and, and Paul's a really good dude too. You play, you play, play enough poker, Paul. Paul plays all the stakes. He's a really, really good dude. A lot I of fun actually, to have in the game. I don't know him. I've never spoken to him. Uh, he plays downtown with us sometimes. Um, he'll play stones as well. Uh, but really, really good dude. Really good dude. A lot of fun. Um, had my number for a while in any other big in the high six games. I just couldn't. And then we adjust and we adapt and we keep pokering. But really good dude to play with. Well, the one thing they have Robert for is tri uh, trivia. Like, Robert is the movie guy. If you ever want to know anything about a movie, Robert knows. Movies, music, all of it. Someone brought him up in San Jose at the table talking about how, like, if you want to know anything about movies or, like, trivia, if you want to know, like, which movies to watch, Wealth Robert. Wealth of information. Yeah. Wealth of information. Talk to Robert. Super smart, super nice guy. And I was when I... Uh, uh, I was talking with you about this, you and Andrew, about like behavior and conduct at the poker table. And Robert is the consummate pro. Yes. And how he handles himself, how he engages and talks. I mean, if games are never boring. Like said, even if the games are like kind of the car, the deck's not working with us, and nothing's really happening. We can still have fun at the table because it's a good conversation to be had. And there's something to be said about ethics in poker and yes. actually caring for other people. And like you want to win pots off people, but you also don't want to see them you know, run their lives into the ground. And I know that Robert's been caring about other players and been helpful to other players trying to improve their lives. Just, and, 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 and he, the way he likes it, the way he conducts himself, conducts himself at the table and, and everyone always feels welcomed at the table. Yeah. And that's a big thing. And I think more people in poker need to, you know, you don't, don't get mad at someone when they play a bad hand and they suck out on you. And yeah. There's too much, I mean, it gets better when, as you move up in stakes at the mic, at the smaller stakes, it's a lot worse, but across the board, I think every human ought to just take a page out of his playbook and be welcoming here. What the hell's going on? Um, hashtag standard Harlan and victims. So Harlan raises to 80, and we get a three bet out of David O to 155 with an ace seven in the small blind. I mean, if you're going to play ace seven in the small blind, you're going to three bet it, right? Right. And now Wolf, who straddled for 20. Puts in the cold four bet. Cold four bets. With jacks. They're good for you. I mean, he's got jacks. They're good for you, yeah. No, I like it's it. It's like uh, Robitussin. Jacks are Robitussin. If they were some sort of fluid. What is, what is Robitussin used for? Colds and flus. It tastes I've bad. Really gonna be, I've really it tastes system, bad. So I don't, like, that doesn't happen to me. No, it tastes bad, but it's like good for you. Okay. Okay. Like it's going to hurt. And then Mike Possum with pocket tens. Look at these hands. Queens again and for Queens David O. Dave. Holy shit. Dave. Do you feel like you're on a roller coaster right now? Rip it, Dave. Dave, if Harlan you don't. Harlan flats the 6-7 suited. This is sexy. Another bit over pairs, and Harlan's got the only hand that feels like it can improve. I think Harlan's got the most equity here. I don't care what the calculator says. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, calculator. You don't know me. Yeah. <laughs> You don't know what we're like when we're alone. <laughs> <laughs> and the four bet was not to cover Dave. No, Dave's got a few behind. No, I'm just kidding. He uh, he rips it, as he should. But now if we calculate true possible equity, we add 20%. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a, it's about a flip. <laughs> our, yeah, our, our calculators are not calculating true possible equity. Did you see him, like, casually call? Just like, all right, I'll put yeah, a grand sure, in. Yeah, sure, yeah, whatever, yeah. yeah it's grand in with 8-4 off. Queens, jacks, and tens, all trying to somehow hold, I feel, versus 6-7 suited. Does it not feel that way? That's what it feels like, because like, they're kind of blocking each other's straight outs. Harlan's got the, I mean, his, his aim's easy to play here. Everyone else is going to be in, like, in a, in a kind of a weird spot. Yeah, he's it's, for gonna sure going to flop two it's pair. Gonna, it's going to come, like, ace-king something. 
and Harlan's gonna get them all off the hand. Yes. And then he'll somehow like backdoor like like clubs against Dave. I love your foreshadowing. Okay, it's so got a pair. So there's there's an overcard out there. Look at Possel. Possel always does this. He doesn't want anyone to see anything he's doing. He has excellent smelling hand lotion. <laughs> Just wants to like soak well, it all in. You're not going to be able to bluff uh, David O off his hand. So right now it's just basically the side pot. Mike's thinking like I can get Queens and Jacks to fold maybe. <laughs> <laughs> One of them, they can't both have Ace King or Aces. Mike checks. Two players behind you. One's already all in. Harlan would love there, for there to be at least one club out there. 200. No, Mike bet. It says Mike bet 200. <laughs> Mike's laying his own price to draw out. I only want to check call 200 here. So instead, I'm just going <laughs> to bet 200. And you, and you fucks are going to call. So you thought you were going to come here and like do commentary. But we're just trying to make sense of it all. Dave O might actually get a hold on. But Dave O is actually worried about this. He's like, oh, shit, I didn't want to set because now someone's open-ended, someone's got a flush draw, and I'm going to die on this river. Because that's what happens when you're in this game. You think of the worst. But he's actually good. Two over cards to Wolf's Jacks, and he's going to put a bet out there. Aces Spade says Postle always has the most equity. Yeah. The equity calculator is always wrong. <laughs> yeah. Postle has the check mark. I'm joking for anyone just tuning in. So Wolf, there's no money in the side, or small, small side, and GG. So Dave, our lone stranger, is now two for two with, or yeah, uh, two for four with Queens. He would have got there. Harlan had Harlan peeled the turn. Harlan would have got there on the river first on the side pot. Yep. I'm not just being results oriented here. I think you know. Not just. Not just. You are, but you're not just. A little bit, but I think like I mean, you gotta love the spot that Harlan's in there. I mean. Harlan likes to put himself in awkward spots. Likes to put some uh, people in some positions, I hear. Yes. Yeah. I feel like we're going to end up at a dive bar singing karaoke, probably Depeche Mode, maybe Nine Inch Nails. Mm. Your own personal. Stop. So bad. <laughs> Jesus. Her karaoke legitimately sounds exactly like that, too. <laughs> it is that bad. And no matter how, how many times we tell her, she thinks we're still bluffing her. Like, Veronica, you, know you got to stop. I know Everyone's you look getting at me, sad. I know you look at me and think she's a perfect human. But I have my weaknesses. <laughs> I'm not perfect. I can't sing Depeche Mode Personal Jesus even though I want to every time. You can't time. sing it well. You can sing it. You cannot <laughs> sing it well at all. And we apologize to everyone who's there, who was there that night when we karaoke'd. I was told that I was uh, surprisingly not as bad. Like when when I did. I have no recollection of you singing. But it was like not so like the it's fun. So you, me, Azan, uh, Bart Hansen, Bart Hansen <laughs> and there was one more person there. It was a lot of Stone Screw there? there was just Train. Train was there. Train was there. There's, there were some people there. And then that was the night Bart Hansen walked home, like six, seven miles to his hotel room with a dead phone. Yes. Somehow without GPS. Yeah. He like had like the like the hooker like just over shoulder like <laughs> Neanderthal back to the hotel room. But it was about like okay like so like I was my rendition of the karaoke it was like it wasn't so bad that it was funny and enjoyable but it wasn't so good that you could like oh like it's enjoyable. And no, it pleasant. wasn't good. It was just, like, I remember it, it not was that being really, good. Like, like just like bad like like. Oh, but it was like, just gritty enough for that. He's trying dive so hard, bar. but it's not hilarious. I can. It like, was, It's just uh, stop. It's, a, it's like a really sweet spot that none of us hit that night. But um, someone raises pre and everyone folds. It's like boring. It's dumb. Yeah, it was bad. yeah. That was my karaoke. But, but it was like a dive bar. It fit kind of in. It's it's good when it's awkward, you know. Yeah. I I won't go more into detail with that one because I feel like I I've after two glasses of wine I could get really gritty. Yeah. No. You. Yes. Anyway. Bathroom sex at a bar. I don't know. Like awkward stuff. So Frank makes it one thirty-five with the queen jack of diamonds. 
Paul comes along with a six seven offsuit. Uh, I like Dave's hand. A little, uh, little four three suited. Gus the nuts nine. What's up? Welcome to the chat. Thank like you a five for year old singing. Us. Yeah, it's kind of like. It's yeah, it's just uh, awkward. Like you're like ah, oh, it's so bad, but like clapping because they're cute, but they're not. Uh, top two for Frank the Tank. Gutterball for Bazingas. I hate that he's calling himself that. I'm just going to tell him when I see him. Like, what is Bazingas? Bazinga? There's a story behind it. People in the high roller room betting the minimum and just getting rowdy. Bazinga? Uh, to upset the locals and just, Bazinga! Every time you win the hand, you're just like... Anyway. These are my friends and I love them. Monster hands. Three what do you fifteen know? out of the tank. Bazinga throws away the gutter. He didn't have a club in his hand, did Which he? Which is weird. No. For this game. Sorry, I tried to live life without you. Don't. Oh my god, you're really going to make me drink the fourth glass of wine. Is there more wine in here? You're stuck with me till we're in a retirement home and one of us has to you fucking want the die. That, you want the <coughs> stuff that Frank brought instead? It's the same thing. I know what he brought me. Oh, is it the same? We've already, like, I know Frank. It's the exact same thing. That's good. That's good. I'm already going home tomorrow, so. Take me home, home tonight. tonight. I like that song. Neither one of us. Gotta love that song. Neither one of us can sing. No, not at all. It's at really all. no. But we can three bet with the best of them. Yes. Yes. You can't. You're such a nit now. You used to have like really good whaley tendencies, and they all went away. I did a lop off the you sea game. To, you know, I got. You have to like have a balanced range. I love Paul in this game. I've never met him before. I don't know if I've done commentary with him on the stream. I'm quite happy that he's here. No, ha have I? No. Why are you laughing? What did I say? Because I don't know why you thought you would have done commentary with him in the, on the stream. Oh, commentary while he was playing on the stream. Yeah, sorry. I thought you like, know, like, I might have been in the booth with him at some point. Like, Sorry, I, sh I should um, spell things out for Neanderthals. Um, Apostle, of course, is God. And we're back. So that's like the threshold there, like. Like like two and a half hours, and then we're back to bickering. I, I just that, now we know. I mean, let's just get married, get it over with. Sounds good. I found a bobby pin in my hair. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> I don't. I didn't use bobby pins for like three days. That's <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Three bet with aces. Our first aces of wow. the night. Wow! How many hours has it been? It's nine o'clock. We started at six thirty. And poor Robert. He's just. Every time he has he's, a hand, someone has something better. He's trying so hard. He's being so patient. Playing, playing, probably, I mean, theoretically better than anybody at the table. And But you can't, you can't outswim, outswim a whale. No? You, to swim amongst whales, you have to get a little fish. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm jesting at jest. King high flop. The wolf... Does not fear any flop here. He's going to see bet. The thing is, though, if he has, like, ace queen, ace ten, ace jack, I think he see bets here. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's going to see I think it's okay for Robert Robert's to just call peel. and I think see a gonna, turn. I think I would probably peel. I'd like to peel with a jack of clubs in my hand. Yeah. That would be optimal. But and then also, this game is a little wild. People are playing a little more loose preflop, so I think like calling is, a, you know, that's another reason to call. Um, Robert's cutting out chips for a raise, which is fine. I just yeah, he's oh, just like really brother. bad timing tonight. Every time he's got a hand, someone's got something better, and it's a good fold if he folds. I think. Uh, I wonder if Robert was just they're trying to get a reaction there. I mean, or see how Wolf would react when he cut out chips for a raise. What is Wolf's reaction? You know, how does does, does he does he flinch? Does he like you know? Does, does he seem to be comfortable or uncomfortable? It seems like uh, there's a lot of talk 
about GTO players and then exploitative players. I feel like it's not mutually exclusive. You know, I feel like Robert is one of those really balanced players where he can like he's got, he's got a solid he's got a solid fundamental like theoretical game. And then he's and looking he at how the players are reacting. Deviations in the tree yeah, yeah. based on like live reads I, and, I really and hate, exploitive play. I really hate like a lot of people I've spoken to lately have like made those things mutually exclusive. And I really think they're not. I really think you can have a balance there. You can play I'm not saying I can. I can't play GTO. I'm horrible. I just like spew. But you can play GTO and and exploitative. Yeah, it's what a lot of people just call hy hybrid poker, um, which I mean, probably everything up the to the kids nowadays are calling kids. it that. Yeah, I mean, you have just a solid theoretical, you know, fundamental foundation, and you're playing off the decision tree mostly, and then you're make, just making these deviations based on your you know player pull tendencies and yes. individual individual player tendencies. This guy is tight. I'm gonna like get away from this hand here when in theory I should be you know. And when I feel like action. that that him cutting out the chips he was like making a decision there whether or not he would raise like he was seeing wolf's reaction right or even and if he wants to just appeal like just to, like just to, to to call i think with the jack of clubs in his hand he definitely appeals yes yeah. i would agree uh hand working here the wolf now four three of clubs mike ace king mike's still betting it, it, it really is like he can just see the cards we know he's ahead with Ace King here, but like a lot of players just shut down turns there. He just magic. I don't like. I don't even know what to say. I've never seen anything like it. He's a. He's just a unique creature. I'm telling you, we're in 2019. He's in 3019. David O. David O is a great human. Like, off the table, off David the table. O is a great human. Yeah, he is. Nice freaking guy. I've never yeah. seen him do anything but, like, smile and be sweet. And he's, oh, well, and when, when you lose a hand, like, oh, what are you going to do? Yeah. Go have a cigarette. Yeah. I wish he would quit. Like, I would like him for him to quit, but I've talked right. to him about it briefly. Yeah. And then he won't. And then I'm like, okay, well, still love you. You can still play Pretty my sure game. You care. That matters. Uh, uh. Caring is so much like you have to do something about caring. I think you have to be a little bit proactive with your friends, with people around you. Like if I saw someone playing with their mortgage money, I'd be like, hey, you know, do you really want to be playing right now? So I got a story about that. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. Try to help somebody. Not everyone Not everyone wants help. That's okay, but that, that is true. Uh, 140 to go from the wolf off the button with the ace queen. Our lone stranger, good dude Dave, as we were just talking about him, eight six suited, defense, defense. No, Sorry. not on the we table. Gonna... No, no, I misread the situation. Yep. Three bet. You zigged when you should have zagged. Three bet. Oh. When he gets a cigarette in his mouth, he gets a little wild. No, he's gonna fold. I like that they have, like. If you can ever get down to stones and play at one of our tables, the the dynamic of the table chatter and like how everyone talks to each other, it's just unique. It's just it's just kind of cute. They all know each other. They know each other's tendencies and look at Frank. Frank's very <laughs> chatty in the game. Uh, I just love it. Clubs for uh, our lone stranger. Wolf was a preflop aggressor. Checked around. Check, check back. Clubs now for lone stranger. I didn't say that stranger. Oh, Frank's it's, in the hand as well. I didn't even notice Frank came Frank along. Frank decides to bet on the turn. Quick call. Nine on the river. Changes nothing. David O is going to scoop this pot. We'll see if Frank wants to turn his hand into some sort of bluff. I don't think. I mean, Dave's hand gets, looks like a flush or a jack, and yeah. I don't think we can get either those, either those, yeah. either of those hands to fold. I think we just got to give up. Yeah, he did the right thing. Uh, do you still have your shirt, the table of Frank's? Remember he gave yeah, it to us one Christmas. I do. I have him somewhere. Yeah, me too. He Frank made a shirt that's a table of Frank's, and like every single famous Frank Sinatra, Frank. 
whoever. I don't Frank know. the Tank from Wedding was it Wedding Crashers? Not Wedding Crashers. I can't remember. But they were all on there. Old school. Old school. Old school. All all the all the greatest Franks. And of course Frank. Our Frank. Our the Frank. Frank. The Frank the Tank. Oh, here she goes. I really I want to see her just abuse him at the table. Mm. Just like pull his hands back and knee Run his back. Knee. Just like break him a little bit. Crack the back. He'll need a cigarette afterward. Yeah. She's that good. Straddles are on. We're playing 5-5-10-20. Five, five, Wolf's going to limp in the 10-5 suited. It's that kind of game, kids. We're playing prison rules. <laughs> <laughs> you know the way I can describe it? Like It's not prison rules. It's prison. What is the outdoor area that they like, fight in? The yard. In? Prison yard rules. Yeah. That's next level, Jake. I'm not there yet. Look at me. Prison yard rules. <laughs> <laughs> so we limp in the 10-5 suited and flop all the 10s. Because <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew that when the plane I feel like we should do together. like a, a scientific study of this game and write a paper about science. <laughs> <laughs> With a 10-5 in the cutoff. He didn't put anything in pre. Like, I mean, like, as a, as a blind. No, it was completely V-pipped. Just, yeah. like, voluntarily, yep. <laughs> I'm blocking all the straights. Yeah. I'm suited. And he's blocking the entire board. The 10 and the 5 block everything. Yeah. The high and the low and the can't. heart flushes. Yeah. He's got can't. two quad draws. And in this game, you, just, you can't fold. <laughs> it's not good for you. What are the, what are the do to you, like your image and your reputation? People are like, dude, I was watching the stream and you folded like 10 When you say fold, when you said fold there, it's kind of like you almost barfed in your mouth a little it, bit. Yeah, like, it's, a little, it's a little gross. Fold. It's a little gross. You're yeah, like, oh. like, oh, don't do that. What's folding? Ew. Oh. Gross. I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't want to live that life. No one... No one does commentary better on a wild game like this, like an action game, than this. Like, really? Like, what is this game? This is a, this is a Bermuda Triangle game. There's no game that runs like this. Have you ever seen a game like Seven Ways, not one premium? <laughs> seven Way, three bet pot. They're all driving like Hyundai ponies <laughs> to the race. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's like, I got an 8.6. I know I can do this. <laughs> this is, like, way better than most of their range. Ace, queen, eight. Aces for Harlan and the wolf. Queen for Paul. Throw the rules out the window. It's funny. So, you know, people watching this game... What do you think? Oh, God, I'm dying to get in this game. Dying to get in this game. Dying to get in this game. Yeah, and they and think they... they're just going to sit down and play, like, solid fundamental poker and, like, just print money. And the truth of it is, like, when you're in that spot and the, the pressure and the money's on you, it's just not – it doesn't come that easy. You know, you can't just sit back and, you know, wait for aces. Do you, like know, said. do you know how many people have messaged me, like, hey, I want to get in your game? They're on Twitter or on Instagram. I'm like, okay, come in. And then they sit down and they're, like, frozen. Yeah. It's not as easy as when you uh, see I the cards. I had to solve this spot, what to do with like yeah. middle pair and an undercard I actually, versus a, three, a jam. I actually don't take any more social media people into my game because of that. Because yeah. they get there and they, they when you're watching it, it's so easy yeah. to say you'll play oh, everything. I'll do this, I'll do that. I can see yeah, the cards. And then These guys are, you know. It's impossible to play seven ways when you're constantly getting crap hands. Even with good hands. And good hands, yeah. You're, you're not going to win. And, like, what's a safe board? Yeah. You're mostly like, I don't know. They, like, they just feel like I'm in a constant state of, like, I hope I don't, you know, like, run bad or, you know, or a yeah. con constant state of fear. And you can't yeah. have that and in, in win in these games. You got to have some gamble in you. You got to, like, loosen up. You got to mix it up. And you got to be willing to, to, to play some big pots with marginal you hands. You know what we're playing? We're playing two card PLO. Yeah. Two card PLO. Yeah. yeah. That's what we're playing. Mega high variance, and they're just like like I'm just they're playing as like no I got two I got two more flop, coming baby yeah I got two, two more, more coming. coming let's We're go gonna, let's go L F G yeah it's games like this that you make you fall in love with poker again when she was a teenager and she was uh, so beautiful remember those days 
The future was so bright. And we were going to get a house, and we were going to have three bet, and we were going to have, have kids. Three babies. And we were going to get the river, and have the babies, and the dog, and two and a half dogs, or something, whatever the numbers are. And Jacks. win the World two Series and of Jacks, and yeah. yeah, win, win the World Series of Poker, win a bracelet. Like, that, how could that not happen? Like, you watch games like this, and you're like, yeah. Like, let's fucking go. Can you turn off, Lance, the graphics on the screen? Fix the, fix the screen, Lance. Nerds. Nerds. Uh, Davos says that he looks like Sammy Farha and plays like Gus Hansen, but really, he just clicked buttons like Dan Bilzerian. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Uh, if I were to take a guess at how many hands do you think the average on stream? Um, stream game moves along a little bit slower sometimes. One, they're bigger pots, so there's bigger decisions to be made. And again, as we referred to, or mentioned earlier, that bigger pots are being played with marginal hands. I mean, Mike, 8-6, we saw this. Or 8-5. Uh, and so it's going to take a little longer. So if I were to guess, it's, I mean, we're definitely under versus most live tables. But it's worth it, obviously. That's what she said. Nerds. Jack, nerds. There's there, yeah. there. We fixed it. Drawing dead, Mr. Jamin Burton in the chat. What's up, buddy? The drawing dead vlog. What's up? We're we're friends. We're friendsies on Instagram. We message each other. You nice. know. Oh, nerds. Nerds. nerds our graph. The graphic pop back up. Is that only on our there. screen or there? Okay, there, there we, we go. go. What are you even keeping Stop in Stop needling us. Uh, chop opportunities, lest one of these players can get aggro here. I think they're messing with us. They're messing, with, they're us messing now. with us now. Is it popping up on that stream or no? Mm -mm. Okay, so it's just on our They're end. doing it on purpose. Lance knows what to do to mess us up. <laughs> the drawing dead says, hey, Veronica and Jake. He knows the real spelling of my name. That's how you know that someone is my real friend. They know the real spelling of my name. Veronica. Veronica. Gesundheit. Or, as they call me in um, the Bay. Wow, we changed. Fabril. Yeah, of course. No. No. Is I, Are you surprised at anything at this point? No. Mike just knows they all... Have you, seen the, have you seen this fucking movie? Because I'm going to tell you, it's a thriller. I'll tell you what. It's a thriller. This fucking movie is, is. like, fucking great. Oh my God. Frank's got to worry about Dave O being behind him. My, my two favorite players in the world. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I apologize. You win. I know I win. I fold. The ten deuce. Oh, oh, Mike Possum, awesome. awesome. the hero. Wow. They're chopping. Frank and Dave are chopping, and Mike scoops. Mike scoops. Really he's gonna chop some guys in the room. Oh, 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 you know what? We should have a Mike Postle poker series and just have Mike Postle at the top of the week. He's, he's just... He's either got a ball cap, toothpick. <laughs> like, what a trophy it would be. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Like... Nobody I don't even. I think pair. he approached me for free because we're friends. No. I don't understand how he's this good. Mike Paulson, any player of player the, the year, 2016. Sounds about right. Ladies and gentlemen, remember you see Patrick as that for so like two years? Yes. Yes, we did. That, that's a 2015. Mike Paulson, any up player. That's good. So sexy. You were selling it so good. It was 15 actually. It was 2015. 16, any up player of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, can someone Nerds, get on that. Can we get Nerds. Nerds, Google it. Uh, uh, 2015, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Postle, 2015, any up player of the year. 2019 Stones Live Poker Player of the Year. He's a, he's a legend. You guys are watching a legend. Legend in motion, like no one, no one will ever see Mike Paulson live 
I play way better. Outside of this poker room. Right now, Frank's like on his phone. Uninviting, like, my to like, party. Oh my god, I hit the dark card. He's no longer the godfather of any future children. I checked. Did you make that call? Who has the balls to do that? That's a bad run. I can't, I can't pay attention to that with Mike fucking around. Bill Bradsky does. So many players when it goes like with an eight middle pair there and they like with an overcard and the board pairs running out on Jack Nine X running tens. Are you hoping to get the showdown? Dude. Mike P Possel once punched a hole in the cow just to see what was on the other side. Uh oh. Uh, I'll check. Mike Possel. When we're 90, we're going to be talking about Mike Possel. Yeah. Well, I'll be 90. You'll be 83 or whatever the fuck age you are. I won't, e I won't even know. No, you won't. You'll be like. This is definitely your I win again. <laughs> Any up player in the year. <laughs> I'm getting there. We're watching TV and like Mike will be like, like, fifth little three like, like main event. I'll be like, oh, you that guy. Oh, shut up, Grandpa. You're no fun. I don't understand how he's this. Guy. 420. 420. He's solved solved, for why? He solved poker. He solved life. Oh fuck. I mean, we shoot. got a f speaking of the devil. <laughs> I mean, four bet to 420. Oh, I'm sorry, bet 420 with Jack <laughs> Four. Not all of us make Veronica mistakes. Well, it's Wolf not just me. Calls. Say. Wolf that calls for chops, and they chop. Jack, Jack. Yeah, you left the table mics on. That's okay. We basically sat here for five minutes and talked about how. Yeah, we took yeah, it. We, we turned yeah, it off. Yeah. We basically sat here for about ten minutes talking about how Mike Possel is a god. Yes. Do you want to be Mike Possel? I want to be Mike Possel. I don't. I used to want to be Frank. I want to be Mike Possel. I. I mean, I'm a woman, and I want to be Mike Possel. Yeah. Let's both propose at the same time and see who he says yes to. Deal. Something just tells me that when you and I are both like in that position, that somehow you're going to be like more convincing. I mean, I have more holes than you. Fucking evolution. <laughs> Fucking Darwin, Damn asshole you. for doing this. <laughs> actually never spoke about human evolution. We never did. Ne oh, he never No, did. in his book. No, no, but Richard Dawkins did. That Dawkins. was a good follow-up. Uh, so, a Aaron is back. Oh, how how wonderful. And do you think he's going to be uh, aggressive? I think he might be a little bit live. He just got looked up by 8.5 eight on 8.66. Six, six. He also has AirPods in, so that makes him, you know, vulnerable to three bets. Yeah, it's AirPods? It's also, science. science. Oh, wow. Harlan's just like got his head on backwards. Harlan's kind of the man. I don't know if you know about Harlan. Harlan's the man. Yeah. Then there's Mike Possel. Hashtag standard stack in every friggin' game. Just runs up a 11, 12K stack in. With the worst hands. Yeah. Yeah. On a regular basis. I mean, what, what's the best hand we saw? The best like hand eight, we saw six, Mike have? Eight six maybe. I think he. I think he had jacks once. I don't. When I came don't nine nine nine. Mike doesn't maybe. need hands. The, Mike is capable of playing this game without looking. Yeah, it, you look at Mike's second like, oh, he just like ran like perfectly. No. Nope. No. Nope. No. No. Nope. Mike just bludgeoned everybody. Mike's the um. You know, in, in Saudi, they still, like, cut people's heads off for crimes. Yeah. Mike's the guy with the sword. Mike's the guy with the sword. He's the executioner. Yeah. He's been po he's been fossilizing people. <laughs> yes. You've been fossilized. To fossilization. Fossilization. You're actually leaving right after this? I mean, I don't have to. I mean, they're asleep. No, they're not. Okay. No. Like right now, like those little wizards are like one perform, like the big ones probably performing an exorcism on the small one. <laughs> 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 We're talking about my kids right now. 
yeah. I love your kids. They're super smart. They are super smart. And then yeah, and they, cast, fun. they cast spells and they Yeah. We went bowling today. Yeah. Someone was else was supposed to come bowling, but So I was supposed to go bowling with Jake and his kids today. Mm-hmm. And I ran a little behind and then I got stuck in Pleasanton or Castroville or somewhere where insane asylums and shell industrial wastelands live yeah where um, people are mutated it's just the weirdest place i didn't even believe i was in california you're like in the hills have eyes like yes except it wasn't a good song never mind it's a it's a song um raised to 100 from paul with queen nine suited three bet to 350 from harlan it's like he knows the mushy cookie says, would he play differently if he was stuck? Do you know it's a science thing? Like, people play differently when they're stuck. People yes. get a little more loose. No one wants to double up more than someone's stuck. Oh, apostles sharing hands. Calls and- the 345 <laughs> three bet. Oh, my God. Well, it's only 345 to call. I mean, I am in yeah. for five. Yeah. <laughs> It is the small blind. I get a discount. What percentage discount is he getting? Like 0. .001? <laughs> uh, the yellow chips are $1,000 chips. Like, it's Aaron's money. So. Yeah, it's Aaron's money. Yeah. It's Frank's money. It's, Aaron's. it's not my money I'm betting with. He doesn't even pay his mortgage with his money. No. Uh, so it's a three bet pot and we go five ways. <laughs> Four, three, deuce. Two clubs. Two clubs. Uh, Paul flops the queen high flush draw. Mike with an over pair. Not often that we have sixes and we have an over pair. But we do have an over pair, and w- which means we also are going to have a gut shot. And he'll make wolf fold or something. And wolf's going to lead out with eights into the three better. Harlan, you have the king of clubs here. Wolf bet 680. Paul calls 680. Harlan, who has range advantage here. I feel like that that means minimal here. No. We're betting our shinies. Yeah. 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 The merits of our shinies is how much money that we're going to put in the pot. Position doesn't mean anything to anyone. I feel like they could just play this game blind. It would tur- It would pan out the same way. Right. It's just a wild. Now, what does Mike do? Mike's got to worry that a couple of his outs are dirty. Does he actually fold here? I can't see. No, Mike called. <laughs> and the five of clubs. <laughs> Mike makes it straight, but Paul flushes out. What? And the wolf went from the lead to third place on one card. What a dirty out, kids. I feel like Mike's going to make this fold. It checked to Paul, who jammed. Paul just jam- immediately jammed all in. Mike's going to have to call off 2500 He's got to worry about Wolf behind him as well. If he makes this fold, he runs so pure that I I just like he's getting up to walk. He runs so pure if he makes this fold. He's Colombian cocaine at its best. I I like if if he folds his hand, I'm going to f- fucking get up and I'm going to like I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to get up out of my seat and I'm just going to like worship Mike for the next week. I'm going to build a shrine to Mike in my apartment. Oh my There's goodness. no way he runs this pure. He makes he wins when he's supposed to lose. He wins when when there's two people chopping and then he folds when he's losing in in these spots. 
You have to worship him if he f makes this fold. He's God. Like, like I didn't already. If I didn't, I, I need to. If you didn't, you need to. That's correct. Tronald Dump, what's up? I swear to God, he's folding this. He's folding this and he's so pure. Change his name to Colombian Cocaine. Because he's so pure. It looks like he's leaning toward a call. If he calls, then I'll just be like, oh, he's a normal human. He's human. But if he it folds, bleeds. he's a he's like the the savior. He's Jesus Christ. He's Jesus Christ. If he if he if he folds right now. I just Our like, poker messiah. Our poker messiah, yeah. This is the most insane game I've ever seen. <gasps> oh my god! My puzzle! Is the poker messiah, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Postle is the poker messiah. Praise be to Mike Postle. Praise be to Mike Postle. He's the best. You guys, nobody has ever run as pure as he Mike Postle. Super... And I don't mean like running pure, but he's made the most pure decisions. He's just perfect. He's a super user. He has to look like he's in pain, so that it's not obvious. He can see all the cards. God. Alex Spade, you're right. Look at the size of that You're in IT, shit. obviously, calling him a super user. Two-handed pot. I don't understand. We we hit the straight, and we just check hold. He's so, like, he's so perfect. He's so, he's so much better than you thought. Today, just, like, solidified all his purities. All, like, all everything you thought of him is solidified. You've been There's wrong not. all this time. No. Mike Possel has poker and life solved. To Mike Possel. To Mike Possel. The blood of Mike Possel is in this cup. Yes. <laughs> Keep doing this in remembrance of him. The next Exorcist movie will be filmed with... <laughs> The body of Possel compels you. The, <laughs> the body, body of Possel compels, compels you. you. What the fuck? He said we're like so weird. Is that what he You'll said? See. I'm working on something. He. He gets there, <laughs> and then just check folds. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, Big Mac stacks. Paul picked up nearly 3k of profit there without even getting a turn bet called. GG. Uh, we got a bomb pot, kids. Uh, every hand's a bomb pot in this game. What is going on? The uh, Big Mac stacks says that's five months rent for me. Alicia asked what the buy-ins are. Uh, do we have a buy-in thing? It's a 510. I don't think they had a. They all bought in around 2 to 3K. This game's insane. What a game to come back to, right? Right? Couldn't have picked a better game. I basically text Justin. I'm like, hey, um, so Jake and I, he's given his consent. <laughs> To do this commentary. True. This is true. And can we do like a bigger game, like a 510? He's like, how about Harlan and Friends? I'm like, booked. Booked. And it didn't disappoint. I think, are you sitting, like, not literally, but figuratively, your jaw's on the floor? Yes. You I. Just, like, everything that's happened tonight, you don't know what's going Your head is spinning. I'm amazed. I mean, so many things are just like. But you can like, everyone's playing like these like super wide ranges, but like, but it's what you kind of have to do to keep up to keep keep up with everyone. Everyone else is like adjusting and playing like super wide and like putting pedal down, and if you just like try to knit it and quit it, you're gonna get run over. And Robert, so all these like, yeah. crazy hands, you're gonna kind of like justify, it, rationalize. It. Like, all right, well, I can see why we're gonna call here. I can see why we're gonna call. I can see this is actually we can go for thin value here. I think, well, we're, hey, we're going to turn this hand into a bluff. And we're going to turn this hand into a bluff. And we're going to turn this hand into a bluff. And Mike Possel took the red pill before he sat down, 
And it's like all he sees is ones and zeros, and he's making like perfect plays. It's gross. Still somewhat satisfying to watch. What a game. Absolutely insane. Yeah, yeah, you can, can, you can, can maybe. You can hit a table share of the, uh, the jackpot. Oh, oh that's right. We're getting a hundred dollars. Sorry. One round. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. No. I, I saw multiple. When we hit the jackpot, we put all the jackpot money on the table. This is the table that deserves it. We put all forty-five thousand on the table. My only jackpot I ever had. I got table share. Okay. Right. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, I got table share. Yeah, I know. Three, three months ago. Yeah, with the fucking Rams Chiefs. God, it still hurts me. You don't remember that? Hell yeah, I do. I'll never forget that. That was the best game ever. The Rams Chiefs? Yeah, it was. First time ever. I did two different lineups in draft games. I put one of them into a big contest. All right. And put the other one in. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's doing this. Everyone's doing this. The other account, or the other lineup. This is the group I would want to hit the jackpot. Yes. Like, this is a good group of dudes that aren't going to, like, knit it up and, like, go and, like, pay some bills off with, like, jackpot money. Right. Like, and like Mike says, they're going to put that money right, right back into play. Yeah. My, my, we just heard Mike say, we won the jackpot and we put the money right back on the table. I mean, as you should. As you should. Yes. Hashtag all day, every day. Casey in the hizzy, not wearing her Bompotosaurus hoodie. I didn't even recognize her. I didn't know that was Casey. Yeah, it's Casey. She's all like like poker grindered out. Got the backpack, got the headphones, the She's ball cap. She's probably playing poker. She doesn't just do commentary. Oh, I know. Uh, so we got Mike Possel raising to 250 in the cutoff with a queen jack off suit, mind you. Paul calls. We're actually heads up. Is this our first heads up hand? Feels weird, man. Feels uncomfortable. Uh, aces and a four. Mike's <laughs> did, like, oh, I got to look normal Mike... sometimes. I got to make him think I'm human. <laughs> did Mike bet into this? Yeah, Mike bets 200. And quick quick like click back that's a click back is it not Turn king river 10 like it's a it's for 500 500 raise he's like what are you what are you raising with you're just gonna make him fold mike's in the fucking zone right now look at him look at this this is a face of a man that's in the zone he's not giving you any more money what was that raise well how do you raise there what are you raising I mean, I just, I just call and let Mike hang himself. Yeah. I mean, what do you, like, what's the point of the raise at that point? It's not. I mean, you could, you could, I and mean, we like flat your, like, your best aces and then raise like your worst ones and then balance that with like some like middle pairs or some shit. I don't know. I, but then like. Weird as I said, like, we're throwing like, game three like out the fucking window here in this game. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. So this is that game. Oh, this yeah. is that game. Yeah. This is that like, I'm gonna raise because I would never raise with an ace, or he thinks I would never raise with an ace. Ah, uh, yeah. You know that he thinks I'll never raise with an ace thing. So therefore, so yeah. So therefore, I raise. Um, that's a hundred dollar straddle. King Corno Harlan. Wait, wait. Please. <laughs> Oh, now, now you're going to be like, oh, Please. straddles in my game. Did you see the straddles in my game? I 450, saw the game. 280, 100 on a regular basis, 730 or 720? 780? 7, 730. 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, it was a lot. It was over 7. Um, so $100 straddle. So it's just your typical 5, 5, 10, 100. Uh, no, and the Lone Stranger five, limps. 5, 5, 10, 20, 100, no? No, 5, 5, 10, 100. Oh, and the oh, Lone oh, Stranger limps in King 5. Early position. <laughs> well, I've got a big card. In his defense, I mean, he probably squeezed the king first. And is like, what am I going to look at the second card for? I another card. Like, yeah. I don't want to look down at something like like a five and then like lose heart here. So yeah, I'm just going to yeah. like, 
Just, just give me to a flop, ten baby. High, ten high flop, two clubs. And he uh, flops the best of it. No, Mike no. Mike Postle. Mike Postle flops the nut flush draw. The lone stranger technically has the best hand until Mike the Postle. turn. Until, until, until Mike, Mike Postle, Mike Postle's the hand. It's even real. Blonde lady is annoying. I love your name. That is amazing. I've been annoying since 2015. You he just says, got here. He says you're cool. Oh. But I like his name. Yes. <laughs> Carl Sagan 4. Oh, that's a cool name. Carl Sagan 4. Yeah. Legit. That's dope. Uh, he's balanced for sure, Kappa. <laughs> 225. What are we going to do here, Dave? We got a pair of fives. And we're blocking the second nut flush draw. Casey's hat's sparkly. I know. It's super cool. Divided by the sparkles in Casey's hat. Plus <laughs> one cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are having too much fun out here. They really are. We just had run it up in here too, so Dave's wearing a run it up hat. This is how poker should be played. Right. I don't I can't even stress this enough. This is why everywhere else gets this wrong. I think Sacramento, maybe LA has this right. Vegas doesn't. No. San Jose doesn't. No. It got slow rolled so many times out there. I'm like, dude, I don't know you. This isn't funny. Like it's funny if I know you. Like, yeah. you'd slow roll the shit out of me if you could. Oh, I think about and it so I, much. Yeah, and I'd laugh. But if, like, if you just met someone, would you slow roll them just to be an ass? No, I don't slow roll anybody. Yeah. Oh, except, except like, really close friends. Yeah. And, like, close Literally, friends. I was on the table with this guy for, like, half an hour, and he slow rolled me. And I was like, that's not even that funny. And his friend high-fived him. I'm like, you guys don't even realize what you're doing here. We're douchebags. Yeah, like, yeah. Just, like, just put it up top. Total, just... Uh, it's just been so bad in San Jose. I just miss Sacramento. If I could work remote, snap, move back to Sacramento. Ship it. Snap. How is the whole population of the United States not living here? I don't know. Hey, 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 yeah. hey, hey. It's all right. It's all right. You know, it's okay. New, new to Pumpkin! What's up? Nice to see you. So happy to see us in the booth. Wee, wee. I haven't seen you in so long. Nice to see you. Oh, here we go. So, Bazinga's got kings. And I believe is in the straddle. So wait, wait, wait. So there was a hundred dollar raise. Aaron, uh, hundred dollar straddle. Bets. I think they agreed to a round $100. of hundreds. Oh, I think round they're doing a round of hundreds. Straddle. So Dave straddles for a hundred. Aaron raises to three seventy five. Aces are on. And Bazinga's waiting. With kings. With kings. What a nut show. Now Jen's depending on stack booth. depth here, I would love to see Bazinga flat. He's got a lot of players He's behind not, him. Though. I don't think he will. If he was heads up. I think I like a flat, but multi-way here with Franklin limping in as well. We're backing up the action here. How deep is Bazinga? Twenty-five hundred. He called the hundred. He just he limped in for a hundred. Makes it eleven hundred now. Oh my God, Aaron! What a night you're having. I'm sorry, you and Robert. Uh, DT, Dr. Prepper. Veronica, will you be announcing regularly? No, I um, moved to San Jose. If Jake wants to join me in the booth once a month or so. Yeah, you know, something like that. I think that's reasonable. Like, come, maybe come in like maybe once, maybe once a month for like big games. The hard part is it's big games are running on like Friday, Saturday night, which is the best nights to play. So you're playing. Um, so yeah, I, I can talk to JFK Stones, I can talk to Jake, see if maybe once a month, once every other month, maybe, if they might, I mean, like, we had to, like, let security know to not arrest me tonight <laughs> to get in the booth, because I have been banned from the booth. It was mainly the whipped cream. Yeah, that happened. I, I offered to pay for Justin's dry cleaning bill. I just want to say that. Did you see who just walked up to the table? Action Dan. Oh, well, yeah. Action Dan, like, gave me a hug when I walked in. When your name has action in it. Yeah. And it's not like a sarcastic, like. No. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> action Dan's going to play his chips. 
<laughs> Robert's like, sit on my lap right here. Uh, Johnny Two Stroke, where is everyone's favorite guy, Cobra? He's actually crushing cash games and tournaments everywhere around Northern everywhere. California. Everywhere. Uh, no, no, to poking. You left us for the tech world. How dare you? I did. Jordan Rasf. Veronica looks fine. <laughs> you stared at me all creepy when you said fine. That's how he meant it. So I had to like, <laughs> if I'm going to like personify his like comment. <laughs> you have enough lip stain or uh, wine stain on your like mouth and teeth to like it's the equivalent of how drunk i am <laughs> right back at you kid uh river's a lot of deuces i love it oh nice king four is all the way to the river with this this guy's pimping pimping ain't easy with that sweater it's a lot of sweater it's a, it's a Bill Cosby you know, they would talk pudding about, pop sweater. They would talk about like how like Mike Tyson would win fights like before they started just because he was like so intimidating. Like that guy already just like beat that one two game. Yeah. He just like, he walks with the table and with that much sweater they're like well just, they they just like push the chips to him. Yeah, Done. they're like, Yeah, sorry, we know Pimpin' Eight easy, so we're just gonna give it to is you. Is that like Apostle Jesus? Yes. That is Apostle Jesus. That looks like Rasta Apostle. Rasta Apostle. Rasta Apostle, I like that. I don't know, it's kinda of fun. I would say, like, put him in, like, the baby Jesus face. We can't do that. You can. Oh, that's where you draw the line? Really, yeah, nerds? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I wouldn't do that. That's offensive. You can. You just won't. Yeah. It's not me. Nerds. <laughs> I got an okay for that one. <laughs> anyway. But how, no, how dare you insult our savior? <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear to you, if I ever, like, bank a big tournament, I'm getting, like, a Mike Postle, like, um, something around my neck with his picture on it. Like, some sort of necklace. You know, like, like, like get the crucifix with, like, with, with, like the Jesus on it, but, like, have, like, the Mike Postle, like, ball cap and, like, toothpick. <laughs> 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 It'd be good. <laughs> I love him so much. I can't even begin to describe how much I love that man. He brings me my favorite wine every single Veronica and Friends, too. Ace Ace Five Rainbow Trip Aces for Bazinga. Not a lot out there though for him to get any value. It's a hard part about boards like this. Turn nine hits both. Paul and Frank. Now Bazinga might be able to get a little bit, of, little bit of value. You guys okay with forty-five minutes OT? You'll be in here till eleven thirty. Hell yeah! Um, I can't. I have to. Oh, you can't. I cannot. I can. I'll come in. Okay. I don't look at me like you hate me. I do though. I used to love you, but at 10.30, I'm going to stop. Are you going to stop loving me at 10.30? All right. Whatever. It's fair enough. I mean, that's usually the way it goes for me on a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> it's 10.30. Your money's on the dresser. I'm done with you. Oh, wow. I'm paying for it? This I mean, I'd be calling you a, a bad word otherwise. No, I just think it's like free both ways. Oh, just like free love. Like yeah. It. Okay. Like it's the right. '60s or '70s or what, whatever the, the fuck. Oh, okay. Don't act like you weren't there. <laughs> Such an <laughs> asshole. Yeah, you are. Oh, did she just hit him too? That she gets an extra tip for that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes. Look at that tip she got. She's like, you and better gets tip the me. Extra tip. That masseuse, though, if you guys ever want to come in here just for the massage, she will F you up. She's Top of so the range. Good. Top yeah. of the range. Yes. Someone had aces, I just saw. We're Frank! There. Frank Act actually normal, Frank. got a hand. Don't blow this for us, Frank. Frank actually got a hand. On the round so of $100, $100 straddles. straddles. Yeah. 
and Frank picks up the aces. I don't. I I think he could go like three twenty five here. I no. I like it. I like it. Two and a quarter. It's a it's a very two, loose game. Two or two point five x. I like I like it. Well, you look at Frank's stack size. Frank's not playing like super deep like he normally is in these spots. If it was if it was deeper, I think it's fine. But here. Ace eight suited. Was that a little bit of love for Valerie? A little bit of Val love. Ace eight suited. Suited. Yeah, we love the Val. I remember I used to get so jealous of you and Val. Like you guys came in here and did that one show where you both were dressed up. I was like, <gasps> Oh yeah, no. Was a you guys were like legit dressed up. It was a Kentucky Derby. It was Derby Week, yeah. Oh my gosh, I was so jealous. You guys both looked so amazing. And also, look at Paul with a Jack Three calling the two thirty. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? It's a discount. <laughs> well, I'm it's, in the big blind. It's like a thirty percent discount. Yeah. Plus, yeah, then you add like the twenty percent possible, like you know, equity, equity. calculator. Yeah, right? divided divided by your big blind is you can't fold. So he's four percent right now, but it's actually twenty four percent. And wolf, which means like you have to take the the lifeline from other people when you're a vampire, so everyone else like decreases by ten percent. Uh, eight five deuce two diamonds. Uh, Dave O top, flops top. the best of it. And he's probably going to pay off Frank here. It's going to check to Frank. Somehow, Apostle's going to win the hand. <laughs> With Dave's... Now, the graphic shows that Frank's got like 1200 back. Unless he's got some white or a purple chip or something like that. I can't see somewhere. Oh, he does have money back. Okay. All right. So, we can put in a, a normal size bet here. I thought Frank only was playing like 800 back and was, would just be jamming. Bet's 500. Gets a call. If there was a single club out there, you know, like Mike would call. Yes. So there's a lot of table chatter. So Frank leads here for a thousand. So a lot of table chatter that I think, like, we're kind of missing not hearing it. I know. Because it adds to the dynamic of the game. They all... It's like this extra layer beyond what their cards have. It's this extra layer of, like, leveling right. each other that happens. And they also have this historical background, which I think, like, compounds in their decision-making. People always think it's like you're making decisions in a vacuum, but you're not. You have, like, all this ex experience and time with Absolutely. other players. I mean, there's spots here that we might look at a hand that someone plays and be like, why? What is, like, I would never do that. But when you, like, sit, as you pointed out, like, compound or, or bring up, factor in all the history between these players, especially, with, like, players like, like like Frank and Mike, who've been playing together for 10, 15 years. Right. Yes. I mean, there's so much going on there. I mean, stuff that happened at in this game before the stream started. You know, games all off the stream. that they've tells seen that they before. Know. I mean, yeah. they, there's so and many so, things that factor into There's so many variables involved yeah. in their decision making. And it, I feel like like we, we kind of miss out on that when we're just watching. Right. Right? Yeah. It's it's but a cool place that they're at. Got to do what we got to do. Dave's not liking that queen. Little does he know, there's not much for him to like. An ace on the turn would have killed him. The case ace. So, Dave actually looks like he bet led 200, and Mike made it 1K. So, a little, like, defensive bet, a little blocker bet is what it actually looks like. There's two white chips there in front of Dave. He's going to call. That's a pretty safe card if you're Dave. If you thought your pair of eights was ahead already... I feel like, is he in check call mode? All in. And call. Did he call? Did he actually call? Dave jams river. No, no, no. I think he check. Oh, he did go all in. Oh, my God. He jammed. And Mike snapped. Or, I'm uh, sorry, Frank snapped. 
Big pot. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're looking at me like expecting me to say something, and I'm just. Big pot. I'm. Well, like I said, <laughs> if day once Dave calls turn, and he decided that hey, Ace Eight's ahead here. The the deuce is a the deuce... is a safe shove on the river. Right. Yeah. But it's still like. <laughs> it's there. Still, it's still like. Maybe there's like a small chance that some of what Dave thinks here is that Frank folds nines. Frank's tens. like, what did you put me on? He he's like, kind of. Frank likes to do a little bit of needle at the end. Okay. Uh. Wait, that wasn't even that. That wasn't even Frank's straddle hundred. This is his straddle. That was Daryl. That was your hundred dollars. Yeah, that was. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I thank God I didn't try to feel light because hey, I'm sitting on king queen suit and I almost killed on that flop. And I would hit that queen and I'd have been like, oh, Yahtzee. So much table talk. I think we're. I would love to hear. What a game. Great game. What a game. Just a bunch of degenerate gamblers. <laughs> Big Earn F9. What's up, buddy? Frankie Bones. Our chat's awesome. Yes, amazing. Paul with the Queens this time. And aces run with sevens. Hundred dollar straddles. Yeah, Paul. Paul raises to three hundred. The wolf looks like he's pulling out calling chips. Yes. King ten suited. 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 What a mess! I love it. Now I know why you date the girls you date. Yep. Raj railing his buddy Aaron. Ace on the flop might uh, open slow. up the doors for someone to uh, take this pot away from Paul. Yeah, so sl slow down Paul a little, a little bit, maybe. Paul does have the queen of spades in his hand. In a single open pot, I'm probably checking this back in a three bet pot. I'd probably put it in a small, like, quarter size pot bet. In a single open pot, though, I'm probably more inclined to check back. Especially especially with the Queen of Spades in our hand. Paul, if that's one third pot, gets through. I'm sorry, but it's about one fourth pot. Ten point five K. Get their apostle. And he's up stuck like two K right now. He was up to like only like like thirteen or some shit. 12 and a half, almost 13. I don't know how. He's played everything perfectly. <laughs> he, well, that's he, he called some hands, and then you had to get away from him at later streets. Perfectly, of course. Perfectly. Mike Postle just, like, casually goes to Stones, makes 6,000, 6,500, goes home. Pays the bills like a normal human. I had some jokes that I could run. I could have, but... Go ahead. No, they're no. not really not appropriate. I mean, since when not did that... You, not for you, but like for our viewers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Suddenly, something Suddenly, stopped you. Yeah. We're way too lowbrow for Andrew. Oh, way too. Like, like I mean, we just are on our best behavior around our third best friend. <laughs> Isn't that funny how that works? He knows us though. Yeah, he does. He hates it, but he loves it. You know what I mean? Like he kind of wants. He's got to like get his like. You gotta like have that in your life to some degree. You can't be around PhDs all day. No, it'd be boring. It's, yeah. No, so you gotta like if so. Therefore, us. If you're gonna have these people in your life, might as well you can get a little best of both worlds. All right, they can talk. We can carry on, carry on a conversation about like. They occasionally read. Yeah, ethics, physics. Yeah. Whatever. But they're also gonna like make some like sex jokes, and we just gotta especially like, her, especially her, <laughs> and that that's what she said. Right. 
Uh, queen, six, deuce, couple of spades. Paul, king, queen. But it uh, gets called by the lone stranger with a pair of sixes who now picks up his flush draw as well. $400 bet. I'm sorry, $500 bet on the turn. Now you can't fold. No, especially if we just lost that pot. Yeah. Front door spades get there. It'd be interesting right now if Dave, our lone stranger, turned Turns his hand into a bluff. Into a bluff, yeah. Oh, with the check. Oh, God. The check The check from Paul was, was Dave O's spot to... Like, bluff at this. Was Dave in position? Yes. Yes. Oh, it was. He was. Oh, wow. That was his chance to, like... Oh, that was his green light. Dave, yeah, buddy. Yeah, Not that I'm, Again, I love Paul. We've talked about how much we love Paul here. Not that I'm ever... I just want people to play aggressive, you know, good poker there. And then when Paul then checks there, he, it's not like he's checking... was betting the flush draw and then checked it when he got there. That's Dave's green light. He played the hand like a draw. He picked up his draw. It didn't get there. I mean, that's hey. Put yeah, it, put the pedal was, down. As soon as as soon as he checks there, Davo should have put out a bet. It would have been. It would have put Paul in a really, really, really tough spot. We didn't come here to play the nuts. Uh, the other thing, I mean, Paul could have laid out a small bet to get running value from like a worse queen. Paul could have bet small and folded to a raise. But then sometimes maybe if you bet small, you're kind of saying, hey, I don't have a flush. I just have a queen, which might inspire. Or if you get raised, you kind of have to fold and hate it. Well, yeah, no, that's it. Yeah, you're, you're playing the hand as a, as a bet fold. You're, I, which, feel like, I feel like most of the time the small bet is actually a, a good value. Like you're 80% of the time you're going to get value out of that bet. And like part of the time you're going to have to fold it to a raise. And well, yeah, but and you, you can balance that there with, with playing flush draw similarly where – you bet bet the draw, and once it gets there, because we're now we're trying to get value out of a queen, same as we were trying to get value out of our worst queen with king queen there, is bet small, and that's how you can kind of balance that spot. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Uh, king ten four, two hearts and a diamond. Uh, pocket jacks here. Lone stranger picking up a lot of hands, finds himself in some tough spots. A Aaron gut shot and backdoor diamonds. It's not going to have much fold in him right now. A jack would be an absolute, like, disaster. Picks up his backdoor draw. Now, let's see how he plays this. In the neighborhood of, like, 41 to 30. But... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's going to be... There's going to be 60 points scoring in the front game. There's going to be defense, offense, I mean, it's going to be pick six, I mean, it's going to be everything. I think it kind of starts slow and methodical and then ends up being... Yeah, it's going to I like... So Harlan puts out a bet here. Can't see Harlan's hand. Two overguards now to Dave's jacks. You do have a gut shot. I think you got to let it get away. Aaron's well, there's, there's two it, flush draws yeah. on the board, too, so yeah. one of your... A couple of your outs might be dirty. We saw what happened to Mike earlier. Yeah. Now Mike was able to get away. A. A. Ron. Now, the problem here for A. A. Ron is with the board sitting having two flush draws, if a jack comes off that's a heart or a diamond, getting paid on it's going to be tough, especially if it's a heart. Yes. So we're kind of reserved just like, like getting only only getting paid on backdoor diamonds now. And are we getting so getting the right price here to, to, is to the, draw is here? Is the – like – do you just call here? Now Ace comes on the river. I think you can Ace even argue spades. for a fold just, because, like, just specifically because now. I feel if like it's a fold comes, or a raise. If you're ambitious, ambitious, it's a raise. But like, I don't know if a call is good there. No. Harlan checks, and he has Ace's full. What oh a, fuck! What a weird like. Is he trying to? I don't, what is he doing? I feel like he's soft playing this river a little bit. No. I think, I think he Graphics have to be wrong. Or he, to, he verbalized call. Yeah, no, there's yeah, the he money's only in front of him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did not jam. He checked called. No. I think Harlan Harlan bet, and he called. No. Aaron wouldn't call Queen High. He only has Queen High. 
So Aaron bet? Harlan checked Aaron bet 1100 or 900 or however much that was on the river. I did I didn't see that. Harlan just calls. I don't He has the ace of hearts in his hand, so he's... Th I mean, I'm really reaching here. So he's thinking, like, <laughs> oh, like... So he can never have just ace X... Uh, he can never, like, back to trip aces on a flush draw. So, therefore, he's never calling. I don't know. We only lose to ace king. No, 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 I think no, no, no. I hear the Smashing Pumpkins. I'll help you. I think I hear the Smashing Pumpkins. That's not the Smashing Pumpkins, but... What is it? That's a, that's a modern band. I can't even think of their name. I could pick it out of, like, multiple choice. Like, you give me, like, like three choices, and I would, like, pick it out, but it's not the Pumpkins. He, he knows what it's not, but he doesn't know what it is, ladies no, and gentlemen. No, because I know this band. Welcome I can't to think the of world of, of I know talking to Jake. I know this band. I just can't think of their name. I'm just gonna get Shazam involved. Yeah, Shazam's gonna be like, it's five, five, ten Harlan and victims. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. Nine, nine, deuce. We're in a bomb pot. Uh, both Aaron and Paul have the five deucer. Backdoor net spades for Harlan. No one's got a nine or a pocket pair. Interesting, the two over cards to the board, the queen jack off, has the most equity, and the turn jack. Now by way the best of it, Frank, what's Frank doing? Frank's got, where do I, why do I not see Frank's hand? Oh, he's got, no, Frank's got the queen jack. Wow. Misread positions there. So the wolf bets 6-5 on an air ball. Easy call for Frank with Queen Jack. Not enough to bluff there. That is not enough money to get that man to fold. Bet a call, and the wolf's going to, or I'm sorry, Frank's going to scoop the bomb pot. La 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 bomb pot. It's a good one. La 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 bomb La 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 bomb Yeah, interesting just call there by uh, Harlan with the ace-10. But going back, if I was Aaron facing on that turn, even though okay, we, we turn our diamond, which is good, right? We think, like, oh, this is a good card for us. But because it's the ace of diamonds, and if we make our straight, it puts four straight out there. And the board is a double flush rod, so it's going to, I think, we can count on two of our jacks, or maybe all of our jacks that make the straight, um, we're not going get, to gonna get paid on. Board is either going to be forward or straight, or front door flush or back door flush is going to get there. So we're really only drawing to back door diamonds to get, counting on getting paid. And, you know, with 1,200 pot and a Harlan bet, like four and a quarter, we're not getting laid the right price to just, to draw the diamonds with only one card to come. So I'm, I'm even though it seems like, okay, we turned... We picked up, a, you know, uh, we, were, well, we already had the same straight draw. We picked up a flush draw to go along with the straight draw. This is good for us. In reality, I kind of like think if you slow down and think about it a little bit, it's actually, like, not a good card. It kind of has the illusion of being a good card for us. We wanted we, to turn a small diamond there, not a big diamond. We stopped with a $100 straddle, and we're now down to 20 But Is that uh, how the terrorists win? Mike, that's how the terrorists win. Mike Possel has decided to raise to 100 Thank in you, the, Jesus. In the spirit of straddles. In the spirit of straddles. In the spirit of hundred dollar straddles, Mike makes it a hundred to go. <laughs> yeah, I kind of. It's got a gross spot, but you kind of like, 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 oh my god, I want a diamond, in it, but it comes in like, gross. I got to fold now, because it's the wrong diamond. Um, Harlan. Top top. top, top pair. Yeah. And backdoor hearts. Um, Kids, don't forget then, about your backdoors. But then. Don't forget about your Franks. Frank, open-ended with backdoor clubs. Get some. This is going to be a fun pot. And Bazinga's got a pair. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I 
reactions on Harlan, waiting for him to act. He's reaching for white chips. They are 100s. Pot is 520. He looks like he's betting 500. Or is that three? That's 500. So it's a race of six. So the graphic shows Frank checks to Frank about two and a quarter. Oh, okay, okay. And Harlan check behind. raises to six bills. And we know Frank's calling. There's a card. Now Frank's not going anywhere. Harlan's not worried about Frank having the 910 here. Doesn't have to worry about two pair. We have a green light to bet, but Frank's picked up a pile of equity here on the turn. It's nearly a flip. And that's even with Harlan blocking one of the aces that Frank would need for a straight. Unlock the doors in 10 minutes. I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sick. What is Frank's stack? Frank's got 6K... It says Harlan's only at 2,800. We can see that that's off. So 1.7K, Harlan is betting way more than that. Harlan's betting way more than the pot. What kind of uh, It's a little more. Yeah. He has a parasite in his brain, and it's called... I like it. It's called bet more. I like it. I think Frank... Or, I'm sorry, Harlan realized that this turn... 1.7K. Pot size bet. Th it's Harlan, more than the pot. Part, the pot now is... 3,400. Okay. Pot. Harlan realizes that that card, all oh Frank's my cards, God. all Frank's flop calls pick up equity on this turn. Yes. Queen 10, Queen 9. And there we go. Frank. Shit. Top and two so, for Harlan. So what do you do, Harlan? You're out of position. Do you continue here? You have top two, but the backdoor flush got there. King 10 also got there. Just pure King 10 got there. And that's one of the things... That he thinks that he can have. Did he say all in? Oh, my God. Frank sh has the nuts. I shouldn't have said that Frank's, that Harlan should not worry about the, the oh, 910. Oh, man. 910 is definitely within Frank's Frank range. Frank just got a Christmas present. He's like, okay, ship it, I misspoke, send it. I misspoke earlier when I said that Harlan's not worried about the 910. The 910 is definitely within Frank's like flop calling range. Of course, yeah. But Sorry. You know. But as as, as it just is... Just like the whole stack just got shipped by the dealer into Frank's range. <laughs> oh, Frank. I can't say that I'm folding if, if I'm Harlan, but I'm definitely playing that hand as a check call versus a jam. It, I think any other suit, he jams. I think like there... That, he, he thought too much like, I'm jamming anything on the river, where it should have been, I'm only jamming no club, no 10. Uh, what was the... Because he was open-ended on the turn, correct? We don't want to jam a 9, a 10, an ace. Yeah, so I think he was like, I'm jamming anything. Harlan just left his own game. We don't want to jam 9, 10s, or aces. Clubs are, off the, are a little bit... Are, are much sneakier. So, non... So a club that comes a non nine ten race, I think we can happily like bet, and then get strained when Frank jams. Wow. Okay, you're gonna do this bomb pot. Okay. Because I know that you're leaving soon. And okay. And we got a bomb pot. Shuffle up and trill. This is good for you, Frank. Enjoy. Fifty dollar bomb pot. There's four fifty in the pot.
King seven five all diamonds. I don't see any. Well, Robert Y flops a nine high flush. We'll see if his patience has, can pay off here. The problem for him is, I don't see anyone else out there in the field with a king or the ace of diamonds. Now we can't see Frank's hand yet. And Robert, I love you to death, but buddy, I don't see how you're getting paid in this one. It checks through turn 10. All right, who picks up what? Wolf's got ace 10. He's probably going to call a street. No one else picks up. No one's got 8-9. Robert's got 8-9, but he's already got the flush. No one's got the queen jack. Robert bets out 300. We imagine the wolf's calling. Has the wolf folded? No action on the wolf. Nine high diamonds. The flop checked through, uh, graph. And wow, Wolf folds the turn 10 with the ace kicker. Can't get paid. Ooh, Frank at 10.5. Him and Postle could play a 20K pot right now. <laughs> <laughs> And would giggle about it and have drinks afterward. Yes. Because they're only in for 2K. <laughs> no, I don't know what they're in for. They're my two favorite humans in poker. It's like I'm not right here or something. They're my two favorite humans in poker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Just cry in the fetal position later. And there will be. See Morphus, nine high flush. What's up? See Morphus. On the last bomb pot, Robert flopped the nine high flush. Sweetie. We all can hear you. Can I order the flat iron steak? Uh, no potatoes, sub spinach, add avocado and a side of bacon. You know me. Oh. Oh. It's different now. It's different now. Well, she's my favorite human in the fucking world now. So. <laughs> wow. Wow. Whatever. You sound a little bitter. Little, it's like, like listening to you talk about like your game versus Harlan's game. It's like that. Well, in that case, well then never mind. Just never mind. I'm not trying to run Harlan over when I'm driving, even though we have the exact same car. We both have S5s. Sick brag. I'm sorry. Jack six deuce two hearts top top for Aaron. Wolf. Jake is a pillar of salt. Confirmed. Shovel up and trill. What's up? Shut the front door. Correct. Two ten. You're letting in all the noise. Jake's currently ordering off the menu. Seven on the turn. Uh, Postle turns a set. Where, where's the players menu? Is there not a players menu anymore? I'm just okay. showing you okay. the whole menu. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. Is there a shrimp, shrimp and rice bowl still there with is. the veggies? Can yes. I order that? But they do, it, they do it a little bit differently, but we still have it. So it's Seven on the turn. It's what? Jumbo shrimp. 
Mike called flop. And we're going to wait. With sevens. Yes, please. And true to form, get their possel, turns the set. As um, Safari Guy 5 says, possel doing possel things with the run good. It's sick. And the wolf's still at it. And the wolf turns open ended. Bets 1100. <laughs> and Aaron Look, just, just folds top top. Can we all just admire Mike Postle's face at this point? <laughs> just the face, just the smile, the smugness, the just everything about him is just amazing. What do you think about that fold there from Aaron on top top? I mean, we know that Mike's got the set here, but like, you know Wolf, what? It's Wolf not. It's not a fold of GTO. It's a fold of defeat. It's a fold of giving up on life. Okay. All right. It's a fold of. I have no nothing left to give to this table. Because Wolf's still betting King Jack, Queen Jack, Jack Ten. Like Wolf's betting all his Jack still. You'd think. And so I think folding Ace Jack there. He's just given I up. Mean, I'd rather call without the Ace of Hearts in my hands to give Wolf some more flush draws that he could be barreling. But we're just like we're just like we're a broken man. Yeah. And it hurts. Well, how else can you explain that? What else do you do there? <laughs> Mike, Mike, twenty five hundred. There's no straight. There's no flush. Only thing that beats him right now is pocket jacks, which he's for sure. J the wolf does not have, so he's getting value out of worse. Dead to a nine or a four. Ten's not gonna do it. Yeah, it's. He's in the hand. I mean, no. Now, 8-9 got there, but Mike's not going to put put the wolf on 8-9, betting flop and turn. He's probably not going to put him on 8-5. He's probably just going to put him on, on a really good jack. Checks. Does he think, like, 8-9? All in. 3,100. Calls. He's calling, right? Yes. Eight, I mean, we he lose has eight, to. eight nine of hearts. He has to. What? No. No way. It's human. It's human. Mike calls. Yeah, of course he does. Ship it to the. And Mike knew I got to check and let this guy. Mike probably thought he was checking to let him bluff hearts. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, Mike Possel. Santa only works for one person. It's Mike Possel. And he's just like, go ahead, bet hearts. Do it. Bet, bet your hearts. And I and can then, break, and I just can break like you. This. He comes That's down out of the sky. <laughs> That's all he does is like this. You must call my son. <laughs> okay. As long, I mean, ow. <laughs> he's not telling anyone to sacrifice their children. I mean, he's a better God. He's a better God. Yeah. He hasn't started a Holocaust or allowed no. one to happen. Just or like, bringing the money to him. Yeah. He'll probably give it away to like some stripper who's going to law school. Like, right? I mean, it's good. Look at that goddamn stack. <laughs> Get a color up, Mike, you sick bastard. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. <laughs> King Clancy666, what's up? Welcome to the stream if you haven't been watching already. What is this? Safari Guy 5 says, pray to him. Apostle of poker. And he just knows, like, go, go ahead. You can't beat him. He walks on water. He did walk on water this summer. There was a fountain outside. I saw it. So often after we check raise a street, we have to lead the next one. For some reason being is that our opponent after calling a check raise has so many like just check backs. If they have any kind of a if 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 he was getting sticky with Ace Jack with A Aaron's hand. Then he just checks back. King Jack, all his jacks just like check happily check back. Now maybe Mike's got to just like know. Okay, okay, he's folding all his one pair hands, so therefore he has to have draws. And I only get value if I let him bluff it off. It's just sick. He's not I feel right like in the head. You're trying to make things logical. So Paul, and that's not what this game is running yeah, right now. No, like forget no. about it. 
Paul, you're trying to like decipher a code that's illogical. Uh, Paul and Mike Postle both have Ace King and Aaron, and of course the King flops. Aaron's got a 10-7. It's not gonna stick around. No one's free rolling anybody. Boo! I would like someone to have like a heart here. Someone to have the Ace of Hearts, just to like free like hurt. give us a sweat. Make it hurt. Make it hurt. It's been hurting all night. Sex and violence. This guy's lit. He's like, I think on his second that's, beer. That's a lot of a that sweater. sweater. That's a lot of sweater. How do you, you and his off pants? Are, he's got really nice proper pants. This guy's getting some tonight too. Like, mm. he gets the ladies. He's got that sweater, proper pants. It's good. Walking around the room, letting everyone know his name. Yeah. Like, hey, baby, I'm Dante. What's your name? Yeah. yeah. He's look at that gold chain. This guy's like 95. By the way, if anyone's thinking, like, he's like a 95, like... Barreling light beer. Yeah, barreling light beer. Got a little bit of a limp, but it's stylish, you yeah. know, and it's wearing, like, like... It's a, almost like a pimp walk. Kind yeah, of thing. wearing like, a Bill Cosby, like, 90s, like, pudding sweater. But in, a, like, a less rapey way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's still sexual, but it's not, like... it's. But it's consensual. Not rapey. It's, it's consensual. consensual, yeah. It's sexual, but consensual. Yeah. I like it. That's... Uh, Terran Diamond. If we get back to our diamonds, you might see Mike through the power of Apostle <laughs> blow Paul off a chop. It's it, it could happen, kids. Riz uh, twelve ninety eight three says first you get the job, then you get the khakis, then you get the girl. That's for shizzle. Uh, six was a six on the river. I feel like our graphics are are a little twisty. Mike jammed. Mike is blowing Paul off a chop. Paul checks. He's got one pair all day long. Mike knows it. And says, you can't call. He scoops the chops. He scoops all the chops. Mike's not like, oh, I'm going to... He's not trying to bet small to get value from King Queen. I want to bet large... To get rid of Ace King, and he's right, and that's what's sick. In 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 a, in a GTO vacuum, we bet small or we bet reasonable to get to get value from King Queen. In Mike's universe, he's free rolling this all in. We just we just solve. We're just like no. Like, I told you, we he's get, got we get, poker and life solved. We get Ace King off. I mean, Paul's hand, the way he put his face up, he's got a king. But like I said, in this plot, because we have ace-king, we're, we're blocking ace-king. Therefore, we bet somewhat something. To do. We try to get king-queen to call. Unless you're Mike, and you just know. I told you, he went to this a third-world country. This might look like he busted hearts. X-ray vision goggles. This does kind of look like busted hearts. Can Paul call off? Well, it looks like he's got, what, 7K? Six, seven, seventy-five hundred, seventy-eight hundred. Paul's got seventy-five, he's not, seventy-five hundred. He's not calling. He's not calling. Oh, hey, my kicker is interesting. I know King Queen is no good. King Queen is in big trouble. He needed a queen to help. Setting all the chips. Because I have the best hand. Yeah, it's no good. Well, it's not the best hand. But you can do it every other. I've had a lot of wine, so I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. More wine. I guess I'm buying drinks for the table. Fuck. Came in for the table. Yep, whatever the table wants, because I can't lose. Damn! I gotta go. He couldn't win. Oh my god, Mike Postle's buying drinks, everyone. Get down here, get a free drink. 
Oh he's a, my King Queen's God. no good. He's yeah. not lying. He's not lying. Nothing. I my guess I'm buying drinks. interesting. Yeah. He's sick. In the head. He's sick. Completely. I don't have that gear. I'm, I, Raj is in the game. Who we, who do we lose? Wolf. We lost. Oh yeah, Wolf. Wolf got stacked by Mike. I forgot. No, I wasn't trying to like I wasn't trying to like needle there. I legitimately forgot who we lost. From Raj is in the game. Yes, he what is. What the hell? This how game's come, not real. How come? How come Raj is not my friend? Hey, believe it or not. Hey Raj, if you're not, watching this, you might not have enough gamble for that man. Oh shit. That's how much you're gonna love some Raj. Oh, I can't wait. I, I love when I don't have enough because I'm up for the challenge. Because I have friends who do. <laughs> <laughs> I Are walked I... in. I looked at you. I said, and I said, what is this lineup? This is yeah. not real. <laughs> I know. Harlan raises to 135 with Jax in the small blind. Everybody just limped. Uh, I remember you like we put up the stones banner. It wasn't there when I got here. And you like behind the banner like... What the hell is this lineup? Oh, sweetie. That's for me. I know. Thank you. Do you want to try some? Oh, no, I'm good. You're getting something? I'm going to order something. If I get a player's menu, you didn't menu. order anything yet? Not yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I have sriracha? I'll get it. This Everyone game is needs. not disappointed. We said we were coming back. Can I have sriracha? No, just sriracha. It's not real. I and mean, we said we were coming back and we wanted a big game. Harlan did not disappoint. Put together the mother load of all lineups. And it's not like we even got like like huge cooperation from the day. It's not like we got like aces versus kings and big pots and blah blah blah. Like this has been like Put the like pedal to the metal, like throttle Eight, down. Five versus like king, Ace, queen. seven. Yeah. Um, I told you I had like every poker player I know texting me about this game. So they still have the flat iron, right? but it's steak and fries now. I get it. Yeah, it's it's a flat iron steak, but it's steak and fries. Ten so we, five three on the flop. Ah. Two clubs. Paul. Only one with a backdoor flush draw. It looks like David O we'll set of fives. We'll He's ahead. He bets two fifty. He was checked too. He's still in early position. So Mike Possel with a gut shot calls. And we will see. It looks like Harlan feels like his jacks are still good. Is he pulling out raising chips? Harlan's pulling out raising chips. Bad timing on his part. Check raise. Check raise into two people. All right, we're back. Baby, so come Harlan's back. Harlan's got jacks. Check raising the set of David O. An open ended of Mike Possel. David O, all in. It's hard to fold open ended. Oh no, he's gonna he's gut gonna gut shot. shot. It's hard to fold that too. With back to our bigger straights. <laughs> right. Mike's not calling. Now, when last time I said that, Mike called. Well, I think he's, Mike he, plays perfect though, so. Mike's really has to get, like get away here. They did change the shrimp. Entire the menus changed. That's what I'm what I'm finding out. Yeah. I'm back in the commentary for one like one like episode and they're like, We gotta change things up. It's a whole new like twenty nineteen. Well, what are we gonna do? Like Jake's back in the booth, Veronica's in there with him, cats and dogs getting along, living in harmony. You can't trust it. Once or twice is the only question. A jack would be so sick. Hands are table. feel so bad. For David O, if a jack comes. Oh, 
They didn't run it twice? Running it once. All right. Hats off to Har Harlan's had a rough go of it this stream in his own game, but props to him for putting together a hell of a game. One that we should all be grateful for. Because she's a classy broad. We've done a few episodes where once an hour, maybe a hand played out. So this is quite nice. This game has been nonstop. Nonstop. And we just, I mean, we just, we lose the wolf, but we gain Raj. And this is Raj's speed of game, where people are just like, let's go. Let's, like, not going to knit around, making okay. sweaters. I think that I have uh, seen Raj around, to be honest with you. I think I've seen him on the stream, too. Raj has no fear. This game is right up his alley. Harlan Potter and the Jacks cracked. <laughs> and we immediately just get, the get a $30 straddle on. And why don't you guys all at home do me really, really, like, guess our second guess yourselves in the ace king versus ace king hand on river when check two how are most of you guys all playing that i know how i'm playing it i'm betting an amount that i'm trying to get king queen to call king queen queen 10 i'm trying to or king 10 i'm trying to price in a worse king the ace king is 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 less likely we have an ace in our hand i'm not trying to blow ace king off here Mike on another level. Mike's beyond what you understand in poker. The beyond Mike burger. That's what he's eating these days. Ace high flop. Uh, Harlan picks up a gut shot. Check, check. I feel like nothing slows down here until it's like seven in the morning. Yeah. Do you remember that the I think it was the last Veronica and Friends where I had an eight sixteen? Mm-hmm. And the game went for like thirty two hours yeah, after. Yeah, it really did. <laughs> came in the next day, the game was still going, came in the following day, game still going. Eight sixteen oh eight, and we were like, We're not gonna stop. Two bets. <laughs> yep, I was getting like texts and snapchats and pictures from people who are like your game's still on the live stream table it's no joke guys the, the game ran for 30 something straight hours people like left the game went home came back jumped back in this is how poker is supposed to be played so what's your cv do you guys get paid for commentating no they give us food you just saw they feed us and give us wine. And we get to watch this game. 94 point wine. A whole new world. This shrimp is so big, I don't know how to eat it anymore. Veronica, like this. This is why we're best friends, because you're in the gutter way more than me. You just, like, come across. Oh, bullshit. You just, like, try to pretend that you're not in the gutter but you actually are really bad no yes i'm sorry for missing bowling today you should be sorry we had an exquisite time it looked like it, it was a lot of fun uh make it 80 to go with pocket tens <laughs> one's a nurse the other one's a stripper <laughs> yeah, you figure out who's who. Uh, top set for Ronnie. Welcome to the game, Mr. Raj. A Aaron puts out a bet that looks like 250. I love the name stuck as fuck. And everybody folds. 
Uh, is it the wine that Moneymaker drinks when he's commentating not commentating or not quite as good? Uh, not the same wine that Moneymaker was drinking from a straw when we were doing commentary with him. So when we do commentary with Moneymaker, Art, the general manager of Stones, has like... Have you been in his office? He has like a back, like, wine cellar. I'd have to drink if I worked with us as well. So I understand. He has like a wine yeah, cellar. Yeah, he's got his private collection. Private collection of very high end wines, like five hundred dollar bottles of wine. Good wines. So he gets that wine out when Moneymaker's here. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I would too. And Moneymaker drinks it from a straw. Yes. Right out of the bottle. It's the only way to please the gods. Yeah. We wouldn't want it to be in vain. Yeah. Because if we upset him, then Mike Postle might smite us. Right. I I pray to Mike Postle at night just in fear that I'll be three bet light. Loving you, easy cause you're drunk all the time. Tootin' tootin' doo doo. Ah. No. I was going to hit the high note. I shouldn't hit the high note. I shouldn't do it. I swallow. Which child is sacrificed right now? Which child is sacrificed? Oh, the big one's definitely sacrificing the little ones to, like... They're, like, best friends, though. They really are. They get along really well, but, like, the big ones can be kind of, like, maniacal. Like, she has some tricks up her sleeve. I don't know if I can trust her, like, long term. <laughs> oh, wait till you're too old to defend yourself. Ugh. 185 to go. Harlan. Did you lock the door? No. Are you afraid that someone's going to come in here? No, it's just like really loud from the outside stuff. Chief Needles. Harlan, Harlan raises to 185 with pocket eights and the cutoff. Frank's got uh, aces? Frank, three bets to 475 in the big blind. And Mike Postle sitting with Queen 10, probably calling. Yeah, reaching for calling chips. He's sick. Sick. He has a disease. Queen 5-4 and Mike might be in a little bit of trouble. Flops a top pair, which from what I hear is the biggest of all the pairs on the flop. Frank's going to love this. Act normal. Act normal. Ten on the turn, ace on the river. 700. Harlan's got to be worried with Mike behind him. I mean, normally this is a spot where we might peel with pocket eights here. Harlan changed seats. I didn't really notice that. Well, you know, you got to get that lucky seat. Got to get it going. Got to get it. <laughs> Mike casting a spell on his chips. <laughs> he does that all the time, right? Do you not believe in voodoo now? I believe in all things Mike. I believe in all things Mike. <laughs> what the? I told you. Do you not believe in voodoo? Mike is... Yeah, Mike voodoos his chips every time he's about to... And he checks. That's small. 540. Insta-call by Frank. Sorry, That's... I thought he checked, but he was actually doing this to his chips. I'm like, yeah, he's got position on Frank. I thought it was Domino's. I bless these chips, for you shall return to your father. Like... <laughs> 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 Oh my god. 980 and a snap call. Frank. Oh my mic. Oh my mic. <laughs> what the? Water I don't know what to do with my hands. Water into wine. Look at, look at Harlan's face. Look at Harlan. <laughs> Mike turns water into wine. He's 
not human. He's I'm beyond the... shocked. I've gone to this the step of acceptance. Acceptance, like yeah, you just like it's you like I. Uh, I don't know. It's what... comical now. You're like, <laughs> is he just gonna get every just, fucking time? Yeah, every fucking time. What do I do? And even when I get there, half the time I'm chopping, and he's gonna get me off that. <laughs> yeah, you can't. And if win. he's beat, he's gonna get away. Yeah. I don't even understand how I invite him to my game. There was um, this guy who played basketball once, Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan and he was yeah. he was the Mike Postle of, of basketball. basketball. I've heard about him. Yeah, he's not as popular as Mike. No, Postle. he's not. I mean, not as big of a deal. But like once upon a time, like he was like a big deal. Like people before Mike before Postle came along, and completely changed everyone's. You know, like well, he's gonna be like posters over kids' beds and like walls, and like dads are gonna have like shit signed by him. And yeah, be like, Jordan I met, was was the apostle of basketball. Yeah, yeah. they're like, I met Mike Postle like one time, like he signed this for me. Yeah, like, and everyone, then he and then he stacked me, and we were just like playing, we were just like like shaking hands. Everyone thinks that that's a human in the video, but like really, it could be CGI. Like they don't know. We if don't that's know this really point. Him. All, like, like, no one's really met him. No. He's just a legend. Everyone's moved around. Everyone's trying to find that luck. Sucked it up in the black hole. That is Mike Postle. What a beast. Safari guy says it's possibly a hologram. Postle bot. Hologram. All right. I think this is going to be my last hand with you guys. You guys still got some more poker action coming, but I got to get home and stop the human sacrifice. I'm sure my, or actresses and my daughter is trying to perform on my son. They cast spells. They really do. I'm not surprised. One's going to be wearing a very pointy hat. That I'm sure about. Are they reading Harry Potter? Oh, yeah. No, my son read it, read like the entire like series before they ever saw the movie. Wow. They're big readers. They're deep I thinkers. Did not, I did not know that. Uh, Open-ended here for Ronnie. Queen's pair... Mike bets Ronnie calls. Mike's got the best of it with a pair of sixes. What else is new? Mike's got the best hand. Yeah. Hashtag Nothing standard. Nothing new. And Ronnie pulls ahead. Squeezes out a pair. It doesn't mean Mike's not going to win. Pot's 1K. And look at Mike's taking a sizing here. To get a hand specific, Mike's not betting eight six to try to get value from a worst six or a pair of fours. Mike's betting here to try to get a, the exact oh, hand that Ronnie yes. has to fold, targeting the seven five, and taking a sizing that he cannot call. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen, it's been good. Bye, heart you. Heart you. All right, be good. Hey, ah, what a game. Mike Postle, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, JFK Stones is coming in the booth. Um, so I did I did bring some whipped cream. How do you say it? Whipped cream. Oh, whipped? Whipped cream. This has been an Hello. absolute nutcase. I mean, it's been all right. This game's been all right. Nutcase of a show. It's probably been the best show I've ever watched. I mean, uh, you know, best poker show? I mean, Veronica and Friends <laughs> is still better. I know. I heard I heard you upset. Like, a little, look, je little jealous wanna, girl, a little jealous girl wanna, going on. I'm dating poker. We're monogamous. And I just think, like, Harlan's trying to step in, on my territory. I think that you and Harlan should go poly. I don't know if it works like that. I think I think poker loves me and is just like flirting with Harlan. <laughs> you no, know, but I mean, you guys can can both have fun with poker and just you know, one of you is. Sorry, there's there's a lot of wine glasses. I in here. I was noticing a lot of wine glasses. You know, back in the day, I would take you in the back room and spank you for this. 
And I mean, I still I mean, enjoyed yell that. At you. Yeah. Yell, at, yell yeah. I mean, um, you know, write you up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Apostle raised and Ronnie three bet and wins the pot. How are you doing? I'm good. I, I wanted to get some overtime in here and everyone was down for it except Jake. I know he's got like this um, Thing kids, family, family responsibilities. Yeah. So weird. And I told him last time uh, I saw him here, I, we had this really great tournament going. I'm like, Jake, you can play this tournament. He's like, ah, uh, you know, I gotta take care of my kids. I'm like, you are gonna have to one day decide what's more important, your kids or poker. Or, or poker. And I mean, yeah. it's an obvious answer. It's poker. Yeah, poker. Clearly. Yeah. Is Mike Postle really up 22k? Um, look at his stack. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think it's 22k, but it might be. How does one learn to play poker? You don't. You just become Jesus. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Thanks, nerds. <laughs> the, the nerds are yelling. He, um. <laughs> He Mike, has not added Mike on. Mike Postle, like, in the summertime, walked on water at Alicia's party. I remember. I was there. Yeah. I, I was so flying the drone over him while he was walking on water. Jesus. Confirmed. Except, uh, like, Jesus has a really cool trick I haven't seen Mike do yet. He turns water into wine. No, Mike did that earlier. He, Mike did that? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, I so, stand corrected. Yeah. Confirmed. Mike is Jesus. What a game. Oh, man. If I could marry this game, I'd be happy for the rest of my life. Orgasms every night. Wow. And we're in a bomb pot here with a bunch of aces. Ace high bomb pot. Frank's got ace king. Couple hands we haven't seen yet. Apostle's got ace queen. No, oh, no, but Apostle's going to hit a queen for sure. Of course. <laughs> but I'm just saying, on the flop, looks good. All right, we're checking around here. I like how Frank looks, or Apostle looks uninterested. Of course. The did, Messiah. Did Apostle check there as well? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. So uh, Aaron, or uh, Stuck, as F, has ace five. Now, I think he's probably going to start playing just a little crazier, trying to get his money back, and boy, is he in a bad spot right here. <laughs> so Frank bet 300, gets a couple callers. A couple. And I mean, <laughs> like, four. Okay. Three on the turn. No club possibilities. Three players have connected with the ace. And Lone Stranger looking for a jack. Really? Okay. Paul checks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, have you been watching? I've been watching. No. Night? It's just been nuts. Like, it's, we, like, it's we been can't nuts. explain what's going on. And by the way, you and Jake have been absolutely great. And I hope everyone watching right now will take a second in the chat room just to shout out. Let Veronica and Jake know how awesome they were. This was the original OG stones live you really compliments are tough for you you can't do this yeah i know i just thought like you know i'm a typical woman it no just it was makes me... you guys have been awesome and uh it was funny we were joking earlier we we're like this is a rebroadcast of 2015 <laughs> this is a 2015 rebroadcast no uh jake and i you know we're besties yeah. we gel in the booth it's clear and uh it's he's just in the gutter in the gutter as much as i am like and, and we're both sitting here like, okay, we're trying to understand this game. We can't figure out what <laughs> the logic is behind everything. Well, I can see Jake is like a crack addict watching this game. Like, I got to get in there. I got <laughs> yeah, to yeah. get, get some of this poker game. Oh, my God. I guarantee so <laughs> you he'd be like, F my kids if he could get a seat <laughs> in this game. Seat. He'd be like, they're going to be fine. Oh, yeah. and, and the king seals the deal for Frank. Now, how much money can he squeeze out of this? Uh, by the way, great job, Aaron, letting that rag ace go. And I don't think Postle's getting away from this. And have we've had a couple of pretty decent Frank Postle smash-ups tonight, which is pretty much what most people watch any game that has these two. They're looking for the smash-ups. I fondly recall the... I, I would think you're wrong. Snap call. I would say you're incorrect. I would say the entire game. The entire game has been... Postal smash-ups? A postal smash-up. So I get in trouble all the time for not saying postal. I call postal. And, you know, I'm you just going to... You pronounce the T or you... Yeah, I don't pronounce the T. Okay. I just say postal because I think that's, like, how he used to say it, right? Yeah. So, no? Uh, I, I just call him Mike. It, it seems oh, to work. That's, that's the people who are, like, so big fr time. So Frank is bet 500... It's 500 to call now to Dave, who I don't know if he was thinking like maybe that king. No, he's going to let it go. Now, I'm pretty sure we get a call from Postal. He wants with Ace Queen. He wants Postal money more than anything. Of course. I said that for you. 
It, yeah, he says, of course I call. It's I'm, he, It's only five of these white chips. I look yeah. at all the chips I have. This is nothing to He's, me. He, he actually might fold this because he runs as pure as Colombian cocaine. It's insane. He folded! <laughs> oh, come he on! Folded. That's unreal! That is freaking unreal! He's unreal! He's the greatest poker player in the world! Okay, so let me ask you this. Serious question. You can get poker coaching from Mike Postel or... Daniel Negrano. Mike Postle. Yeah, Mike Postle. 100%. All the way. 100%. 100%. Mike Postle. Yeah. Because Mike Postle crushes. Like... What about what about Mike Postle? Phil Hellmuth. <laughs> oh, is it a no brainer? Mike Postle. I would get my neighbor to Ivy. like. Ivy. Oh, okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're, go we're going to go with Ivy. So Ivy is the only goat bigger than Postle. Oh, wow. That's a tough one. What about I just like I think like Mike Postle plays in this in these spots that like I think Ivy would almost be a dog in where like Mike Postle has uh, he's got like a GTO spot for like odd games for like spewy games whereas Ivy's like playing in Ivy's room yeah he has where his own room where they're playing GTO where like they're opening like like the top fifteen percent of their their, of the of hands whereas here they're opening up like the the top 85 percent of hands and then Postle knows how to play post flop so well he's excellent post flop and i and i think you and jake were talking about it earlier where mike just can play any hand because he knows on the flop he's going to be superior he doesn't like, even need yeah. to look but it also helps when you're hitting everything you play. No, he wasn't. He wasn't hitting everything. He's <laughs> winning even the hands he yeah, didn't yeah, I know. hit. Yeah, he has and then when he was pretty... behind, he folded. He's so like, he's my hero. Uh, I Oh, I have, I didn't bring my paper in, but I've been writing down all the hands tonight that I want to go back and review. There's like, like 5,000 yeah, of yeah, them. Yeah, every single one has Postle in it. Uh, Wu Egg wants to know how much did Postle buy in? Uh, I believe I like have him 2, on record for 3,500. Oh, 3, and he's up 22K according to our graphics, which could be, uh, you know, off by 1,000 up or down, possibly. So he's probably up a solid 18K tonight, I think. What do you think? I'm not su not surprised at all. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell people that we're banned from YouTube. Oh, they know we're banned from YouTube. We were bad. Was it you guys or was it Run It Up? What happened? Right, yeah, uh, it was Run It Up. I mean, if you really want to know what happens, you could just read that thing. <laughs> that's That's our PC answer to it. <clears throat> leaves out all the naughty details <laughs> no the the thing is i always i really thought that we were when we got banned our first time from any live streaming platform it was going to involve you in some way i really did and, <laughs> and I, didn't, I didn't uh i i never thought that it was going to be jason somerville i thought it would be veronica brill yeah yeah all of that and it wasn't it wasn't. Mental hard work, I know, every, and I didn't do anything. All the all the crazy stuff you've done in here, and we never once got. What's banned. the craziest thing I've done? I like <laughs> I got whipped cream all over you. That was pretty crazy. That was a crazy night. I have good aim, though. I got most of it in your mouth. <laughs> and then, what are other crazy? How many times have I said that? And then, what <laughs> other things have I done? I mean, I wasn't that bad. I I'm a little wild here and there. You're wild, yeah. But. Like, there's no fun riding a roller coaster that doesn't loop. No, I know. Right? Yeah. Do you think I'm complaining about you here? I don't know. No, okay, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. just trying to gauge no, what's going on no, here. Nothing to gauge. I have nothing but mad respect for Miss Brill. Mad respect. Mad respect. Getting the 90s respect here. <laughs> so, it looks like a $40 straddle and then a $200 raise out of the small blind from Mr. Lone Stranger, David O. Ace Queen. He does the same thing with Ace Queen as he does with like a King Seven suited. And he gets three callers. There's no isolation process in this game. It's just, uh, just I mean, building for, pots. For 200, what are you going to isolate with 200? Exactly. You're not going to isolate anything with like 800 in this game so queen high flop he flops top top oh and he's gonna continue all right and i feel like he would continue with a flush draw here with an ace high flush mm -hmm. draw i think like 
Frank um, with an inside standard. straight jaw. Yes. Backdoor diamonds. He's gonna he let, let it go. Lets it go. Yeah. Frank's doing well tonight. What are you doing there? Oh, that's yours. I can hear it. That's for me. Yeah. Oh wow. So rich. Really? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm rich. She's Everybody. rich. But can I play with it till we're done? Yes, I but, need but it's making noise and then it makes noise in the microphone. I'll do it under the table. I need something to fidget with. I'm a fidgeter. I'll give you something <laughs> to fidget with. So uh, Robert, a decision here with the flush draw, 6-3 off, and he wow. he ships it? Oh, no, Dave shipped it. I'm sorry. Dave has shipped it with his top ships pair. Ships it on the turn, Putting yes. Robert to the decision here. Robert's kind of been having a rough night. Mm -hmm. Every time he has a good hand, someone has something better. Someone flops something better, and it just hasn't been going well for him. Everyone's playing really loose and wild. Right. And Robert's trying to play a little GTO, and he's just not getting anywhere but, with it. But that is the right move, right? I mean, when... When you're in a crazy game, you should tighten up. When you're in a tight game, you should play loose. You should be playing the opposite of the that, table. Maybe. But I would say that, oh, wow, he's really, like, he must did he, be. He did call. He did call. So 985 more to call. And now they're going to have a quick conversation, run it one, two, or three times. So if it's three-way, they can't run it twice, right? Um. I mean, if everyone agrees to it, if everyone was all in, if there's no more action, I don't see I why they couldn't. I thought we couldn't run it twice three way. That was just. I don't know. Can we ask someone that knows something here? Like I, the tournament I mean, director. Uh, could, yeah. Could we ask like someone that actually? I don't know. I have to check the rule book. <laughs> I just assumed like heads up you could, but uh, three way or more you could. Yeah, you're probably right. You usually are. All right. <laughs> So there was the first card. It is not a spade. It's not what Robert's looking for. He, he gets another All chance, right. and we're going to take a third, third. shot. And wow. he, he could get only have to pay two-thirds if a spade shows up. And there's a spade. So he gets a third. Gets a third. Better than losing it all. I guess. I would have run it twice. I, I prefer even numbers, personally. I think, like, oh, once is fine. I mean, he's probably really thankful right now that he ran it three times. Ice Dog says Veronica is the best. Is that true? Are you the best? What's up, Ice Dog? Uh, it's been a wild night. I, I know, uh, so Jake and Veronica don't really uh, hang with the stream deck. They're old school, so I just no, want to... No, we, like, we just want a pure game. Pure game, yeah. But I'm going to do something here because I, I just I want to give everyone a chance if you want to pick up this badass bomb pot hoodie. Oh, and Dave O is wearing it. And Dave O is yeah. modeling it. There's, there's our very own Casey Mills modeling it as well. We have all sizes still available. Only a couple mediums left. There's only about 30 of these left. $50. Type bomb hoodie into the chat if you want details on picking one up. I saw actually Casey here tonight. She's playing poker. She bagged uh, She bagged day two at the other place. Oh, the place nice. down the street. Yeah, so she's nice. going to be going back tomorrow with, uh, she said, about a 20 big blind stack. Nice. And they have a WSOPC going, the circuit event. So that should be a lot of fun. I like to see all of our local crushers always do good in those big events. And we have a pretty fun event coming up here, too. You know, we're bringing the quantum back again in February. Oh, my God. The quantum's the best. Are you I, coming like, for the quantum? Okay. So I have schedule issues. I would. I will. I'm going to try. Are you going to schedule me to do something? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I heard you and Jake talking about maybe doing this, like coming out once a month or something. And uh, I think that would I be. I mean, like, I it's think up the, to you. You're the boss. Yeah, no, I, I would. I mean, uh, well, let me think about it. I want to I play hard to get. Yeah, you play hard to get. I want to play hard to get. Let me think about it a I little bit. I just want to try to get to second base, you know, on the third day with you. I, I mean, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how you do. Robert, King 10, best hand he's seen in a while. Raises to 300 in the cutoff. Oh, no. Did I see queens? Well, our graphics are catching oh, God. up. Possible with queens? No, queen no, no, no. I thought I saw queens. Maybe the graphics are freaking out a little. Three-way. Stuck AF. Decided to call. 
and uh, it gets flops. Gets to be super shock. Apostle hit top pair. Yeah, so stuck AF flops a flush draw, king high, and Robert with a whole lot of nothing. King on the turn. Now Robert pulls slight. No, he does not pull ahead because stuck AF has a better kicker and a flush draw. A lot of checking. Stuck AF bets 325. <laughs> Robert calls. Robert's like loosening up a little bit, but bad timing on it all. Yeah. Can't win with his good hands. Well, they're, they're, uh, they're, but they're chopping, Why right? Why is Jake King, still here? Kings and threes uh, with the king, with the uh, queen, queen playing. So they, they're actually chopping it up right now. Oh, Jake's walking away with his food. So Robert's thinking about the call. He's calling. Yeah. All right. It's been a rough night for him. That's why right. take your bets back. It's, you know, he got one third. He got 50% now. And, you know, the next one's going to be 100%. That's good. You guys are watching Stones Live Poker. We are here with you live three times a week. If you haven't already hit the little follow button, the little heart in the top right corner of your screen, please do so. We are 100% dedicated to be the only live streaming platform on the internet that brings you all of our content 100% for free. The only thing we ask is that you give us a follow, show us a little love, right? Just That's a little it. love. That's it. That's all we want is their love. And you know, I maybe uh, once in a while, a little, little something yeah. on the side. See, like little, two years ago, I would have said yeah. a little more, a little, but I'm just like, oh, just something, you know, yeah, just a little we love. get older, wiser. We, we uh, set our expectations you a little higher. You thought that you were older than me. But I'm I did. older than you. Yeah, by like five months. You're See how wrong you are? I, sometimes I am wrong. Like usually two, three times a year, I will be wrong about something. This this is one of them. I mean, the year's just getting started. So how, how's the Tesla, by the way? Uh, the little bumpers hanging off, dragging on the ground. So yeah, it's fun. Good stuff. Oh, you didn't know? Oh, uh, uh, I was coming home from Reno uh, on, on New Year's Day and someone rear-ended me just one exit up. Oh my god. I know those bastards. There's our queens. It's okay. Uh, you know, I can, uh, it only takes like three months to fix a Tesla. So yes, I have great. Um, heard about that. I think I read your Facebook post. Yeah. Thanks for reading Part my Facebook it. post. Part it of makes it, me yeah. feel really special. I go on Facebook like once every it's three months. Nice to know there's people out there reading my stuff. Jack High Flop. Queen's still ahead. Bad news for Lone Stranger who probably thinks he's in the lead right here. My Audi's doing great. Thanks for asking. But it's a gas car. I don't really care. <laughs> it's fantastic, though. I, I'm sure it is. It's Sport. blue, right? No, it's black. Uh, the black Audi. Yeah. S5. Is the one that has a scratch on it? Nope. The door? No I scratches. Saw, I saw nope. a scratch on it no, when I walked great. in. It's perfect. <laughs> Audis are great cars. I, I had one as a loner once when my Tesla was in the shop. It was <laughs> <laughs> really, it was, it was a good car. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm just gonna cry with a napkin in my Gucci bag. <laughs> my poor Tesla, the bumper's hanging off. It's so sad. Good <laughs> change time to change the name to Postle and Vix victim says Kiran. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I would agree. Postle is just walking on water. Oh, I yeah. I have to talk to you about this new thing we're doing with Postle, because we're gonna give him his own show. Are we? Yeah. And, and he wants to call it Postal and Pals. But I'm like, that's too close to Veronica and Friends. Just tell, just like, Postal ruins everyone's life. That's what it should be called. <laughs> I kind of like that. Postal. <laughs> ruins. Postal ruins everything. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, we got like a show. That's There's somewhat, a show, Adam, yeah. Adam ruins ruins everyone's life. Is... Ruin. 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 I say, I always say that one wrong. Ruin. Ruin. Ruin is like a stone. Yes. Ruin. Postal ruins everything. What do you guys think? Postal ruins everything. Postal and suckers? No, I don't like that. Postal and suckers? Mm. No, because they're not really suckers. They're just, you know, they're playing against the goat. Oh, God, he's so good. So are you just doing Saturdays for, like, great games? Apparently. Uh, I mean, we have uh, we have the sit and go, like, the last Saturday of the month. Those have been pretty, pretty epic lately, too. And... Um, the 2040, if we can get it going, has actually been good action. I mean, for a, for a crazy limit structure, 2040 Omaha, high-low. So 
This is unique. Dave O puts his hand face up right now, and it's 800 just, to call. Just shows one card? No, he showed both. Oh. And he's trying to get some information out of Paul. Paul's got him notched with queens. I think Dave O is suspicious. It's cra crazy to me that he shows on the turn with a card to come. Right, right. Usually it's like on the river to see like your opponent's reaction. I think he's folding. I think he wouldn't have done that unless he was already folding. I'd be uh, interested. Like I'd be. It would be crazy. See, his <laughs> cards are showing. It'd be crazy if yeah. he did call here. Like it's I just know. such an odd thing to do on the turn. Okay, Postal and Suckers is not gonna fly. Postal no. and Postal punks everyone. And he does let it go. It's, he's not gonna show both his cards there unless he's either folding or jamming all in. Like still got action with a card to come. I don't think he shows. It's just. Uh, yeah. perfect Postal game. I mean, Postal does almost play a perfect game, but that's the, just doesn't have the right ring to like, think think about the games that we have. Harlan and Victims, like it flows, right? Veronica and Friends, like it, it has this nice catch to it. Like, Postal and Pals has the catch. Ah, but it's so close. I don't think it does. It's so close to Veronica and Friends. Postal and Pals sounds like an elementary school, like, hockey game yes it's like a like a kid's show that's why yeah. it's, that's why it's so great no it should be like postal oh the church of postal church oh i like that yeah because like he's the like savior he of poker he's the, he's the G poker jesus yeah yeah i i know for a bit <laughs> jesus personally his name is mike postal no his name is anthony oh, oh yeah Mike Postle we've had, is we've, just Jesus. We've had a couple Jesus characters on the... Uh, no, but Anthony is for bed Jesus. Someone, another guy showed Forbet up to Jesus your... Jesus and I are going to the farmer's market tomorrow. That's adorbs. Yeah. Postal takeover. That's pretty good. Uh, Booty church. TV wants to know, can't that be con uh, considered an angle? I think he's talking about when Dave turns his cards up. Yeah. I but I, I mean, mean, they're heads up. They're, so, yeah. I mean, why can't he show his cards? They're heads up. I think it's just common on the river. It just seems... Yeah, it, it was weird on the turn, right? Yeah. Uh, how is that... Uh... Apostles, apostles. Oh, oh yes. God, oh, my God. Yes. All of it is okay, yes. Okay, I'm going to write a couple of these down because I like... The Church of Postal <laughs> and Postles, Apostles. Hostel, Postal. Postal and... Postal Takeover. Postal Takeover. <laughs> Okay, we got some good ones. Keep them coming. Postal takeover. I'm writing that one down. You know, we're gonna we're gonna let the chat vote on these on another stream. Uh, I I love hostile postal. That one is really good. Hostile postal. Apostle and prostitutes. How does that even, that doesn't even yeah, make any sense? Not... What are you guys doing? Apostles apostles is pretty is pretty incredible. I like apostles apostles and the church of postal. Impossible to beat postal. Uh, it's cool, but I don't know, like, for, uh, for a game name. It's just, I mean, that's just, like, a factual statement. It's impossible to beat Postal. Right. Y you have this guy in your game. I mean, don't you want to invite people to your games that you, mean, you can this beat? Guy, this guy. This guy. This guy. I have G. Like, he's the savior of, of poker. Okay, but, but let, he's like let me say He's, like, one of my best like, friends. If, if I was going to play, like, a one-on-one -on -one game of basketball against someone, I'm you not... Don't invite for Jordan, money, right? I'm not inviting Jordan. So... There's a difference, like, if Jordan, like... <laughs> mission, I'm sorry, Mission Impossible. <laughs> I like that. But Postle doesn't sit there and wait for aces, right? Postle will play all the time. So yeah. that's what, that's more yeah. important than, like... Yes. He's great. Yeah. But he also gives action. Like, he he's not afraid <laughs> to put some money in the pot, which is why I like him in my game. Impostably Frank, lucky. Frank loves him there. Well, Frank has it in for him. They I both. I always remember. I will never. Who will ever forget the snap call with seven, the seven against? The, oh my god! It was like yeah. one of the most epic hands. I uh, those two every time. Lance, do we have a command for that? That Frank Mike hand that we're talking about, the sevens and fives. Do we have a command for that? Oh, Frank Tanks. There it is. Yeah, guys, click on that. That is probably one of the most epic Frank Postle matchups. I mean, there might be a more epic one in this game now tonight after tonight, but that one is incredible. What is up? Jamin in the house. I mean, you've been in the house for a while, but now I'm in the house too. What's up, buddy? 
Uh, I saw J-Man posted on Instagram earlier that he was doing his workout. He's doing his, uh, he's on his uh, machine working out to Stones Live. Nice. Oh, yeah, I saw that, too, on Instagram. Guess what, guys? Uh, everyone's going to be super shocked, but Postal got the best of this flop. But, but Ronnie's, Ronnie <laughs> flopped open-ended. Ronnie flopped open-ended. So, um, and there's pocket sevens that yep. might, uh, I don't think Robert will stay. So, uh, Postal checks, of course. Ronnie is betting here. Guys, keep keep the names coming. The pot's 1.9. Ronnie's betting like maybe, yeah, 1.2. Wow. So two-thirds pot. Yes. No, like half pot. When, uh, less than half pot. Sorry. Wow. That's a call. Jack. Pairs the board. Hustles 83% equity in his hand. Wow. Ronnie still has position on Postle. Postle's very sticky. So Ronnie needs to put a lot of pressure on him. I think like jamming the pot. Is the pot 20? Yeah. Mike Postle just went all in for 19. Oh my God. Jesus. Oh, and it's just like, he knows Ronnie's on the draw here right now. He's looking at his chips. He's only got about 3000 left. He's like, you're going to play for everything or nothing. I it, effectively, he's all in for 3000, right? Is, though, he's Mike, not all in for 19. K. Mike Postle doesn't want to check. And then like, Oh God. So it's not 23 oh K. Oh Ronnie's going to draw. Goes. So this is it. He's looking for aces or nines only. That's all Ronnie can hit to pull they ahead. Can, they can run it twice. Is, is Are we going to get a multiple know. run out here? I don't know. I don't know what they agreed to. Ace or a nine will change this for Mike, but it's Mike, so it's not coming. And there's a king. Yeah, okay, so they are running multiple. So Mike makes free rolling. Full house on the first board, a blank on the second board, and that's it. Mike scoops both boards. Oh, my God. I'm super shocked. I'm super oh shocked. Oh, my, Mike. <laughs> oh, my, Mike. <laughs> Celtic champion says a lamb to the slaughter. Uh, <laughs> 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 pretty, pretty much. Uh, I want to go back and. Uh, a moth to the fire. Like, lost to Postle uh, for, for more show names for Mike Postle's lost show. To lost to Postle. To Postle. Eh, it's yeah. good. It's good. It's got. A, it's almost there. It's got a, got a oh nice God. ring. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God! Furious says easy three K. I like get their apostle. Ha, does he really have a twenty six thousand dollar? Oh, I thought that was part of the night. Okay, that's just his chip count. No oh, big deal. That's, ju oh, <laughs> that's just the chip count. That's just Don't his chip that. count. Don't worry about it. Oh <laughs> my gosh, you guys! Like, I'm really, I'm just shocked. And it wasn't like all run good. It wasn't all run good. Mostly, it was just him uh, playing. He plays amazing. He. He plays a psychological warfare and he ruins people's lives. Okay, keep keep the names coming. Uh, I saw Impossible Dream, Mission Impossible. I'm, I'm not taking any of those down. Uh, we need something on this level. Postal Takeover, Hostel Postal, and Postal's Apostles. So uh, if, if you got something on that level, we're going to put it in the queue. Impossible Dream, so stretching a little bit. Mission Impossible. Uh, yeah, we that one... Should I put that one down? Yeah, I think we should. Edge. I think it's like, Mission. I think it's, yeah, but just put it down. it's like a play on like possible, impossible, impos, impostal. You're not impressed. No, oh, it's cheesy. I just think it's cheesy. I, I mean, like. It's like if we, we're trying to marry I words now. I think this now. is an objective. I think you're just being really subjective about this. And I think it's a, it's not bad. All Mission right. impossible is good. I Damn. Think okay. All right. I'll write level. it down. Jesus. Thank you. No, it's not Jesus. It's, it's Postle. Postle. <laughs> Ace King eight on the flop. Uh, looks like Harlan flops the best of it. Bad kicker though. Versus four other players. Hashtag standard. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you mean Postle? <laughs> Unreal. Holy Postle. <laughs> How, how are you right so often? Postal effing Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He is poker's savior. You don't see guys like Postal in the Bay. Did you hear me talk about the Bay? I'm thoroughly not impressed with the Bay. I just like. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wanted to ask uh, you about that. Where are you playing mostly? I don't. 
I'm just not. I just All like right. I'll just wait. No till matter I come where here. you go. Oh, I hate everything. Everything. I cut. I'm just like it. Just doesn't compare to stones. I did just you, like. Did you like when you were here? Did you take it for granted and now yes. you're realizing it? Really? Yes. Mm. Yes. Everybody's so fun here and nice, and the staff are great, and like it's just it's cheers. Yeah. And and people think I'm exaggerating because I'm on the show. No one's paying me to say this. It's legit, like the best place you've ever played. Everyone I talk to, Jonathan Little, Chris Moneymaker, uh, Johnny Vibes. Everyone's like, "Wow, Stones was amazing. Like that was the best place." Yeah. Uh, Dave Tuckman, he's like, "I've never had so much fun playing anywhere," and it's true. I go to the bay, I get slow rolled. It's not a, a even fun. Like they didn't do it in a fun way. They're just being mean. No. And and it was just like nits mean people like people getting irritated easily like here's just fun all right you did good you did good here. take your money thanks all right i appreciate it good job <laughs> put it in my checks in the mail chips are in your hand no it's it's like you'll you won't find very many places like stones you guys really colossal possible colossal po nah i mean the corny. name for him not the name for a show oh, no. whoa, whoa whoa mission impossible is not corny, but Colossal Postle is. Colossal Postle is way worse. All right. Keep them coming, guys. Anything is possible. Postle <laughs> effing Christ, <laughs> Justin. I'm reading them right out of the chat. It's not like I'm making them up. Uh, Drawing Dead says, a po Postle definition, to give someone a quick grope generally to the buttock or breast area. No. Is that really? like? No. Did he Google Postle pa and that was... Pa Mike Postle is like one of the like no 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 I, I think he like googled postal i think that's yeah, actually but, there's a word postal oh god i hope not mike postal would never would never be like that he's like the nicest guy yeah yeah he's and right it, it's our urban dictionary oh it's a postal that there's actually a word in urban dictionary I'm to sorry, give someone postal. a quick rope gen generally to the buttock or oh my god you just got postled and they're like, did but I, I mean, get, but did I mean, I get that's, touched by Jesus? That's basically what he's doing in this game. He's just grabbing everyone's ass. He's groping everyone in this game. <laughs> he's groping their chips. Oh, a couple hearts for uh, for Paul here. He's got the flush draw. Apostle somehow missed a flop. Some, I don't understand. And, and none, he doesn't need to hit the flop to win. <laughs> I mean, he's somehow going to win, I bet. Somehow. This uh, masseuse has, like, many times abused me. Oh, she's great, by the way. Um, yeah, she will crack your back, tear you up, and you'll feel so good the next I have her, day. I have her come over to my house and do a two-hour session. Really? Amazing. Yeah, great. She gives me a great price. She, like, works every muscle, does the stretching, too, which is my favorite thing in massage when they actually, like, stretch your muscle out and then work it. I'm in pain for like two days and then I feel amazing for two weeks. I have to, uh, I might get a massage from her before I leave. Smart. She's so good. Yeah, that's crazy that postal is actually a word. Okay, uh, arrow postal, no, going postal, postal pot, postal's pots. Okay, going with postal rocks, he does, that doesn't work. Winner, winner, chicken postal dinner. <laughs> Uh, yellow, yellow. We'll give you a quick break. And no flop is impossible. <laughs> Paul has checked here, and why not? We want a free card when we're drawing. And that is not going to do it. Ronnie has the check mark. Paul's going to scoop this pot. Paul, I, I don't know Paul. Paul. Do you know Paul? No. So I don't think I've done any commentary on Paul, but he's great. He's not like wild and he's not nitty. But when he plays, he's super aggressive and he stole a lot of big pots tonight. I'm really impressed with Paul. Apparently, he's a really good guy. Uh, Jake told me that Jake he really knows him, enjoys right? him. Yeah. He plays downtown a lot. There's Alicia, my girl. I love her. She'll be in the is game. She, she's in next week. Can we get a little Are sneak peek? Are you crazy? Is your, she not? Uh, a little sneak peek at your list? Like, uh, I mean, so obviously. Frank, Alicia, and Mike. We are the four. Yeah. The, the band members. The uh, the core. The core. Yeah. Um, we have four bet Jesus. Oh, the actual Jesus who you're no, having. No, four bet. So actual with? Jesus Tomorrow? is Mike Fossil. Oh. 
four so bet four Jesus. bet Jesus is Anthony. Anthony, right? Anthony's in the game. He loves playing with Frank. And Beck just watched that uh, that clip that we posted of Frank snapping off Postal with the seven. Yeah, that was a pretty sick call. That was in my game, yeah. Yep. And Veronica and Friends is next Saturday, guys. Yeah, that is a, a good point. Mark your calendar because that game always delivers. Checked around six on the turn. Uh, what are what are the nerds yelling at us for? What happened? Are you guys yelling at us? No. Oh, oh, the nerds weren't yelling. Oh, sorry. No. I like that we call them the nerds now. That that is their new name. Yeah, Jake. Jake loves to call them the nerds. I feel like that's what I get called when I'm at work because like the doctors and nurses come around and they're oh. probably like nerds guys. I got, I got bad news for everyone. We're full screen and that means that the show's over. I'm actually super stoked that we we're able to give you guys 45 minutes of overtime tonight because we are on a direct, uh, from management, no OT, no what? OT. Yeah. I mean, cause think about this and, and this is the one thing like, People are like, but we're cheap and easy. Oh, you guys, you guys should get new microphones. Oh, you guys should fix that. You guys, guys, we're 100% free. It's not like we have this massive budget. Uh, we're not charging for subscriptions. Oh, we got to like really manage this thing. We, we got to save our money for wine. We got to save our money for wine for the host of the show. But tonight the game was so epic that I was just like, if I get in trouble, I get in trouble. We got to bring you guys some extra time on this, on this epic game. <laughs> and thank you so much, Veronica and Jake, who was here until the last 30 minutes for being here and doing this awesome show and this awesome game. I hope that we can make this a regular thing because I mean, you know what? LFG. It's, it's Stones Live Classic. It's the OGs. So before we go. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed your 2015 rebroadcast. Re <laughs> Lance, do we have a marble race? Yeah, we, we could do a marble race. So everyone that's still here, hang up just one second. We're going to do a marble race. It's kind of become a thing. I think you'll like it. Uh, are you logged in in the chat? No, I'm, a, I'm logged in as Jake. That's okay. You can be Jake. Uh, so you're going to get a marble with your name on it. Everyone is. Uh, we're going to get it set up. Don't hit play yet. Uh, so I would love to have you and Jake out here once a month. Guys, right. for those of you who don't know, or for the, we, we got a lot of new viewers since you guys were here. Uh, they were the OGs, okay? The very beginning, it was Jake and Veronica. You guys were the only commentators, so it was always Jake and Veronica, and it was always amazing. And you guys showed some pictures of the booth earlier and everything. Like, it's come a long ways. It has. And so it's so great to have you guys back. Thank you again. Uh, so all you got to do is type play. And we're just going to have a, a little no, fun you have to do like a... with the marble race. And guys, this is just for fun. We're going to, we, we picked a random course here and we're going to race and it's for bragging rights. And uh, we're going to give you 25 <laughs> seconds so... left. Have you ever seen this? This is really great. I've never fun. seen this. Yeah. I'm always asleep by this time. Guys, if you haven't done so already, this is your final opportunity before we take off after this marble race. We are done for the night. And uh, just click the little heart. Give us a follow. We really appreciate you joining our family and being a part of us. We are back on Monday with 1-2. Pot Limit Omaha High will be a blast. And here we go. Good luck, everyone. Marble Race is going. How many people do we know? We got 29, <laughs> 29 runners in the Marble Race. And, uh, guys, I want to let you know I am an expert at the Marble Race. So I will probably whoop everyone's <laughs> ass here. hilarious. <laughs> I've never seen I'm always like asleep I turn it on and then I start falling asleep because I'm I gotta get up early all the time well it, this is a uh, bacon TT7 I feel like it might be and the drawing deads there well, he's the, uh, lady no muck yeah okay so that's <gasps> oh lady no muck went in yeah so that bacon is the ghost ball that they're showing the best run so far now see that portal right there will transport you somewhere else Oh, Design Ninja 889, way in the lead. Go How did Design this Ninja. Our, this is so like Tron right now. Uh, there's is so this many really what we're different doing right crazy now? courses. Yeah, well, Holy Design, crap. let me tell you something. This is like Mario Kart. Have you ever played Mario Kart? When one no, gets way I... out in the front, you're going to get hit with the blue turtle shell and someone's going to come in and beat you. I play Mario Party a lot. Uh, what is the, What's the survival rate on this course, Lance? 70% survival? Yeah. 
Oh, so this is a really easy course. Some of the courses is like only 20% survival, so like most of the balls like fall off the course and die. Uh, but Design Ninja is still in the lead. Oh no! Uh oh, stuck! Oh no! I told you, Mario Kart happening right here. What bride? What bride? What bride coming in strong? He's trucking along. Design Ninja just stuck there, so, so another ball is going to have to hit that and knock him out of there. 22B, by the way, has just joined our family on Twitch. Oh, he's all, oh so Design Ninja's way in the back. Watbri now in the front of the pack. Oh, and now we got pushed back. There we go. Yep. So those portals will transport you backwards. The Avenger is heading down the finish line. It looks like we have a winner. The Avenger 88. Congratulations. And uh, let's let a few more people get in there. Lance, give us the stats. <laughs> They're stats. All right. Yeah, yeah. We, we got to see the stats. Oh, my God. Do you guys want to do hilarious. one more? If you guys in the chat want to do one more, let us know. Give us some love there in the chat. Tell us uh, you do. If you don't, then we'll just end it right here. But uh, but we, we got one more in us if you want it. So That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. No, I no. Mean, I, you no, invited I, me. She so. did. She's, she said that. Someone someone fell out. Is that possible? No, to see, the, uh, see? the portals teleport you. All right. Okay. We're going to do. We're going to give you guys one more. Why price stuck up there? Yeah, yeah, we're going to let him come in. We're going to show you the stats, and we're going to do one more. Seattle Moss says, this is amazing. I'm, <laughs> like, sitting here like, what is going on? I've been transported into a different world. All right, guys, this one, we're, we're going to give something away. If you are in the U.S., we'll ship to you a Stones hat and a stone shirt. So uh, when we get the next one set up, make sure you play U.S. free shipping Stones hat and shirt. If you're close by, you can come pick it up. If you're outside the U.S. and you win, uh, you can pay the shipping if you want. You don't have to. So this that was the practice. Phase. There's your stats right there. Where am I? Did I finish? I, I'm right there. 17th. He's JFK, always asking if he finished. Stones TD. Oh, I know when I finished. <laughs> I always say the right thing right when she snaps me and now she's going to send it to everyone. Uh, you're Jake. You got 7th. The Jake. All right. Yeah. No, no. Uh, we want one with a crazy survival rate. A 1% survival rate. All right. You got one. Is it time? Okay, guys. If you already type play, you're going to have to type it again. 60. 60% uh, is okay. Let's do that one. Uh, type play. Exclamation mark play. Okay, guys. If you had typed play before we change it, you'll need to do it one more time. This one does have a prize. A stone shirt and hat. We'll ship for free anywhere in the U.S. or pick it up. If you're outside the U.S., you can pay for the shipping and we'll send it out to you. That is for our first place winner in this final marble race. Once again, guys, if you have not followed yet, it's really easy. Just click that little heart. We do not charge you to follow. We are completely free. We are here only because we want to be amazing ambassadors for poker and marble races. <laughs> Did you join? Did you hit play? I did. Okay, I... good. I'm just making sure. All right. Good luck, everyone. And also, if uh, Veronica or I win, we will uh, we'll we'll give the shirt and the hat to second place. Obviously. Ob. There I am, the Jake. Veronica is the Jake. Good luck, everyone. Oh, this oh, this course I is like fun. This yeah. One. So only 60% survival rate on this one. We have 34 runners. And I know you thought they were all here for Jake and Veronica. No, they're here for the marble race. Obviously. Ob. I was wrong all this time. <laughs> Nunu two poking way out in the lead. And oh, some people going to no, get. No, the Jake's up there. Oh, okay. I'm up there. You Casey, see me? Casey Mills is, oh, is the fastest run on this one. So we see a local ghost ball is someone that's done the course like the best on the course. Oh, 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 no. Dr. Beerman has the lead at the moment now. Yeah, for now. For nice now. booster right there. Oh, there. he gets blocked. 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 Rana Bahawal takes the lead and might even beat the best time by Casey so far. Oh, no. Oh, no, there goes Casey. Oh, that's Oh, that. no. He dies. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> 
You might have deserved that death. <laughs> <laughs> How is Moobot in there? Moobot is not eligible to be in the marble race. Moobot's in there. <laughs> <laughs> I love that our bot is in the game. Oh, this one. I always get stuck right here. No, look at that run good. I know. Ryan Smith way out in front, holding the lead. Ryan Smith. That's okay. Ryan Smith still wins because that KC local ghost ball is not an actual player. Ryan Smith. Hey, uh, Ryan, I am going to uh, put my Twitter handle in the chat. S uh, follow me there on Twitter and send me a direct message. I will get your information and we will get your stones gear out to you. Thank you. Ah, the drawing dead. Oh, boo. Oh, boo. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for watching our stream, for hanging out with Jake, Veronica, and Thanks myself tonight. Thanks for playing tonight, with our balls. And playing with our balls. We appreciate that as well. All right. That's our show. We'll see you Monday night, 6.30, 1-2, Pot Limit, Omaha. Will you be in town? Can you play? 1-2, uh, PLO? No, I won't, but I will be in on Saturday. For That's Veronica right. For Veronica and Friends, where I light my One money on fire. One week from today, there will be wine. There will be shots. There will be... Shoots. Crazy pots, shoots. and usually, usually someone gets kicked out. It's a blast. <laughs> right? Someone might be wearing a nun so, outfit. I don't know. No, we. I, can't I think we're beyond. Frank beyond. might. Oh, Frank. Oh, Frank. Well, I might. like Frank as an elf. Uh, he's been asking to borrow the nun outfit because he's irritated <laughs> from the last. Someone always gets kicked out. Security yes. always gets called to my game. Almost always get someone kicked out. It's almost so. like a, it's a necessary thing now. I'm going to be here for this one. I, I usually protect your game. Okay. If when I'm not here, I notice it's when things really go down. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'll it's be like here. You're like the, the guardian angel, the guardian devil. The downers, like I'm you know, a downer. You're the you're. The, I just got called a downer. That was awesome. I would like. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like a good medication. Like I was gonna say cocaine, but that I'm would just Valium. Bring it up. I'm Veronica Valium. and friends Valium. You're the Valium. I'm the Valium. Just swallow me. On that note, good night, everyone. Bye. Have a good night. <laughs>